Hey Doug, Pep Simon here. I think we have a bee infection outbreak. And it seems it has infected all of Twitch chat. Can you pour some mercury onto Twitch chat? Hopefully it will kill the infected Twitch chatters. I saw if you like all put Hale gasoline Lee on wasps and or something. glory be to Parksa, the one true god. What's up? I can make that joke quite. That isn't against the law, is it? Why would that one be banned? Hello. What's up? BZZZZZZZZ. Hey, Doug. I'm BBZZZZ. Mr. Sukoshi, thank you for the two years. Appreciate it. Wait, are the rules? Oh, the rules are back. So, night. Oh, okay. Nightbot was down for a little bit. I was going to say that if anybody typed exclamation mark rules, everybody else should just reply to that person and be like, there are no rules. Because there are no rules. <sighs> I got to do some coding. Ah, whatever. I'm sure the coding I'm going to do will take no time. Why are we buzzing? I'm panicking so hard right now, guys. I don't know. Corwin Asalas, thank you for the one year. Appreciate it. I got double ads. I don't know. I'm not. It's I don't play ads. Space hand delivery to your in the trash. All right, it's cool with the buzzing. I'm not sure why there's buzzing. All right, the ritual shake has been consumed. The D and D stands for Doug and Doug. It could. We don't know what it stands for. Crazy. Thank you so much for the one you meant. Appreciate it. Uh, so today is going to be Dungeons and Dragons, but we make up the whole thing as it happens. Hey Doug, my friend Thank you, says Zafara. this stream sounds like a nightmare. Prove her wrong or out. Just be you. I don't know. Dude, I'm... Look, here's the goal, okay? Everybody get ready. I'm happy to announce that this stream... We're, we're shooting for the Doug, stars here. I've been on a charty three months now. Is it officially inappropriate for me it's to go shirtless in public? That's I don't know. In the I don't know. The Inky, thank you for the two years. It's a good question. I don't know. Okay, today's goal is we want to be the worst stream of all time. Okay, there's some good contenders this year for worst stream of the year. The goal today is to create the worst stream. I think there's a decent chance that the Dungeons and Dragons stream win stream of the year in the Dougie Awards this year. So so we need this to counteract it, okay? That's the goal. Just make a terrible D&D campaign. Uh, that's, that's the plan. Any questions? Oh, I need to turn. Sorry. Can I seduce a dragon? That's, that's, wait, sorry, nerd. I completely lost your... Can I... Wait, go away. Die. Okay, I'm sorry, nerd. I totally missed your message. Doug, Doug, when we are buzzing, stop being weird, guys. Wait, Doug, we Doug, don't have worst stream of the year? And sending B sounds to his co-workers. Wait, what? The funniest man in we the need world. that. Thank you, Terrell. What up? Um, extra things. I need to reset the dice. Wait, you got... You, oh, well, hold on. You guys are just listening to me, huh? Ma, I thought D &D, we're doing... only former U.S. presidents. More Gerald Ford <laughs> We can throw Gerald Ford in, I guess. No, no, no. I wanted to do a best stream of the year category and a worst stream of the year category and then a best but worst stream of the year category. Apparently, I did not communicate that very clearly because that way we have a category for things that people just actually really like, a category for things people actually just hated, but then a category for people things hated and liked a lot. Is it too late to change your giant plan? <laughs> Oops. Because best but worst, I know, guys, I want a combined category, but I feel like we need them separately, too. Because then, because people do want to do best of the year, right? Also, I have so many WAV files to delete here. Look, I don't think it's unrealistic of me to demand that you change things dramatically at the last second. That was a lot of messages that are being deleted. Jesus. 
All right, I gotta do a little bit of coding. Um, we gotta do a little bit of Photoshop, and then Dungeons and Dragons time. But Sup this is gonna be bad, by this the way. Is slightly off topic, but can I have the chicken sound for my four-year sub? Those oh shit! The days. I I do need to add a four-year sub. I'm sure I'll do that any moment now, though. But no, I'm not bringing back the chicken one. That was brutal. Hey, Doug. I was going to use this for my dog's surgery, but I decided you deserved it instead. Hey, I'll when get, a, get surgery. a new dog. I'm naming him Dog Dog. Name the surgery. I got you. How the hell are we going to have the worst stream of the year if we just rolled two nut twenties? <laughs> that's not okay. That's not r real. If I, I mean, look, if the way it works is I'm turning. <laughs> Pajama Sam Whatever, stream I'll is going to be the worst stream of the year 07. The Phoenix Queen, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate it. You should drop a four-year sub notifications entirely. <laughs> like now, I just take them out, Brendan. I, the sponsored City Skylines 2 stream was pretty bad. Well, that was bad because of tech issues, not because of the content. I guess that sort of counts. I Am I crazy here, mods? I think having a best stream of the year would be fun. Having a worst stream of the year would be fun. But best but worst as a third category is then a way for people to talk shit about categories they also like still, which to me is funny. And there's plenty of streams that were like good, but horrible. You know, and then there were streams that were just good. I would say the Dungeons and Dragons stream was pretty much just good. Um, so I think it sort of makes sense, even though it's very stupid. Okay. Rogged, but fair. All right, cool. I am now going to uh, disable Discord. I'm sorry that I cannot uh, hear you anymore, but you can also at me here in, uh, and I will see it. Sandwich, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Sam, I had some question for you. Oh, hey, wait, Sam, are you here? Are you alive? Or was this like an auto raid or something? Uh oh, Sam's dead. Well, she had a good run. I have a joke. We're not telling jokes right now. I tried to shout out, but it failed. Eh, whatever. He's at exit de Benedict and probably can't hear you. Oh, oh well. Um, <clears throat> cool. Uh, I need to update some things. First off, um, I need to change the style. Oh, it's already three team. Perfect. All right, let me make sure. Hey, Doug. I'm still at work. Can we postpone the session by an hour or wait? Our paladin has another commitment to attend. Oh, wait, and no, the DM is... isn't feeling very well anyway. <laughs> uh, guess we'll just cancel the session then. Yeah, like too real. Last week. Too real. And the week before. See you for next. Way too real. Hey, Dyke Doug. Fun fact that I think chat will like. On my mom's side, I'd cow though. I'm related to President Gerald Ford. Which is pretty poggies. I'm gonna make a wild guess here based on your name. I'm gonna say that you were the illegitimate child of Gerald Ford. Congratulations. We're very happy for you. That's sick. Gerald Ford is an American hero. He did all sorts of things. Chat, list out some of the things that Gerald Ford did. He, um... Oh, he pardoned, he pardoned Richard Nixon! So... There you go. Um, okay, hold on. Chat got up. Okay, let's do a bit of programming. I think I need to change the CSS to back to three Can you make the oh, die only roll one or 20? Let chaos ensue from there. <laughs> Why wouldn't I just get a coin? I could just get a big coin and then we flip it. Why would, we <laughs> Why would it be just <laughs> one or a 20? Do you get to the dog very often? <laughs> Oh, what am uh, I saying? Of course you don't. Um, <laughs> he cured cancer. That's not what Gerald Ford did. Uh, First time being here, so I'm going to pay you to like me. Hey, I like you three times as much as the uh, as the pores, or three hundred times more than the pores, I guess. All right, let me uh, let me test something real quick. Let me just make sure yeah. this works. Always love a classic Dungeons and Dragons and Dugs and Demons and Richard stream. Again, Let's roll with big dogs. We're going for worst stream of the year here. It's 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 Dungeons and Dragons, but everything is made up on the spot. That's why it's called total improv. And I'm gonna draw it all in Microsoft Paint. Well, 
I'm gonna draw it in Photoshop and make it look like Microsoft Paint. Eric cooking stream when the audio died and we became helicopter. I would say that that's a contender for best but worst stream of the year, right? Because it was also really funny. Like that that's what I mean. Like that's exactly the type of stream that should be best but worst. I nominate Soviet Winter for the category of something related to TTS awards. Yeah, Soviet gets a lot of funny ones. It's a, uh, very funny ones in. All right. Um, if you could please type exclamation mark. Uh, Fun fact: Gorilla hair is unique in that one. it's longer and silkier on their backs, helping to repel water during rain. A crucial survival feature. Gorilla hair resembles the hair on D's nuts. Got him. That was a stretch. Or exclamation mark player two, or exclamation mark player three. Any one of those. Okay. Uh, boom. 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 Welcome. Could you three who are alive now say something to make sure our chat god app works? So today, it's going to be like an hour of setting up the characters and stuff. So if you're here for the action, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Oh, what up? <coughs> um, let me make sure I can change your voices. You'll be uh, Hello. You'll be Guy, hopeful. You'll be Jane. You'll be a sad Jane. Hello there. Hello there. Could you say something? Player two. Could you say something very sad? Hello there. Whoa. Meet Moy, thank you. For 12 months. I lost my child in a house fire five years ago. Yeah, okay, that's, that's pretty depressing. Nice job. Sweet. It how to do this LMAO. Oh, shit, I need to change a couple things here. Um, we change this to the async version. Rip. Now you guys should be able this to This is going to be great. I'm using the worst airplane Wi-Fi. Well, this is just a test, so I'll, I'll boot you out. That was pretty sad, actually. You're right. <laughs> Good call. I, I gotta, this is just testing out code stuff, so. Um, all right. The stream is, like, totally frozen for me. I mean, it seems like you're doing great. Okay. Um, the app works. So now we just need to start drawing. Didn't Photoshop also seems to... Thaw it out for you. Or something. No, that's Harrison Ford, not Gerald Ford. I'm happy to make this the worst stream via the fact I can barely Henry watch Ford. the stream. Hey, we, go. Duck, we got there. How is your fantasy football going? Is the D team doing well? I was doing pretty good. I was almost, I was in contention for second place, but then I lost by two points because the Bills suck my balls. And then I've been doing really bad ever since. I'm like six and five, I think. Either six and five or six and four, I forget. Um, the Bills. Ha oh, yeah. I put most of my what? for people for <laughs> for people who actually follow football. I put most of my uh, most of my eggs into the Bills and the Bengals this year. It's just not a good call. <laughs> like, really, not a good call. All right, we got to make characters. Yeah, Joe Burrow not doing great. Jamar Chase not doing great. James Cook not doing great. You know who is doing great though? Uh, the player that Yahoo told me I was an idiot to draft. Who? Dalton Kincaid. Let's go, Dalton Kincaid. He's saving me. All right. So here's the plan. I'll do like another TTS message or two. Any Bronco Hello, fans out there? History in the making of the worst stream. I'm calling. Doug, it. I'm scared. BTW love chat. Long live Nintendo. Dog. This is the premium content that I want. It's just, again, the point of today is that it's all made up and drawn hey, shittily Doug, on the spot. This is something I think chat would enjoy dot slash any other streamer. Fucking got him, dude. <laughs> Absolutely roasted and toasted me. Chungus the third. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, man. Thank you. Hey, Doug, Doug, don't worry. Every stream with us is the worst stream ever. We got this. <laughs> yeah, I, got, dude, I trust you guys. Don't worry. I know you'll pull through when the duty calls. Also, I don't know if anybody's noticed this. Why is Doug blonde? Has anybody else? I feel like somebody should ask him about it because like, it clearly hasn't been addressed recently. Say what you will about Gerald Ford, but he reduced the crime rate by one by pardoning Nixon. <laughs> True. All right. 
Uh, let me let me do a few more TTS messages. We'll just get through it, and then and then we'll um, we'll get going with making our characters. Have you tried combining all the AI voices? When did you become blonde? No. Hello there. Aren't you supposed to be in a plane? Go back to your plane. Oh wait, no, that was random cryptid. Uh, okay, no, guys, stop donating money. <laughs> I'm trying to let the alerts get caught up. General Why are you Ford here? Be fact. different. Gerald Ford wasn't That's originally crazy. named Gerald Ford. His really? name was changed to Gerald Ford after his mom remarried a man named Gerald Ford. Damn. I didn't know you... I don't know you just got renamed when your hey, Doug, mom remarried. did you see the newest Jesus, episode of your favorite Tim, reality thank you so much show, for the 25 AI Drama? Yeah. That latest development was crazy, right? Also, improved d and is just normal d and &D. Yeah. No one preps anything. Open AI has been crazy. <laughs> it's been so insane. At the at the end of all of it, nothing changed. Well, I guess the board is going to change. I don't know. Maybe we'll talk about it after um, the D and D campaign is done, or we give up, or whatever. It's fucking crazy. But I'm very happy that everybody's back. Open AI drama is nuts. I like. I feel like I'm watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians or something, or whatever I imagine Keeping Up with the Kardashians to be. Um, okay, let's uh, let's explain what total improv D and D is going to be. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to pause alerts for now. Um, let's make sure go. I don't spoil anything here? Spill the tea. All right. So today we're doing a Dungeons and Dragons campaign, but we're going to make everything up on the spot and draw it shittily in Photoshop, like Microsoft Paint. Oh, snap. So what we'll do is we'll create an overworld. First, we'll make the characters. Okay, we'll make the three characters you guys are going to play. We got to draw them and give Fuck. them, a, like, a weapon and shit. Chung Goose, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, man. I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> What? And this is, like, I'm not good at drawing. So you're going to have you're just going to have to deal with it, you know, and the goblins and whatever. All right. So well, first, we'll make the characters. We're going to design three characters based on your guys' suggestions and give them, like, moves and stuff. But I don't know if the moves will actually count. Then we're going to make a map for the open world, okay? We're going to have a starting point, which is our campfire, and the end point, which is the king in the castle. And we'll figure out what's happening with the king. I don't Doug, know what his problem is. you are defiantly an artist. <laughs> yeah, you misspelled definitely. Blind Mage, thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs, man. That is very generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, and then, once we make our map, we Shoot. will move through different scenes on the map for you guys to eventually get to the castle October 10th, to defeat the artwork. king or like or kill him or or save him or whatever i don't know we'll figure it out uh, it doesn't matter um so again the only real structure here uh enus apos thank you very much for the 15 gifted subs thank you i don't know why there's a bunch of gifted subs right now but i appreciate it thank you thank you thank you thank you it's extremely generous um the goal is going to be to get from the beginning to the and do something with the to king. Kill the king. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll figure out what to do with the king. So the core of this, though, we're going to have three characters that you guys are in control of, just like the previous Dungeons and Dragons campaign. But I will also be looking at your guys' suggestions to fill out the characters, the maps, and every single scene that we do. And I think we make a map like Slay the Spire, where you like go on a web, you know, and to get to the end or whatever. Um, any questions? Okay, cool. There's let's none. Go. Let's go. Let's get started. No 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 Can we drink at a tavern? I mean that's what people decide. Okay, I'm probably gonna boot you guys out just so I can uh focus on on chat. Um okay. Eh, no you guys can sit here for now. Oh okay. Here, I'm gonna swap in new people. Do player exclamation mark player one, player two, As player three. As an actual three. artist, this is the best art I've ever seen. There we go, proof. You might be high because you're on an airplane, but I trust your opinion. I'm gonna swap you out. I'm gonna swap out people randomly during this. These, you're not actually gonna be playing the campaign right now. This is just to have additional people at the bottom. Okay, uh, congratulations, Spud, uh, Cheeky, and Yale Garden. You no longer need to spam player one, two, three. I will tell you if I'm gonna pick new people. Okay, so we need to design our first character. Any suggestions for what our first character should be? We could pick, Fuck. we could pick like a class. Maybe we pick a class first, and then we decide from there. What song is this? Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. From Dynasty Warriors. 
Make Rosa wizard. Well, okay, hold on. People are saying chef, uh, bard. I mean, we could have a bard, I guess. Uh, an otter is not really a class. That could, that, we're more looking for, like, uh, otter and dwarf are like the, the race, right? But what is, what do they do? I guess chef. <laughs> okay, we'll have, sh we'll have a chef. Um, Zierson, thank you for the 12 months. Okay, so I am now going to start drawing the chef using very bad, um, chef hat. Using very bad art, and then we will see what happens from there. Okay. Okay, so... So there's like big poof, like big poof poofs, right? Like this? Make Gordon Ramsay the chef. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, what is... Let me, let me shrink this a little bit. What is the, what is the race slash, um, I don't know, entity? What, what is it? It'll be a chef, but is it an otter? Is it a dwarf? Is it something else? I mean, it could be anything, really. We can do a poll on it. Um, what is it? <laughs> Somebody just said American, just like an American dude. Otter. Well, we'll we're making three of them, right? A goblin. It's a frying pan? Like it, like it's a chef frying pan? It's a B. I mean, sure. Uh, Gordon Ramsay. I don't know. I don't think we should reference. I guess we could just reference specifically Gordon Ramsay. Um, a pepper. Yeah, that is, that is a good one, but I don't think it'll get votes. Um, Billy Mays. I don't want to do Billy Mays because he's, he's dead. And that feels a bit disrespectful to put him into our improv campaign. What about a rat? Oh, a rat would actually be pretty good for Ratatouille. All right, any of these jump out of you guys for what it is. Um, uh, hey, Doug. Do, 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 do. Gerald Ford has been very quiet lately. Any idea where he is? Okay, looks like we are... <laughs> I, I haven't checked up on him recently, personally. Looks like we are torn between him being a frying pan or a rat. <laughs> With <laughs> hey Doug, with I'd say the pan. worst stream was when you stripped to your underwear and beat random strangers. Remember that? <sighs> okay, I have a I have a story to tell you guys. One of my friends from college texted me. Doug, here's three dollars. Buy yourself something nice. Wow, I love supporting small struggling balding streamers. <laughs> okay, he is going to be a frying pan chef. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the here's the story. Um, I just watched the DND video yesterday. It I'm doesn't excited work. To watch this in real John time. Goose, thank you. It, well, hold on, the DND. This is not going to be a good DND stream. The whole point is we're making everything up on the spot and it's drawn badly. You can't be excited. Oh, we're hi, we're shooting works. for worst stream of the year. Um. Okay, my, a friend of mine from college said texted me and said, "Weird question for you. How many eggs were required to be eaten for Egg Day?" And I said, I have no clue what Egg Day is. Please inform me. I must know about Egg Day. Uh, and she you said... You can have a Ratatouille-style Gordon Ramsay controlled by a rat. Oh, that is true. And she said, oh boy, I could have sworn you were part of Egg Day. It was apparently a day where you had to eat X amount of eggs in 24 hours. You could consume the eggs in any way you deemed fit, but you weren't allowed to vomit for 30 minutes post-egg consumption. If you ate all the eggs in the designated amount of time, you won Egg Day. I've been regaled with stories about Egg Day. Um, and then and then she sent me a screenshot of another college friend. Who's, uh, this is now the conversation between her and another friend. And she said, am I hallucinating Egg Day? And the other friend said, no, you're not. He did it with Rogue, which is another friend of mine. And it, to answer the question, it was the Costco packs of maybe 36 eggs. And... Um, Remind him that he made egg salad with mayo like an idiot. Jesus, take the wheel. Given mayo is basically just more eggs. Because my sensory memory sure as hell remembers it. So then the other friend texted me and said, um... How dare you not remember Jesus, egg day? I my can't wait for the egg day. My sensory memory remembers it very well. So then I said, I, I literally have no fucking idea what Egg Day is. I can't tell if you guys are gaslighting me, even though this sounds like something I would do. So then she said, you and Rogue did it Can during that summer. Can we have Egg Day stream, Doug? <laughs> I don't want to do it. This sounds awful. Apparently, this is what Egg Day is. I specifically remember that, one, you made egg eggs. Day. Egg Day. Egg salad. Extra crunch. Egg salad. 
You made egg salad with mayo, so it's essentially adjusting more eggs than required. The smell of egg salad because you slowly worked through the mixing bowl quantity of egg salad over the Rose course of a day. Rose new goal, boy. <laughs> That Rogue made an entire batch of brownies with three eggs, and we had to eat all the brownies to make those three eggs count. You were worried about what your parents would have to say about your cholesterol, and then you and Rogue both shotgunned the last egg raw into your mouth. I can't believe you don't remember this, and now I'm nervous of making it up. <laughs> so there's this, Do like... Do you like I, your eggs peeled or uh, unpeeled, Doug? Uh, I prefer peeled. Apparently, I did egg day, and I won it, maybe? I'm not certain what happened, but I, like... <laughs> This is not in my memory, but there's like multiple people who have vivid memories of me doing Egg Day in college. Raw egg shotgun for Egg Day! So... Made it, made it College of Creation. How do you not remember this? I mean, I did a lot of stupid shit in college like this. Um, anyways, so that's the Egg Day story. I forget why that came up. Somebody mentioned eating or something, and it came to my brain. I, I was just truly bizarre to have multiple people be like, "No, you did. You said you spent a whole day eating eggs." <laughs> I heard Gerald Ford ran over a pedestrian in his Dodge Challenger while high. Okay, I need to do a frying pan. <sighs> we could combine Egg Day and Laundry Day. And now a plus of setup and making characters before finally getting to the action is an esteemed D&D one-shot tradition. That's true, that's true. That's a good point. Okay, I feel like I Egg should do laundry gray. Day. Like dark gray for this, right? Hello, Daujin Master, can I roll to seduce the chair? <laughs> if you're... <laughs> if you are... Um... I vote we kill the king so we can establish Egg Day. If you're one of the characters, you can do whatever you want. Hey, Doug, have you ever sneezed and thrown up at the same time? Slash sneeze nuts got them. Egg Stop. day for all. Uh-oh. Does that look like a frying... This doesn't look like a frying pan. I don't know how to draw Critical this. blender. This is impossible. This does not look like a... a... What did I do wrong? This looks like a hockey puck. Reverse the colors. So you're saying the hat should be gray? Doug, is it like the other stream where if you repeat ensure the command the chatters more than that play once the characters it will ensure a day for all chat? Yes. Um, no gray and black. Give it a handle. Okay, I just feel like... Wait, maybe I do a red outer... Rosa Barbarian. I'm down for Rosa Barbarian, but you guys will decide. Let me do a red outer. Maybe, that, maybe that'll make it clearer. So I do... Can one of the characters just be a bear? Like a normal confused bear. <laughs> there's just no... There's just no context for why there's a confused bear with them. I mean, I'm on board with that. Getting a tattoo right now. I'll blame you due to the time. I am a bear. It's a two-year subscription. That's cash in the trash. Thank you so much, Meow Sticks, for the two years. I appreciate Ooh, it. Thank stuck. you. This looks even worse. That does not look anything like... Okay, hold on. Let me add the handle. Maybe that's what is actually needed here. The gay type. Just it's because we are talking sports, do you have any favorite college trash. teams? Just wondering. Eh, not really. Just Berkeley. And even then, Berkeley is so insanely bad at sports that you learn to, like, not actually Bear get emotionally attached to it. Sci fine, I'll ask. Why are you blonde? Because <laughs> of the Rosa birthday stream. Does that look like a fry? That does not look like a frying pan. I don't know how to draw. Look, I, for the most part, the drawing today is going to be intentionally bad. Make a bear yeah, let's stop doing everyone just thinks this wild to shit. Start. Uh... I'm only spending extra time on the characters because we're going to see them all the time. I feel like I need to... It looks good. It, it looks like a, hey like Doug, a fly swatter. Hey, it has been bugging me for a while, but why is your hair blonde? I don't think anyone asked yet. <coughs> I guess I could... No, it needs to be hand-drawn. I was going to say, I like it. Put a handle on the side. I donate whatever I want. You can draw a face over the pan. No, so it, it needs to be vertical. So it doesn't look like just a pan. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it shit. It needs a soul. Put eggs in frying pan for egg day. Well, it's going to have eyeballs. Hey, Ludwig. I like the new hairstyle. 
When did you start streaming on Twitch, and why do you look like Doug? This song has been going on Hey, can't time. be blonde if Doug is bald. Checkmate, basement dwellers. Okay, what's- oh, okay, we're doing and eyes. yes. Hold on. Give the frying pan an egg gun. Doug, we know about your blonde hair already. Please shut up about it, you keep plugging it every, single, stream. OpenAI is like the one tree hill of tech companies. Very true. Okay, does that look like a chef frying pan to you guys? This would be the character. Hey Doug, do you have any Give plans the frying for frying pan, hey guys, and a bacon smile. Future? Like MVM with other streamers or opening It plates. needs a mustache. I don't have more... It's a chef after all. I don't have more specific TF2 plans. I would love to do more at some point because I still love hey, TF2. Doug, have you ever seen Magic the Noah's YouTube videos? I have. It's pretty much your concept for this DND session, but very much what inspired PowerPoint this. and brings on random YouTubers. Yep. And you know it'd be crazy to see you there. Yeah, no, I, I Can one was introduced to him. That is exactly what inspired this. Max charisma that makes one player constantly carries them around since they can't move. Magic the Noah's stuff is extremely funny. Hey, Doug. Always wanted to it's say that it's excellent. a big shame that you are balding. However, I now realize that it's simple. All escapes into your beard. <laughs> okay. We're going to move on after this. I'm going to see if this looks good with... That doesn't look bartender. good. He looks high. He doesn't look. He doesn't Thank look. You must say. It doesn't look like he has egg eyes. He looks high. Make the dots yellow. And elemental wizard. You're right. Doug, pausing the alerts so my TTS message stops being relevant is very rude. <laughs> it's not my fault. I can't just sit here listening to TTS for like an hour. Okay, this or with black uh, eyes. I if think the black outline looks class, better. We need a bear and a twink class. Looks like the Pringles guy. <laughs> it looks yeah. like a looks like a frying Issues. pan. Issues. Okay, black outline, yellow pupils. In fact, I should even like. Hi, Doug. Yep. I got locked Hello? down at the installation I work at for five hours due to an active shooter. No one was hurt, but still not very poggies of them. I agree. Uh, glad you're safe. Presumably. Make a lawyer class and have a character named Parksa. It will be up to the people. Okay, um, uh, perfect. We have our character. What is... The frying pan. Can we name the chef Jeff? We need to give frying pan a name. We will give him a name, yes. In fact, let's do that now. Okay. Name of the the, the pan, chef. Uh, Jeff, a lot of people seem excited about. I mean, we could call him Gordon, but it feels a little wow, too Wow, I am so excited. This will be the best DND stream ever. Gerald. <laughs> it's the worst. We're shooting for the worst. Uh, Pring <laughs> Pringle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Someone locked me in a basement I and is forcing her. me to watch this. Great job on the terrible stream. Uh, thank you, Squidolian. We're working on it. It's This is pretty bad so far. I think we can all agree worst stream of the year contender, at least. Doug, I, mean, I am turning 30 tomorrow. Tell me, how do you do it? Being so old all the time, <laughs> I mean. It sounds exhausting. Honestly, being 30 is a lot less freaky than 32. When you turn 32, you're like, oh, shit. Like, I'm actually kind of... Because at 30, you're still like, oh, well, my 30s just started. But when you're 32, you're like, wait, what the fuck? I'm already, like, a, actually substantially through my 30s a little bit. So, you, don't worry. You got time. You'll freak out in two years. Seven. Okay. Um, I don't think he looks... Wrangle guy. <laughs> I mean, a little bit, yeah. I mean, it looks terrible. Uh, we can agree it looks terrible. Okay. Um, we have our name. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to introduce you to... Pringle! 
the chef frying pan. This is character number one. Uh, we do need a couple quick things. Pog. To be clear, there aren't actually rules really today. It's just whatever we kind of decide on the fly. But um, we do Pogies. need... I guess, does he need a weapon? Or he could just Pog. find a weapon. Let's, let's not start with a weapon. Well, nobody will start with a weapon. You have to like find shit along the way. That'll be more interesting. That way it's a real roguelike, you know? So what we need is the mo the move. He is yeah. the weapon. Yeah, that's true. He can just bash people with the face. So his class is chef. Move one. He can deal fire damage and heal allies. Uh, I guess that's okay. Move, fireball, just like burn people's hands. <laughs> Like it's not like it's not like he does a lot of damage. He just like gives people like f burns, like uncomfortable burns on their hands. Cool egg healing. Uh, I mean, you could like cook, yeah, cook eggs. Do you want the move to be called "Let Him Cook"? What do you, or or do you want him to just be able to cook food? Like his is <laughs> his skill is just to cook. We're we'll give him two abilities that you can use once per scene. Maybe once per uh, a campaign. I don't know. So, okay. One of the... Th oh, I put L in there. Uh, it'll just be let him cook is the move. And then you just figure out what that means. <laughs> Pan smack. Uh, I, that's less of a move to me versus just like he can just beat himself on people. You know, he'll just beat off on people. Like that's... that. I don't think that's a skill so much as just you can just do that. Like pan Bacon slam, bash. yeah, exactly. <sighs> um, cook food is persuasive skills used to ease tension. I mean, it could be whatever, right? Hello, I've never participated in stream before. It's very hard to chat honestly. Yeah. How about next character is an egg? Yeah, certain certain streams just chat is moves really, really, really fast. By the way, there's a lot of people donating text to speech. Like cheers and stuff to give suggestions. Invite you to my family's Thanksgiving celebration. I Obama only eat stuffing. Cheese and turkey and if you hit him with a metal weapon, he will start shedding black Teflon everywhere. I will cry if you do not come. Uh, I'm sorry, you might be you might be crying. Okay, let him cook is his first move. Just as a reminder for people who maybe haven't been here in a while or don't realize how backed up the alerts get. The alerts get really really backed up. I pause them for a while so that I can actually talk for a little bit without being interrupted. As a result, a lot of the, te the the alerts for a while will be super outdated. So if you donate right now to give suggestions for the vote that we're doing right now, by the time it actually comes up, it will be very outdated. I am not trying to scam you out of money. I just, unfortunately, that otherwise there's no way to make progress in the stream. So just keep that in mind. Hey, Doug and chat. It's me, the bard who killed the mop and stabbed the Roomba. I brought it Stoomba. Glad to see another similar stream happening. For being a vital piece of that campaign, I request to be a core ally. I I mean, you just have to, the, uh, you know, the egg gods have to be on your side. What is the second move that this dude has? We'll give him two moves. He can also, cook a meal once a day and heal all allies slash status. Yeah, I do like cook, cook, cook food for allies to heal. Are we going to have like hearts for people? I guess we can do the hearts thing again. Pansexual. <laughs> Distract enemies with food. That doesn't mean anything. He can just punch people normally. He doesn't need. I don't. What would this do? I don't know what that would be. How would that be different than him just beating people with his own head? Grease fire. I do like grease fire as an attack. Pansexuals. It's a, I guess. Okay. So the pansexual. Pride could be seduce an no, enemy. Doug, I thought you were an ally. JK. <laughs> uh. Hey, Doug. I remember the good old days when you were eating eggs for egg day. It was the most amount of eggs I seen being inserted into a single man. Good job, Slash I don't Doug. even... I feel like egg day might be gaslighting, and these friends are just making shit up. It's pro Egg day is probably real, because it sounds exactly like something I would do. But I have no memory of egg day. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Scramble. Scramble. 
swap places with another uh, character. That's pretty good. I, people are obviously going to do pan, probably vote for the pansexual one, but scramp. That's a pretty good move. You can add this randomly if you end up playing the frying pan. Um, Fry, make enemies nice oh, and crispy. Pan flip. Flip a character. Three and four can both be moves. Over your head behind you. Yeah, these are pretty good. I mean, we can. I'll, I'll throw multiple moves in. That's okay. Three. Three. Eggs are key to right, so you could technically still do more egg days. <laughs> yeah, I can. Doesn't mean I want to, <laughs> but I can. There's lots of things I can do on keto. <laughs> Okay, we'll do uh, moves three and four. Pansexual pride and scrambled. Hey, egg egg, fearsome eater of eggs and chicken me. How are your eggs? Are they woman ready? Are they baked or cooked? Your eggs quake in anticipation. I'm just gonna put pansexual seduction because I don't, this it should be interpreted hey, Doug, however you want. Can you tell my friend in chat that the third Harry Potter movie is the worst one, please? This would end a long discussion between us. I haven't seen it. I hate those movies. <laughs> This money is going towards Ag Day. I was forced to watch one, two, and four, and I hated all of them. It's not no, it's not like a based opinion. Most people love the movies. I just I just he I hate them. On this stream, we can strike for Ag Day. I oh yeah, it's it, it's not the same. It's not what I imagined in my head. Um, what is the third one? Oh, flip. Or what was it? Pan flip. To get worst stream, we need to let Doug Doug do what he wants. Oh, scrambled, scrambled. Scrambled. Hey, Doug, put an egg on the pan. I don't think there's space for it. Okay, cool. Um, can we make the party believe that the confused popcorn. bear is just a you wild You cook it for one drink, round, and it makes reality, popcorn it's explode. Just a really confused bear that doesn't understand common. <laughs> okay, NVM. Hey, Doug. There's so many people idolizing content creators. It's nice to finally see an audience that actively hates the streamer. <laughs> Anyways, fuck you, Doug. <laughs> God, so true. We are breaking the parasocial relationships that happen on Twitch. Okay, real quick, rapid fire. Uh, I wanna get moving on things. I've already been live for 43 minutes. So uh, really quick, we're gonna write down a few personality traits that you can try to adhere to. Ready, set, go. Personality traits for the pan chef. Doug, like what, how does he act? Gone here, personality. the artist that made a D&D fan art in Discord 07. Ooh, nice. Very hot. Hot? Like, okay, whatever, fine. Um, oh, very spicy, yeah. Like a spicy personality, that's good. All right, so you gotta be kind of like snippy. Um, he's French, okay. You heard the man. This is a Hot. fantasy world, but whatever. <laughs> Hot, strong, and sweet. <laughs> Middle opinion. <laughs> <coughs> oh, very... Food critical. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got our character. He's like a very snooty, a sexy Napoleon food critic. Fan. All right, that's enough. That's enough. You can figure out whatever else you want to add. All right, this is character number one. What's his name? Egg? What did we call him? What the hell is his name? Yeah, he can be salty too. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Uh, <clears throat> Welcome! Egbert. No, it's not his name. Two. Pringle! Welcome, Pringle, Pringle to the party. All right, cool. Uh, that's character one. I am going to celebrate by taking off my pants. Be right back. Pringle. Check. 
chair pog. Okay. <coughs> Alrighty, time for character number two. I should probably save this to be safe. Um, all right. Suggestions for character number two. What do you got? What? Wait, how do we start? Oh, like class, right? What is it? Chair character. I don't want to do another inanimate object. I guess it is animate. It is alive. I guess we can make it a chair. <laughs> if our team is a frying pan and a chair, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> I mean, if people really want chair, we can vote for it. Bear. Okay, a lot of people have talked about a uh, bear. That's that's very close. Because we have the bear. The bear can just yell, you know be confused and yell a lot. Oh wait, this isn't a class either. Whatever, I guess we're starting with what it is. <sighs> we're not gonna do bear in a chair. Oh yeah, yeah, otter. Well, we already voted on that last time. That got passed on. I wanna do new ones. Um, tell Parkster I said hi. Well, he's streaming, you can go tell him. The caveman. Yeah, that could be fun. Okay, parks her with a gun. Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to throw specific people. I think it's more interesting if we make people up. They could have Parkser esque personality. Um, a window, <laughs> guys. You're too set on inanimate objects. I think. Can a character be one of the AI dogs? Uh. Like as a character, not actually AI. A caveman. I think it, um, this one will just be. I feel like it's a little too vague. Oh, I, I got to swap people out too. If you do exclamation mark player one, player two, player three, I'm just gonna swap people out when we're um, picking a new character. Thank you to our lovely three contestants for uh, participating in this fine character creation. Okay, somebody said quarterback. That's funny. I thank my firings for this. Quarterback. Look, you can re- why you ditch them? <laughs> just go hang out with them now. As I said before, I'm just gonna pay, rotate people out on a frequent basis while we're setting things Player up. Player two. Okay, go, go, and go. Cool, we have new, uh, victims. Okay. Next character. I think bear is more interesting than chair, personally. Which, yes, I am saying to subtly influence Bear to win. But, like, Chair doesn't Two. say anything, right? A bear would just make bear noises. Two. What about a chair with fur? I guess, okay. We could add he has a move where he transforms into a chair. <laughs> Which does not make any sense. I don't know why he would do that. Okay, but if that's one of his moves, the chair doesn't do anything, okay? Like, it doesn't help in any way. He just turns into a motionless, speechless chair. Yeah, a wild shape. Okay, so the druid, <laughs> the bear will be a druid. <sighs> okay. Um, our second character will be a bear. Whoever made a joke about Ludwig, congratulations, I spit my water on my keyboard because I started laughing. Well played, my fellow single father. Wasn't it just about him being blonde? I feel like that's not... Okay. Um, bear. Hey, blonde. Why is your hair, Doug? Okay. Um, I will now draw a beautiful bear. <clears throat> Watch greatness. Ah, Unfold. yes. Unfold. The bear with proper disguise I tactics. I started in honor of Gerald Ford after finding a cure for the raging bourbonic plague in 1854. It's a shame your parents never got you vaccinated for it. 
For the plague? You dag, I saw on the VOD some One Piece cards, you play? It surprised me out how fun it was when I tried it. No, Failboat bought some cards and then didn't want them, so I just play with them as a... Um, as a fidget the toy. The surviving egg from the tragic egg, they would make an excellent character. Can it be the cocaine bear? Oh shit, I'm drawing this on the wrong thing. I have to restart all this one sec. I like that every time you try to do a worst stream ever, you literally just let chat cook for half of it, and just goof around for the rest of it. Which often results in them being some of the What if he's a magic teddy bear? bear? To be the worst stream lower TTS to one dollar and allow these nuts jokes. That would be a terrible stream. That's a good point. Alright, one sec. I, I did my layers wrong. He can buff allies with good food and debuff enemies with poison slash bad food. Oh, so yeah, we are ra way far behind on the alerts. Okay, uh, then he has eyeballs here? You should make an idiot class and name the character Ludwig. <laughs> One of his moves is that he just smacks a honeypot over someone's head to blind them. I have always wondered why you look like a pineapple that turned ginger. <laughs> okay, how much of a body do I give him? I, I... I'm going quick hey, here, Doc, okay? Will you ever do a Ned Day stream? Let's go. Pro uh, probably not. I'm busy that day. I'm, I'm gonna go pretty quick here, guys, all right? Don't worry too much about the bear's hey, anatomy. Bug. Just watch Ridley Scott's This Napoleon. bear is amazing. Oh. No sign of the Twitch chase with tears of joy. Chess battles. Disappointed in new general. Yeah, that's that's inaccurate. Absolutely beautiful. I think he's a beautiful bear. I'll draw some hair. TTS being backed up would make the stream worse, right? Isn't that what we want today? <laughs> that is true, that is true. Okay, this bear is really going to come together once we pour him full of brown. Incredible. TTS check. This cheer was sent at 4.57 a.m. You are a scammer, Doug. I didn't do anything. I think that's a lion with dysmorphia. <laughs> hey, <don't>... He's <laughs> a beautiful bear. Hey, hey, Doug. I have you on my right monitor next to chat GPT and Doug Cord. And my versus code on my left monitor. It looks beautiful. This is true productivity right here. Arash, my thank project's you. using OpenAI, so a bit worried about how stuff is going. I recommend Open Router as an alternative. Well, it seems like hey, OpenAI is stable this now. This is a big message to crowd up your alerts. Oh my, my I'm new so god. <coughs> okay. We need a name for him. Um. <clears throat> I can't believe Name for it. the bear. You have to commentate. Not my Doug. Not my steamer. Suck he looks like an old child's toy that got played with way too hard. Face with tears of joy. People coming out as trans to avoid being eaten on egg day. <laughs> also, you should let Twitch chat play campaign Why? for North Africa. Don't be. Just one game. Just one. Just one is. game, Doug. I have no idea what that is. I remember egg day. I think you got to like 16 or so. It was actually kind of impressive. Garfield? No, Cocaine can be one of his moves. But his name shouldn't Delay be check. Cocaine Bear. Sending this message at 1400 hours California local time zone. Hello from Australia at Bear. 9 o'clock. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> These are not very good names. Doug, your memory is egg? lost. <laughs> you used to do Egg Day with us on stream every week. Sad what old age does Egg to would be person. too confusing. We're not doing Egg. Yeah, oh, look, there's no proof of that, though. We didn't do Egg Day on stream. Hey, Doug. Do you remember in college when you had to give me as much money as you could? You called it Money Day. Ha ha, we should do it's that again also. Good fun. try. That's Mr. Matt Matt, thank you, man. Trash. Okay, I'm seeing mostly. Okay, there's one I really guy who be said sleeping for my polio. So I'll throw that out. This is clearly more important. Yeah, we have to save the king or whatever the story ends, or kill him or something. How, dude? How would you possibly go to sleep right now? Hey, Doug. If you didn't how find about out this character, 
your removed if pants. The king ha you know, gets polio or whatever. <laughs> a lot of a lot of interest in polio, actually. Five. Polio and egg, egg really. Egg the bear, double Oops, exclamation mark, double three. exclamation mark. <laughs> I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion that could get a, a bit insensitive, so I will probably avoid that. Okay, a uh, heated Why battle between egg and polio. Go ahead and get your last votes in. Because their sunny egg days kept getting covered in shells also. I think the next character should be a cutout of Danny DeVito. So you're saying not Danny DeVito, it's a cutout of Danny DeVito. Okay, it looks like hey, uh, Twitch egg hates one. my phone notifs apparently because I got no notification. Crown. It did tell me Parks it was live to lol. Yeah, that's good. Parks is a gateway drug into Doug Doug content. So... The, you know, strat still works. Hey, okay. Doug. Welcome, awesome everybody. girl named Gracie and I are watching your stream and we are big fans of you and DND. Her birthday is three days ago, but can you still wish her a happy birthday, please? Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Ernie. Egg is I missed her. I missed her Let's name. Go. What was it? I'm going to guess Ernie. Just happy birthday, underwear, Ernie. Doesn't that make chess smell like us? If you got a real mess just, like, and want to clean like the clothes, then you pants. gotta see this. Hi, Billy Mays here with Zorbies. Does your underwear just smell like shit material all the time? I've ever used. It That's has a problem. The go wrong. And the muscle to pick up and hold over 20 ounces of liquid. Look, Look at this. this. Zorbies attracts liquid like a magnet. It doesn't matter if it's Wait, coffee, soda, even red wine. Watch as its powerful so vacuum a giant action, of pulls subs. and cleans the stain from out of the carpet. Just that quick. Zorbies the secret's in the X27 fiber technology, making Zorbies, Zorbies over, over 27, 27 times more absorbent than, than cotton. cotton. Forget towels this has been that a just while. drip and we had a good Zorb in a while. Smell, Zorbies is odor free and leaves a path of clean. Now you can clean and dry and never leave anything behind. You'll be amazed at just how much they absorb. And they're machine washable. Dry your entire car, even your dog. Use any cleaner for street free windows. An average family uses up to two rolls of paper towels every week. That's, That's cash, cash in, in the, the trash. trash. Save, save money and even help, help save the environment. environment. You get two jumbo Zorbies plus three extra large for only $14.99 but call right now and I'll send you another five Zorbies absolutely free that's ten Zorbies for only $14.99 and as a special bonus we'll also include our Micromen microfiber duster free it's great for blinds plants glass and more and a dress like a magnet that's a sixty dollar value all for only $14.99 and here's, and here's the, the best part. part. We'll, we'll send you a set of Zorbies free. Whatever you need them for life. life. Just pay shipping and processing. But, but you, you gotta, gotta call now. now. I never noticed that he used it on the plants. Face with tears of joy. <laughs> oh, I've had music playing this whole time. Whoops. Make the bear blonde. <laughs> no. No, because then everybody's going to spend the whole stream asking why is the bear blonde. We have enough of that. <laughs> Um, okay, we need some moves for our bear I druid. I love eggs so damn much. Move one. I only voted bear because I just rewatched the Skyrim door randomizer VODs and I want to manifest the legendary bear door. Okay, so move number one is... <laughs> <laughs> Do oh, gosh, cocaine! Multiple Napoleon chess ideas move out one. of my cocaine head. Cocaine overdose. Please, and say, ha ha, yes. Coca Napoleon thinks he's in an anime. Napoleon is the main character. Napoleon thinks chat is Julius Caesar. I want a chicken with a human leg on its head. Also, what's this song? I don't know what song. I'm sorry. I don't know what song was playing. Okay, what was the other one? It was like shapeshift into a chair, right? The bear turning into a motionless chair made me think of that one tree man ASDF movie sketch. Was that the bite of 87? Chair powers activate. What is the bite of 87? What does that mean? Hey Doug, can we have a stream where it's all TTS and you just kind of sit there? We will be nice, I promise, wink. We do that every stream. That's, that's every single stream. He doesn't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Been a bit since I caught you, Liv. Hope you're doing well, fella. Smile, P.S. 
Is the TTS in a Welsh accent? It is. I swear it is. Oh, it's Fred. No, I don't want to reference Five Nights at Freddy's. I think the main character should have taunt. What do you think? I'm mean, going to give him taunt. I don't know. Uh... I don't want to attract a Five Nights at Freddy's audience. Move no, three, no offense to anybody who likes Five Nights at Freddy's. covers the floor with honey. Demon Algrim from Pajama Sam. It's time to bring him to life. It's like Minecraft. I don't want the Minecraft audience. <laughs> I, there's plenty of people who enjoy Minecraft or Five Nights at Freddy's who are cool, wonderful people. But there's lots of people who enjoy both of those or either of those uh, products that don't act normal or have a good sense of boundaries or appropriate behavior on the internet. I don't really want to I don't really want to uh, make Fair an effort though. to invite that audience. With that being said, third move. People are saying the third move is polio. That's just a disease. <laughs> like, what does this mean? Please, polio. I. <laughs> so does he have to use? Okay, so he uses the move and then he just gets polio. Getting jiggy with polio. Let's go. So okay, so his, <laughs> his moves are to do cocaine, turn into a chair, and do and get polio. Okay. Um, egg the move bear. Three is confusion. Really coming along strong. Um, okay. What is it's his self destruction? He's a druid. What is his other personality traits? We'd be like confused. Has polio. That's not a personality trait. <laughs> uh, high. Well, high is also not a personality trait. He could do that when he does cocaine. No, he can't also be hot. The frying pan's already hot. He likes honey. I, I guess that's kind of a personality trait. Doug, that drawing looks awful. Google big sexy bears to see better references <laughs> to improve your art. No. <laughs> um, he hates eggs. Okay, sure. Why blonde man balding? Why Doug man Ludwig? Why blonde man egg man? Why is egg man blonding? It, you covered it. And that should set us for at least like 10 minutes until somebody else asks. Likes to get buzzed. Um, this stream fucking sucks. Hates, Great job. It's forest fires. We could just do hates fires. Th these aren't really personal. Like, how does he interact with people? Egekes, leader of the three hundred. I guess confused. The cowardly lion bear. <laughs> Cow. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's do scared of uh, scared of forest fires. Where are the poll options shown? I'm blind, so maybe I'm just missing something extremely obvious on screen. Um, to you just type the number in chat, and then that will that will register the vote. You mean your underwear doesn't smell like shit all the time? So I shit my pants. Doesn't know how to thing. speak well. I mean, to me, that's what confused is. Uh, can the bear know kung fu from his Asian cousin Po? Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> uh, use small words. Can we have a sentient sunflower for third who is just happy to be there? They can be drawn like a stick figure so it's easier for your bored blondie brain. <laughs> I, I, you guys don't seem to understand. I can't be bald and blonde. Your insults are... Are conflicting he with each other. He looks very wise to me. Okay, wise, ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to introduce <clears throat> character number two, Egg the Confused Drug Addict Bear, Druid. Wait, no, some people are saying they want him to be stupid. All right, hold on. Wise, stupid. Introducing 
Egg, the dumb, smart bear. Okay. <coughs> Perfect. We have our second character. Are you really doing a Neopets stream tomorrow? Yep. I'm the Neopets veteran that posted about Dark Law and Broken Sight shit in Wise but stupid, round. high was low into a real treat tomorrow if this stream is real. Yeah, stream is real. I mean, hopefully the site works. All right, let us create our final character. Uh, we have Pringle the frying pan. Egg the, bo the bear, drug addict. Um, I guess we'll start, why don't we start with the class? I think that'll help a bit. Sure, I'll, I'll do new, Egg is new players. Here. Do exclamation mark player one, exclamation mark player two, exclamation mark player three. Let's get you added in to add commentary here. The song rips. Hey, did you chat. hear they made a game out of the hit movie Five Nights at Freddy's? I know literally nothing about Five Nights at Freddy's. I guess I do know that that's wrong. <laughs> I know that much. Uh, all right, cool. Boom, boom, Debbie, boom. If you're wanting to grow your Five Nights at Freddy's and Minecraft audience, you need to stream this to YouTube. Dude, you know what I realized? I I, I talked uh, like two streams ago about streaming on YouTube. Um, Whoa. And then I remembered uh, yesterday that I would have you have to make a thumbnail for every single stream on YouTube, and I hate making thumbnails. Cool. So that I literally might not stream on YouTube just because of that. <laughs> like. I probably will, but like it just it makes the effort even higher to do it, and I don't care that much about doing it. So we'll see. Ludwig has a solution. Yeah, I mean, I could do. I can find solutions. Um, I do, after all, have a thumbnail designer on my team, but um, I just hate thumbnails. I hate thinking about thumbnails. Ugh. Blech. Cat jam. Okay. Um, what class is player number three? It doesn't have to be like a Dungeons and Dragons class, really. Somebody said Pope. I like where your head's at. I don't want to reuse. I don't want to lean into the Bard. Pope stuff because we, we really kind of overdid that for a little bit. I want to do something different, but the idea is good. Like an archer monk or something. Um, lawyer is funny. That's I don't really know how that translates into... Somebody said zombie. That's not really like a... We're trying to... Like, what is the class of like how they would fight and what, they're, what they do in combat? <laughs> Clown. Um, bard who is really bad at playing an instrument. So every bard. Man with gun. Janitor. I guess we've done a lot with janitor too. Uh, pregnant. Pregnant is not a class. <laughs> that can be a personality trait. We need the streamer class. I feel like that it's too at odds with like the environment of a fantasy game. Um. Prospector. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of different ones. I'm not. None of them are like really jumping out at me. I mean, I guess we could do like YouTuber, but I, I, dude, I don't. I feel like that's just too. It's too aggressively out of place in a fantasy setting. What is an artificer? I don't actually know what that is. I see that word all the time, but uh, we can make him a necrophiliac. Like he raises skeletons from the dead. That guy should be kind of cool. No, that'd be too hard to draw. I don't want to do that. Uh, war criminal, vampire, salesman, eldritch knight, lumberjack. Sh sure. That could work with the bear. Bartender. Very food related then. Um, bounty hunter. Bounty hunter could be fun. Because then, like, you can just say that you have bounties on people. Bounty Hunter could actually be pretty good. And they could have, like, you could have, like, rogue powers or whatever. Artificer makes things. 
They're basically magical engineers. Oh, okay. Uh, it's kind of vague. <laughs> Arsonist. <laughs> Arsonist is funny because our bear is scared of fire. Okay, what, did any of these jump out? Single mom is not really a class. <laughs> Stay at home, Make mom. the bear hyperactive since he's high on coke. I think it will be up to whoever's playing the bear to appropriately act as the bear would given that he's high on coke. I have depression, anxiety, and that, and your vids have kept me company the days when I couldn't get out of bed. So thanks for that greater than two. You're welcome. Uh, I hope things get better, man. Chat, please stop with the polio jokes. They are not funny. Now leprosy, that's a funny disease. I think that polio, polio is totally chill to be joked about because it's like gone, right? Isn't it? Polio's gone, Twitch right? Twitch chat coalition, hear me. We must push for the Doug Doug cut of Napoleon. We will waterloo a whirlwind our way to the spotlight. Give us a moment, Ridley Scott, pretty please. In the Western world, is it not? Maybe I'm mixing up with smallpox because smallpox is totally gone. Polio, and it, there's, polio it's in a jar now, right? Is a disabling and life-threatening disease caused by the polio virus. The virus spreads from person to person and can infect a person's spinal cord, causing paralysis. It's basically a fancy paralysis. Wait, hold spell. on. So polio will paralyze the bear. The. Uh... The other move that he has is to turn into a chair, which basically paralyzes him. <laughs> two, of his, two of his moves are just paralyzing him himself, and the other's doing cocaine. Egg sucks. Okay, uh, we voted that our third character is an arsonist, which is a great combo with our bear. <sighs> okay. Um, here the bear go. gives polio. <laughs> does he give Egg polio? Is the best. Or does he just get polio? <laughs> Everybody gets polio. <laughs> Everybody in the room. Uh, because that way he could be like, hey, hey, allies, get down. I'm about to polio. And then he just like, you know, booms like a mushroom and spreads polio spores everywhere or however polio spreads. It's a gift. I don't think most people would like his gift. Okay. We, uh, we have an arsonist. What yes. is, what is it? Babe, I'm going to polio. <laughs> so dumb. No, we're so fucking stupid, dude. He should also know all about the art of seduction, just as the bears from Baldur's Gate 3. Man, I gotta play Baldur's Gate, dude. Now I actually have some free time, so I can. But I still want to play Starfield. Okay, sorry. I wasn't even looking. Um, what class? Uh, I'm seeing a lot of goblin, chicken is Make fine. Make of the arsonist. She looks like she craves chaos. What song is this? This is the... It's like the no 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 song. No 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 no. Pyro from TF2. Okay, that actually kind of works. Yeah. Is this racer class? I mean, it's all. There's no real rules here. It's just like, what is it? What am I drawing? It, it is a arsonist. So goblin, chicken, um, chiropractor feels like more of a class to me. Uh, make a demon. Oh, yeah, it could just be like a hell demon of some kind. A tree. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so stupid. A snowman? Wouldn't he melt from his own fire? Um, no, I don't want to do Parkster's gun. <laughs> I feel like just having a gun class is dumb. <laughs> You could have a. I guess we have a frying pan class, but I don't. I don't want to do Danny DeVito because I don't want to reference a specific person. I think it's more interesting if it's like a, a broader thing. A guy, just a normal guy from Missouri. Dun, 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 dun. It would be fun. Oh, sorry, Bob. If it is just a random guy with no skills, the the, the problem Five. with. Problem with that. If it's just a random dude, why is he an arsonist? Like the joke of him being a normal guy doesn't really work with him being an arsonist. You know what I mean? That's the only downside to that, even though it's funny conceptually. Trait is divorced. I mean, it's certainly the normal guy from Missouri could be divorced. 
Um, Isekai main character. <laughs> so he got isekai into this world, but he just Keeps is an arsonist. His tongue accidentally. Uh, yeah, that's good. Thank you, Tareen, for posting the the the. Dun, 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 dun. Normal people can be arsonists. I don't think it's normal to be an arsonist. My question was, where sorry can to the I arsonists out there. Which matches which number? Uh oh. Well, it sh you should just be able to see it here. So like one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tegu failed at making this the worst stream. The hot tub and fish stream was only better D. because Parkza was there, but this has been more funny, blind, bored man. Yes, blind, not bored. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, new song. Uh, it looks like it's going to be just a guy from Missouri. That feels... Okay, but if he's just normal, there's no, like, personality that we can give him. You know what I mean? I feel like I might veto seven. I might make him a tree. Because if he's normal, then the whole point is that I guess we could just say he just wants to do really generic things. I think it's boring. I think we do tree. I'm surprised uh, TF2 didn't get more. All right. This is kind of going against the, the improv. I'm going to reject normal guy from Missouri. D. Sorry to the Missourians, or sorry to the Missouri fans here, I guess. It's just like, what would the personality be? If he's on just the outside, person? he's normal, but on the inside, he's got polio. <laughs> you know what? Sure. I'll let the people decide. You guys are meant to more be the DM today. His personality is that he wants to get back to Missouri. <laughs> okay, fine. A normal guy from Missouri wins. Um... I need a reference. Guy from Missouri. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me get to work. Recreating this beautiful man. Uh, let me get some skin color. I would love the cutout of Danny DeVito. He can also be a vampire and shit mustard. What is the color of skin? Wait, I should just... Hold on, I'll copy him in here. It's brilliant. Doug, you can in fact be bald and blonde. There are multiple places on the human body where hair grows. You can only- Ask your doctor mom, she can help explain it to you. Okay, I will take the color of his skin, and now I will make Missouri Man. It might what? be too late, but he should be paranoid of forest fire, not just scared. Like he will ask what's behind you. Is it a forest fire? Oh, oh, that's why. Yeah, I like that. It's a good idea. Hey, Doug. Just got here. What the fuck was that? Can he be in the shape of Missouri? <laughs> he's got it, but he's a normal guy. The whole point is that he's a normal guy. Okay, let me get his beautiful, striking blue eyes. Jessica, I know you're watching the stream right now. I don't care that you broke up with me, but can I have my dog back? R slash Anarchy Chess was right about you. Duck Jessica. Come on, Jessica, do it for him. A singing fish that is a bard. Like those singing wall mounted singing bass. Hey, Doug, this is my first time donating. I've been a silent watcher for about a year. Recently watching through all 550-ish VODs on your Duke 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 channel. Holy shit. Anyway, you should give a character the dementia trait, just like you have, because you forgot about Doug, please, for the love of God, you, guys you mean Necromancer. can roleplay. I already offered Necromancer, you guys didn't like it. People were saying I was weird and gross, so apparently people hate Necromancers. And yes, I know what a Necrophiliac is. I thought it'd be funny. Um, Out Salmon for character 3. Okay, what is like his just normal skin color? Doug, I think you meant necromancer, not the other thing. Oh, his all right, his head's a little his head's a little messed up. <laughs> He's perfect. <laughs> He's like this guy sucks. Make the character have his the name's just Bob, Mr. Beast. He looks like that guy from Pawn Stars. 
First name, just last name, Bob. Hey, we don't need hey, to give Doug, him a last name. I just defected from YouTube to join the Twitch mod. The D and D stream is today. Hell yeah. No, 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 no. Don't get you can't get excited. This is total improv D and D. We're making it all up on the spot. It's meant to be terrible. This is gonna be the worst stream of the year. Doug, my buddy, a necrophiliac His last is someone name who fucks dead bodies. What you meant to say was necromancer. Uh, right. Yeah. Mr. Suri. Hold on. His Should name could be Bob Bob. In a trench coat wielding Molotovs. Nope. Hold on. If polio is too complicated to think about, why not make the third move have the bear speak? The bear can try to convince PP with the words they say. <laughs> you guys are welcome to take the bear in any direction you want, that's the point. This is my first stream. Good thing you didn't decide to make it bad or anything like that. Alright, right. I would never do that to you. Um, do we- th Bob Suri. Do I Best fill in the ears or no? PC. I feel like I do. He's a firefighter. He starts the fires so he can put them out and be the hero. This guy sucks. <laughs> uh, okay. I need his body though. I I don't. Okay, I'll just I'll put his blue shirt. Hey Doug, you might want to look up the definition of necrophiliac. <laughs> I'm pretty God. sure you meant necromancer. <laughs> also, yes, you should play Baldur's Gate. It's fucking fantastic. Also, hi chat. Love you less okay. than three. As someone from Missouri, I demand representation. I don't know what, like, the f feet or Missouri people look like. This is fine, right? And then I just give him a blue shirt. Make um, him a Hellcaster. He has oh, hooves. would be fitting then. It's not, it doesn't have hooves. That could be his personality trait. He has hooves. Okay, now I fill in... Okay, oh, that's a bit much. One sec. Where's the gap? He was a normal guy who was a failed Twitch streamer named He's Duke like Doug. the firefighters day, from Chad Fahrenheit 457. That's when he became stubborn the arsonist from oh, Missouri. Why. Hey Doug the Missourian should have Missouri misery. There we go. And then you are... Okay, but why Missouri? Missouri sucks, not gonna lie. Uh... Y you know... Why not? Doug, why did you just draw yourself? Alright. He's the perfect boy. Uh, what, what color is Missouri? Hey, for anybody who's from Missouri, what, what, did, what do you put on your pants? Like, what color is your pants, or what's on it, or whatever? Doug Rick, gaslighting chat forehead. for not wanting I think it'd be funny if he was ice skating to a fantasy world, but he just wants to go back to Missouri. Too lazy to draw skelly boys. Hey Doug, I just got here and I know this is off topic. At a gate of Baldur, you go bald if you lose a saving throw, since I just played Baldur's Gate 3. Wait, I'm, I didn't understand that. Doug. I'm currently working on a piece in Photoshop Camel for pants. Arkansas, but between us, you are clearly the superior artist. Especially since you're a mouse drawer. I have a mouse drawer? Hold on. Why did that- Oh, He could be a way. caveman that introduces himself as Missouri. Um, okay, cool. He is absolutely perfect. He lost his pants. You can just say he's naked if you want. We do need, though, um, I need a song, a name. It's been an hour and a half. We haven't even made the characters. But Bob. Okay, a lot of, lot of excitement for, Pop, for Bob. Me, sorry. That's too confusing. I won't be able to differentiate between the two. Mr. Zuri. <laughs> it's just like misery. <laughs> um, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, Carl. I used to say there's a lot of just like generic game names that we could throw in. Head. Like Point Crow. <laughs> uh, Name him Douglas Douglas. Well, hold on. <laughs> that guy doesn't look like me. That'd be confusing, because then we wouldn't know whether we're talking about me or not. We could have him be called Doug. But I think we can agree Bob is probably the, the best. The resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> I don't like. He's bald like you. Literally, there's. N First off, I'm blonde. Three. Okay. Secondly, unlike him, I have a full head of hair. <laughs> okay. I'm happy to introduce Doug, <laughs> a guy, an arsonist from Missouri. Jay Caliber, thank you. You are blonde, you might as well be bald. It doesn't make sense. Okay. What are his moves? Let me write out moves first so I can fill this out quickly. TNT's nuts. I. That feels like you, you gotta add more, man. If you're gonna go down with the ship, mods, take him out back. If you're gonna get banned for a D's nuts joke, you, you gotta add more. Do a prison. You want his By move? By the time to this gets to you, it will be Thanksgiving anyway. So I'm going to be having my dinner now. The alerts aren't that far behind anymore. I gotta say, character creation's been pretty fun, and then the campaign we're gonna do is gonna be He's horrifically bad. He's just a normal bad. guy from Missouri. Not a normal guy. What he is and does are just what normal people in Missouri are like. <laughs> okay, fair. He only seems weird because we are outside of Missouri. Fair enough. That is the explanation for everything. He looks lost. His name should be Mr. Handlebars. Mr. Doug. <laughs> okay. Um. So, Doug the Arsonist, what's his first move? He should use Molotov cocktails. So, am cocktails. I the only one who wants context behind the mugshot? Is it a mugshot? 77-year-old <laughs> Missouri man gets 10 years for growing weed. This is perfect. He is fucking perfect. I didn't search Missouri, Missouri criminal. Missouri so lost. Let's call him Mr. Handlebars. I literally called him- I just googled guy from Missouri, and it's all criminals. Okay. Um, okay, hold on. So he's an arsonist. Does he have a- Does he have a flamethrower, or just like a box of matches? Is this the milking stream? Cause I feel like a normal guy- No. I feel like a normal guy wouldn't have... A flamethrower. You know what I mean? That's not a normal guy from Missouri. Just you be know, like a Mr. Doug Fiery that reminds me of Billy. Lighter. Remember Billy? <laughs> okay, well, Billy the it. sex offender. <laughs> he has a Bic lighter. <laughs> he gets creative making fire. Mr. Bob Sully, divorced. I mean, for, for you, sweet, so he probably for you Gen has a Z kids who never grew up buying cheap Bic lighters at the gas station. All right, that's just it's just the most generic lighter that you have. Okay. Now you kids have your fancy Ability, vapes. Missouri Misery induces depression in his opponent. <sighs> or sends opponent to the Shadow Realm, Missouri. I mean, vapes are way better, let's be honest. Um, okay, I know what a Bic is. Oh, well, I don't know. Probably a lot of... Probably a realistic uh, picture of yourself. Uh, looking good. Also, fuck you. <laughs> Thank you. I assume a lot of a lot of kids growing up nowadays like don't use or see lighters even when they are like nicotine users, right? I assume. I don't know. Anyway, okay, uh, number two. A lot of people are saying depression. That's not really a move. Like, you don't do anything with that. I guess it's no different than polio, but... Tax fraud. How would that help? <laughs> How would that help? <laughs> Grow He gives weed. the enemy depression by talking about his divorce. Okay, I'm seeing a lot. People, a lot of people seem to want smoke or grow weed. I guess we can do that. I'll do that. Uh, Mr. J, thank you. By being boring. Okay, move number two is to grow weed. 
Uh, what is his third move? Doug is such a chill dude. <laughs> he does not look chill. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing... Well, let's vote on this one. I'm seeing a lot of final move. I'm seeing a lot of depression. Tax evasion. I'm seeing a lot of tax evasion. Um, spill gasoline. I do like that one. It also combos well with his other moves. He's be becoming a real MOBA character. Dye hair blonde. He doesn't have enough hair to do that. I don't want to have to edit his character midway through the thing. Flame punch. <laughs> Hold on. That's very, like, fantasy-esque. So you're saying his moves should be having a Bic lighter, growing weed, and flame punch! And then he's just randomly an anime character with one of his moves. I mean, I don't, I don't know what flame punch means, but sure. Um... Somebody said beat up sixth graders. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would there be sixth graders in the Summon campaign? The entire state of Missouri. That's very, it's too specific. Midlife crisis is not a move. He burns his hand and then punches someone. Yeah, I guess. What's I, the Missouri state bird? He could summon that. Missouri state bird. It's probably like a duck. I don't know. I don't know anything about Missouri. Oh, that's actually very pretty. Hey, good for you, Missouri. Nice, nice job. Well done. Okay. Go ahead and vote. For move number three. Ability alcohol withdrawal. <laughs> I mean, look, you got ultimately whoever's playing Doug can add, you know, their own personality into it. It's up to you. Four. I mean, this one's pretty it's evenly perfect. split other than beat he up six just like you, And you are famously from Missouri. <laughs> Make famously. one of his moves that chat helps him. What, like a lifeline Doug for chat? Too up. His power could be that he bores people by talking to them about his ex-wife, Margaret. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Apparently, his third move is going to be beat up sixth graders. However, technically, when you're playing him, you could set your hand on fighter with your Bic lighter and then punch somebody. He's slightly radioactive. Like, not super, but more than is normal. Standing next to him is like having a dental x-ray. Yeah, okay, that'll be his, one of his personality traits. Um, move number three... Hi, Doug, sending this now so it gets there on time. Wow, that's my favorite Neopit. <laughs> he is made of fire. Okay. No, he's not. He's, normal guys from Missouri aren't. Okay. Um, the following okay. He's is perfect. proof by induction that everyone is basically bald. A base case, if you have one hair, you're basically bald. Assume if you have K hairs, you're basically bald. Now, if you have K plus one hairs, you're still basically bald. If a Doug Doug is basically bald, cheer one. This is a normal man from Missouri. Start fires when he smokes weed. Okay, his class is guy. I think yeah, we should like so so his he is an arsonist. Oh wait, no, his class was arsonist. Okay, his class. Okay, whatever. <laughs> his class was supposed to be arsonist, and then he is a guy from Missouri. Instead, so his class is guy from Missouri. His class his, is arsonist. His personality is arsonist. I guess. Okay, what else? Uh, what else we have? Midlife crisis will be will be his personality trait. I guess. Um, somebody else had another. What was the other one? Terrified of polio. <laughs> Divorced and just wants to go home. <laughs> okay, divorced fits with this guy. Tax evasion is not really a personality. I will say hates taxes. This is awkwardly silent. Let me throw in music. We'll punt a child on sight. We, he, we already has that move. Really boring. Alcoholic? We didn't really give him alcohol, though. We'll just say addicted to stuff. Has a criminal record. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I had one other. Um... Oh, shit. I had a good one, then I lost it. 
Um, I mean, I think this is enough to go off of. Dead. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Isekai. Um, Dub got hit by Trap Quinn. Hey, dog. This has no chance nice guy, of being worth the stream this one. year. Don't you remember the terrible Wikipedia game? This could be in the running. I mean, it's been pretty Pog fun so far. Pog face can stun enemies, preventing them from moving for a turn. <laughs> we, we, guys, we have to make this a lot worse. This has been pretty fun. So far, the stream hasn't been a disaster. Uh, but we haven't even started playing D&D, so we have plenty of opportunity. Um, ladies and gentlemen. Doug Ma talking about Jan Z not buying lighters, like Jan Zedos never want to set things on fire. Fair point. Fair counterpoint. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> may I present? I love him. Doug, the arsonist guy from Missouri. And he has, he got isekai here, so he has no idea why he's here I and he wants to go home. Doug was streaming. <laughs> I can make him... My VTuber. This could be the future of the Doug Doug stream. The ideal man. You may not like it, but this is what the ideal man looks like. Yes. Oh, right, right, yeah. And also... A little bit radioactive. Which, to be clear, doesn't doesn't do or mean anything, but, you know, that that's our Doug. Okay. We have the characters. <laughs> what I need to do now is... Um, hold on. Let me, let me play some music. Do, 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 do. Ooh. This is what a peak male looks like. I now need to export these characters and put them into OBS so that you are controlling your character down there. In theory, we are starting the actual game of Dungeons and Dragons in like 30 minutes. I need to set up the characters and then we need to make the overworld. The overworld is very important to make. Um, no, I'm not, we, you don't need to do exclamation mark player. I, I need to do, this is like a five minute coding adventure actually. Okay, you are character three, you are Doug. I'm high, why is there a bell pepper with a mustache? Missouri's strongest soldier screen? is here to help us. Uh, okay. So I should, wait. Um, how do I do this? I'm stupid. Let him know a bit of magic so he can control the sun's rays to make fires. That's so much, though. Okay, I need to copy this. Meth strength. <laughs> does meth make you stronger? I assume it does not. I assume it just makes you think you're stronger. Okay. Um, so these three should be I approve right, cool. with Doug. Oh wait, I should fill this in. With white. Oops. Perfect. Alright. Uh, I still believe that the bear should have been a barbarian, and that cocaine is his form of raging. Oh, also, that is a good idea. my brother is fat. Okay. I am exporting things, getting them ready. Flame punch, it's like a Pokemon movie, lights his fist on fire for extra damage, but takes recoil. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, basically, you guys will just do whatever you want, and then I'll, I'll do my best to handle it as the dungeon master. I will be less strict about... Uh, does this make sense? RGB hair, but the more you use it, the faster you lose your hair. What? Is that a thing? Is that how hair works? Like, the more you use it, you lose it? Have you considered giving the no, players a passive ability? Um, I mean, a lot of the things we talked about seem like passive abilities to me. Uh, for example, being depressed. Doug, have you ever had a cat lick your bald head? It is top tier exfoliation. Polio is very passive. Uh oh, there we go. 
So we have a frying pan who cooks eggs on itself, a bear that does cocaine and hates fires, and an old dog from Missouri who lights fires and smokes weed. Yeah. Wonderful team. Yeah. I think I'm really confident you guys will win or whatever. Can we make a trait be that he doesn't listen to the person playing as him and does whatever you want him to or Terry's like only a 50% chance controlling him works? They will make the stream worse. Wait. What do you mean? Petition to change his name to Superior Doug, so we don't get confused. Like I might say, I love Doug, and then I mean the Doug character. Not you dumbass. Would I polio think... be eggs passive? Now think... it's too confusing since we have two Dugs now. We need to differentiate them. The character Doug could be better Doug. Okay, multiple people have landed on this joke. Doug. Okay, we have our boy Egg. Doug. Can we please name Doug's goiter? Fuck. What'd you say? Okay, and now I need to crop to you. Now I export you. Guys, our party sucks. <laughs> so bad. Okay. Um, okay, I need to give him... Doug's waiter is named after his ex-wife. ...says wife. what they want to do, but it might not happen, then you do what you want because Doug doesn't like following rules. Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah, like Doug only has a... yeah. Don't ask where Doug from Missouri was on January 6th. <laughs> I won't. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't really want to know too much about Doug from Missouri. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get info that I don't like. Okay. Alright, I have our characters... It would be funny if this guy sues me for copyright infringement. Hey, Doug. Geese are coming. Okay, okay. We've done it. We've made our characters. They are exported. Now what I am going to do... Uh, what is a Can hacky way turn out to be Doug's ex-wife and he's trying to get her back? Yeah, I mean, we'll improv it. He can't sue you, we he's in jail. We will get sued you for defamation. Um, let's see. Do I do this hacky? Yeah, I'm gonna do this really hacky. Because then I don't have to do additional code. So I'm gonna do you here. Up at the end of your hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you have a background? What? Okay, the bear work. Yeah, sorry. I know you're you're I know you're scared. You're gonna be okay. Am I gonna be Doug? Uh the next person playing character three will be Doug, yes. So I gotta reset the code. What's happening to us? Uh you're you're fine. You just are silenced and hidden. I am Egg. Doug okay. the geese are here, help. Why didn't... Why didn't you export correctly? We are in the void. Okay, there we go, there we go. Alright, so now... In our code, we pop over here. In Voices Manager... I want to. Oh, this didn't even save if it's time, brief, whatever. I was egg. There is nothing but Doug. I am becoming Japan. Okay. Chef. Being in the dark is bad enough, but the occasional blonde bald man jump scare is too much for me. Hey, 
Hey Doug. This money is for Doug from Missouri, not this blonde Doug from Flavortown. Missouri Doug looks like he might need it a bit more. Please see he gets it. <laughs> yeah, that is true. He does look like he's on hard times right now. In this economy, in Missouri... Okay. Dude, our team sucks so bad! <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, let me see. Now I'm gonna do an Doug audio filter on line in. Line in filter. What kind of chair does Egg turn into? Or can he turn into any kind of chair? Yeah, I guess we didn't clarify that really. It's a good point. Um, this one. Okay, audio move, chef, pepper. Missouri has to be like an eldritch waking nightmare if Doug's foot is that big. Uh, wait, no, number one is Waluigi Pepper. Doug, what green screen do you have that makes it look like you have hair? You might want to get a refund, it's not working. Chef Pepper... Uh... Which is the D&D... Oh, a Wario... Most of Middle Us is an hey, Eldritch Doug, Nightmare. Can you give a better Doug a one news item? Scroll of banning where it bans a creature for three turns. If you guys find it. Uh, okay, code should be good now. So now it's hooked up to the three guys. And now when you talk, it should move your guy. Let's find out. I'm going to kill the people who are there. I'm going to reset it. Go ahead and Let's do exclamation mark, dogs. exclamation mark this player one. This looks like one of those parties that ends up with the DM posting IRL player horror stories about each session on some DND <laughs> drama subreddit. It's not that dramatic. Okay, um, let me... Actually, hold on, I can just say something. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Why didn't you move? Fun fact about that Doug character, he was a 77-year-old man who grew over 1,700 cannabis plants. He was arrested in 2012 and in 2017 he was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Good for him! Okay, so this should activate when I do test. Test, 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 test! Oh, why aren't you activating? Audio move, Oreo pepper. Oh, cause the fuck- okay, that's why. The image asset name and the filter name is slightly different. That is dumb. Okay, bam. We reset. Doug the geese got in the basement. <laughs> that would honestly be terrifying if you were stuck in a basement and a bunch of geese started yelling. Alright, test, test, test. You just subbed for three years. That's a $60 value, oh. all for only $14.99. Oh, there, thank you so much for the three years. Let's rumble big dogs. That is a long ass time. Appreciate it. Okay, now we should be live. Now if I talk, test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Cool, our boy works. Um, pick random, holy pangolin. This money is for you, Doug, not Missouri, Doug. I think you could use it more as shots of olive oil are oh. getting expensive. Oops. So your next Talk. shot is on me, exclamation mark, slash appreciate you, dot oh, slash also. Hi. You got a problem with Canada gooses. You got a problem with me. Canada Bridge. geese are assholes. They're the worst. There's no way you actually stand Canada geeses. Geese. They're awful. <laughs> I am egg. Okay. Uh, Wicked, thank you so much for the 12 months, man. Uh, wait, what, what direction did you guys... I might need to flip you. Can you, can you guys say something again? Are, are they are they rotating Hello. the right... Oh, they're all going. Should the bear- the bear should probably go to the Hi. left, right? Hello! I'm yeah. confused! Um, alright, I'm booting you, sorry. Let's rumble big dogs. I probably should... If I just Hi Doug, my family is over and my autism is holding a gun to my head because of it, thanks for being. You are welcome. This is... a very artistic stream. <laughs> Don't flip egg. I love seeing him twerk. 
<laughs> He's trying I'm flipping him. This is too weird. I don't like it. <laughs> Let him twerk. No. He's not allowed to. This is a this is a Christian virgin household here in this stream, okay? Also, I think I need to flip Doug, too. Let's say he's going the right way. Uh, just a sec. It should actually just be a few minutes, and then we should be good to go. Um, flip horizontal. And then... Doug was going the opposite way, right? Why must you deny us any semblance of joy? Wait, why is it going backwards? Shit. Okay, maybe... Hold on, maybe it does need to twerk. Oh god. I just got out of a coma. How long has Doug been blonde and to let him play with hair dye again? Okay, I actually need to let him twerk. I don't know how to do this otherwise. Okay, good news. The the, the boy will twerk. I'm a ventriloquist with four dummies, Duke, Doug, and the other three. I want him to like, be, I don't know. How about you put better Doug in the streamer part on the left and take worse Doug and put him for player three. Okay, he's twerking again. Okay, um, should I flip Doug? I want Doug to go left. Doug's gonna go left. This song is driving me insane. I'm flipping Doug. Doug gets flipped. He goes here. Quick export. We copy. Wait, I need to flip him first. Uh, you two edits transform. Flip horizontal. God, he's beautiful. Now we go here. Export is oops. Export as PNG. You go here. Doug will get flipped. Boom, he's flipped. And now in this, I flip him again, I think. Uh, transform. Flip horizontal. And now when he talks, he should go left, I think. I don't remember. Whatever. It'll be fine. Hi, Doug. Character drawings here. We're going on strike. Why is it going up it should be if you as a character want to go on strike that's fine you're the chef chef pepper maybe i do a plus 150 Doug the geese are too much go. send down something to help us <laughs> i'll send down a mongoose this is, a, this is what they did in australia and it fixed all their problems okay um my code should work now Let's rerun it. Let's rumble big dogs. Yeah, everybody's okay. Everybody's talking correctly, sort of. Uh, exclamation mark player one, exclamation mark player two, exclamation mark player three. This is still just a test. You're not going to be the one playing necessarily. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. Can you guys talk and make sure it works? Howdy. Okay. It'll stop all three of them going soon. Um, Hello. All right. Each time somebody says something, it'll turn off after. Al, thank you so much for the 12 months, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Gergroar. Cool. Now they should be good. Sweet. Um, our characters are set up. Fantastic. We're doing great. Roar. Uh, they're very passionate. Code should be good. So now we just need a new scene. Doug which is needs the world. more fire. Error. Sizzle. Let's do like let's make it a square. 1920. Honk honk. Why is the background whatever? Ladies and gentlemen. Honk, honk. Honk. It is time. 
to create the overworld. This will be the core plot of land that dictates how we progress as a party from beginning to end. Half goose hybrid could fix anybody's problem. We'll send it in. It'll be fine. So here's what I'm thinking. The only two things of structure True that I will words actually have do. have never been spoken before egg. Oh, I should probably change the voices. Um, you, you probably shouldn't be sad, Jane, anymore. <laughs> you will Gray be Gore. Guy, you'll be Davis shouting. You'll be Guy Random, I guess. You'll be Nancy Random. Okay, now your voices should be normal. Guy Random. Ugh. First alone at use the side. What is the next step? I'm blanking. Oh yeah, okay, overworld. Here's what I'm thinking. Drew a roar. Give me a sec to do art. Doug, did you know Terry's a type of acorn you can get at a store that kills geese instantly? Could you get us some? Just go to store and ask for geese nuts. Chat, <laughs> I love you. Okay, that one was good. I st still mods take him up back, but I appreciate that one. Can the overworld just be one giant goose? Him. No. Oh, seven. Okay, we have the fire, now I need the castle. The only two things that I, I've planned in advance, literally the only two ones, um, is that we're starting at a campfire and we're going to a castle. I want to spread the fire. And I'll spend slightly more time on Keep these than the other draw stuff. Fire. Um, okay, let me draw this. How big is it? This is, uh... Okay, about that big. D Grow Award Uh Why is it so small? I'm I'm like copying off a little clip art off the side or attempting to. Doug the geese are winning, we can't last much longer. Please help us or your basement will be full of bloodthirsty geese. But they might not spam. About, and call me bald, you know? Poor champ! Okay. Uh I love blurry castle. <laughs> it's it's a little blurry, okay? Oh, I made it way too small. Oops. Okay, I'll make it a little bigger. I made it too small. This is on me. <laughs> yeah, it's really blurry. This is fine. It's going to be fine. Small blurry castle asterisk. Honk, honk. Okay. Um Oh, color in the walls and shit, I guess. I promise, uh, remind me not to the take a long time drawing Russia anything from else. The Monterey Bay Aquarium. We must recuse her from their Canadian castle. <laughs> okay, we, I mean, we will vote on what the story is. And then what is the color of it? I love seeing people doing the O7 with non-capitalized O. 
I imagine it like a kid doing the army salute above their head instead of their forehead. 0707. Prog champ! There's also a substantial number of people who don't understand what the 07 mean, but they just are, they're just excited, so. I mean, I think that's true of a lot of what happens in the stream, to be honest. Oh, seven. Why is it so small? Why did I make this absolutely ridiculously tiny? Now it just looks terrible because I'm stretching it. Also, I shouldn't have done brown. I should have done uh, gray. It looks terrible. Should have done like dark gray like this. This is so awkward without music. Oh, seven. Brown people gives a character. Oh, seven. Well, it'll have like smudges of brown now. Okay. <laughs> Let me introduce. Yeah, it's a pretty shit castle. Uh, why are you talking as dog? That doesn't. That's not correct. <laughs> uh. Let me introduce the story so far. Not my castle. This is the kingdom. The fire is as big as the castle. Of blank. Our three adventurers, Pringles, Egg, and Doug, are going to travel through blank, 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 and blank to go to the castle to save the king from blank. And they'll have to blank along the way if they want to blank. That's me! Why is the why is the bear not blank blank? Oh, now he's turning off. Okay, weird weird. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. We do this like slay the spire style, where we like create a whole bunch of. We have a king. Uh, boom. We do like a bunch of paths, and then there'll be new spots. Right, this right. Uh, wait, I'm not doing this correctly. Okay, we because we, we need like lines of one, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. So, um, oh, this is on the campfire. Oops. Bam, bam, bam. All right, hear me out um, while I set this up. So we'll have two paths going here, and then for Four. each of these, we go like this. And then from each of these... So you can, like, decide where to go at each fork, right? And what we need to decide is what are the locations that you can travel between, right? So, what we need now is to fill out our board. Okay, what does like a fantasy map have on it? Hold on. A salmon river! Okay, it needs like trees. Trees and mountains. I'll, I'll, I second the river. Hold on, well, I'll let, I'll let, I'll just take suggestions from chat in a second. I'm gonna put tree or mountains up here at the top. And then trees down here. Oh, and then I guess like ocean and stuff too. The ocean looks pretty bad. This music is way too epic. Okay, I'll take out the ocean. All right. Um, oops.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the starting map. We need to fill out the locations of the overworld. The first question is though, <coughs> what is happening to the king? What is the storyline of what you guys have to do at the castle? What is the goal? King has polio. What? Okay. King, well, ideally, uh, has polio. He needs some weed. King is getting married. The <laughs> king needs weed for his wedding. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, save Queen Rosa. She was kidnapped. Um, the, the king is trying to nuke. Nuke who? A dragon, <laughs> I guess. Um, he needs milk. King is trying to take a nap. I mean, it's King King's trying to nap. That's not like a really compelling story. I, ideally, there's a reason. Like, there's a thing you're trying to go do. Like, what is the goal? Marrying the Pope. I idea something like, why do you need to go there? King just getting married doesn't mean, I guess you're invited or something, but that doesn't feel like very urgent. King is stuck on his throne and he needs help. King got stuck on the throne. I guess his like butt got caught or something. Um, there are geese attacking the castle. Doug, the geese killed everyone in your basement. I am last one left. Please let me out before the geese find me. Oh, they oh. will come for chat, Rosa, and Puck, so they already <sighs> got to Doug's hair. Nah, you guys will be fine. Um, All hail King Redacted. D, D. Deliver delivering divorce papers. The King. Um... Behold the majesty of Castle Blair. The architects were a little fussy on the details. <laughs> um, King wants to nuke some sixth graders. The sixth gra everywhere help. <laughs> sixth graders are trying to nuke the castle. <laughs> All right, what is what is King the goal is of our story? And we need to let him keep his kids. <laughs> Three. Okay. Eight. It looks like the people. Uh, it looks like our story. Our brave heroes are going to stop the sixth graders trying to nuke the castle. Okay, um, I guess I'll draw some sixth graders really quick. Lawrence. I hate sixth graders. <sighs> Lord! Is it rigged? What are you talking about? Okay, we'll add a nuke silo when we get there. Okay, so now, now that we know how the story ends, which is with sixth grader nukes, we need to fill out what are all the spaces between. As you travel across the land of... The land of... The land of... Canada. <laughs> okay, fine. As you travel across the land of Canada, which... Doug got isekai'd into, I guess. He he went into it like a fan of, like an like an anime. Um, we need to come up with all the locations that you might come across on your way there. Chat. These are meant to be scenarios or scenes that you might run into in a fantasy setting or Dungeons and Dragons campaign. For example, a, a town with an issue, a tavern, a cave, a mountain with minerals inside of it. Not real life places. Weeping we're, not put, maples. we're not putting a GameStop. I mean, it has to be like an old fashioned something. Um. Okay, I guess some people are saying a maple syrup river. Okay, I can. 
Fine. We'll figure out the details about what this means. The Cedric Ball Pit Rivers. Okay, so this is a maple syrup river. Okay. Uh, that'll be over there, so it goes into the trees. It looks like a shit. It looks like I took a dump on Canada. Okay. Um, we have just a typical tavern. Uh. We are delivering the divorce papers to the king. That one got less love than I expected. Um. Outside. King got stuck on the throne, but it's the porcelain throne. We are the geese in the basement. We demand bread. We'll kill the king. We are protected by law. Ask Parma geese. Okay, hold on. I gotta get more. Life alert. King has fallen and can't get up. <laughs> Life alert! How's the tavern look? That uh, looks pretty good. That uh, looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, we'll give him a little, like, window. Sixth graders riding a flock of geese. Um, Not we'll brown enough. It. Okay, now it's really brown. Can the last girl before the castle be a round of are you smarter than a sixth grader? We get okay, that's a good idea. Okay, let's have like um like a trivia center. Okay. Tavern. Is there anything about the tavern or is it just a tavern? Like, do, are we adding any details here? We need to deliver the king's divorce papers. Uh, apparently we don't. Uh, I, I thought that was urgent as well, but apparently we do not. Uh Haunted! Ideal. Okay, hey, so ideally we're not it's like the geese. We are on the last guy's computer. We are in your basement. Tell chat Rosa and Parks are there. Wall next. of snow. Well, fortunately, we're safe in Canada now. Ideally, this is less of like referencing referencing funny memes in real life and more like what are interesting fantasy situations, right? It's not just oh, it's a Waffle House. It's where it's the like, king's divorced wife works at. Okay. Yeah, we could do like ta like king's wife. The so it'd be the queen. You said you wanted more stream roar. But we should lean into it being fantasy. Okay, X. Okay, tavern. X Queen's Tavern. Sure. Okay, uh, what's over here? Oh, they're hosting. Oh, they can host a tavern quiz. Yeah, that's good. Um, Cheese Woods. Okay, I, that's confusing, but I kind of like where your head's at. Cause that's, that's, what, that's what we're talking about, right? Things we can just like fill out when we get there. If we get there. We don't need to worry about it too much. So this will be like... Trees. Crystal Mines! Okay, but then these are made out of cheese. Like, we don't need to know what's going to happen at the cheese woods until we get there. And then I guess I'll make some holes in the cheese. Not meth chat! Does this look like cheese? Does these look like the cheese woods? I feel like this is fine, right? This is fine. Crystal We're... meth mines. Okay, I do like meth mines. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, those are the cheese woods. We can do the meth mines maybe uh, over here. We could do okay. We could do something, something really simple, like I love the cheese woods. Alrighty then. Okay, the meth mines will be over here because this is near the mountains. Uh, what does mine look like? Mines fantasy cartoon. There should be a tavern known as the House of Waffle, only serving the most renowned of scufflers and scallywags. Okay, so there you go. You made it more in theme, which I like. Um, uh, Dead God quote unquote Isekide, 
He actually just walked to Canada all the way from Missouri while high on weed. Trying to draw a mine shaft here. Give me a sec. It might not be the best mine Ochoa. shaft you've ever seen in your life. A cave with a support group for dragons that got Land recently abundant. divorced by a donkey. An old timey schoolhouse with sixth graders. Yeah, I think I think schoolhouse is a good idea. Maybe goblins raiding a maple syrup refinery, also high chat. The dreaded obsidian pillar. Oh, that's good. Okay, wait, wait. Sorry, I've I've been I've been focused deep on the art. We still have one, two, three, four, five, we six more to add. We need a swamp with an option to set it on fire. Extra drama between the party. <sighs> Egg with the goal of spreading okay. joy of polio and Doug with the goal of watching the world burn. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's too much going on. Was there anything else I, I said we, I would add? One of the locations can be blockbuster videos because it's old fashioned. <laughs> it is old fashioned. Okay, wait, we had goblins doing something, right? Like a, like a, or there was a... Like a fuck. What was there? There was just some good idea, I but I wasn't paying attention. Obsidian pillar. Is it possible nah, no, no, for no. the players to have a one-time power where one of them swaps places with you? You become a tiny Doug, a player, and their avatar <laughs> takes your place for a turn or something. Troll breach. The DM. Maybe for a future one. Um, the Great Peggle Cliffs. I don't know how we would incorporate Peggle. Oh, the goblins raiding a weed farm. I think is good. We could have a weed farm, I guess. My beautiful I think goblin. it'll be less suffocating if the jokes isn't just drugs, haha. Yeah, but that, that's why I'm, all, I'm only doing it for one. I guess we now have two. Okay, no more drugs after meth mines and... Um, how, how do you draw a marijuana plant? It's like this, right? Weed farm run by weed goblins is the place I want to be at. If the party chooses to go... Because you guys will choose where to go after each scene, right? If you choose to go to the weed farm, then it's a two-year uh, subscription. That's are they, wait, are they burning the, the weed farms, or are they just at the weed farms? A playground as the second last level. Well, the sixth graders are all going to be out of town. Like they're they'll have left the. We okay. What about a schoolhouse that's running a spelling bee? Okay, we're gonna yeah. We'll say that there is currently a fire going on at the um. Champ. Fire was made by Doug. Okay, so this is weed farms with goblins. <laughs> we'll figure out what that means <laughs> down the road. I'm sure that'll mean Can something. Can we make Doug banned in Canada for us, and so that's why he wants to leave before he gets arrested? Okay, hold on. This is gonna be... Wake the fuck house. up, samurai. We have a castle to burn. Okay, this is the local schoolhouses having a spelling bee contest. Can we have geese writers, Canadian geese? I guess Happy so, Neil yeah. House. We'll figure it out with each scene. Um... Uh, can we have a gingerbread house? I feel like we're, we're already too close to that. Disguised as halflings in a trench coat to disguise themselves as an <sighs> adult elf. What would OO holes mean? No, 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 no. Let's do something new. Let's do something new. Um, 
We could have volcano like a volcano geese with geese. Caves and the geese are the six greatest allies. We could have like a volcano with geese on it, like giant geese, I guess. Okay, there's a geese volcano. Are the geese on hey, fire? Doug, this is the king. Help, please. I'm stuck on the throne. Wait, what are you doing, step peasants? <laughs> We have got to go save that king. Okay. Um. See him, zombie pirates. Here oh. you go, chat. Rosa Lake, the maze forest of drugs, savannah of wild geese, haunted house, and the bridge made out of eggs. This works because there's a big... Doug, make the castle uncensored. <laughs> it's a perfectly good castle. Um. Can the sixth graders be Americans holding the king hostage? Yeah, once we get to the scene, we'll we'll explore like what it is actually going on there, right? Because we don't need to fill out the Never scene mind. unless we actually get Can there. Might be the pirates. fantasy Apple Store. Okay, wait. So are there there are geese here? Wait, what, what do we want to have at this volcano? Hey, Doug. I saw a chatter say Walmart ruins from last DND campaign. Thought that was a great idea. Um, I Keys. like it, but I want to do new. I want to do new things rather than referencing previous ones. Ugh. Just volcano. Okay. We could have a separate waffle house, and they could ask the party to find a new host. Are you the volcano? Okay. Add Quebec. This is fantasy Canada. We need though. a cooking competition for Pringle less than. Oh, Mashed potato. The gravy Fart Republican volcano. Fort. My voice D. Okay. And then I'll do some little tiny geese. World's largest rubber band ball, or some other roadside tourist trap slash attraction. Maybe I'll move the spelling bee closer to the... Cooking competition for Pringle less than... Hey Duck, just yeah, got cooking here. Competition would be just good. wanted to let you know I am deathly scared of D&D. &D. What are we doing today? Uh... Okay, wait, how would we have a cooking con- Because we have a spelling bee contest. How would we also have a cooking competition? Add the geese bandit stronghold. We already have volcano geese nest. Uh, this could be like a lake or something in the middle. You know? We got some we got some water here. Put the burned wall mat from last DND campaign in there. Hi dog dog T he. Hello. Doug, less than fucks up the code as an FYI. What? Maybe make Claude from Pagel the boss battle. Oh. Wait, Doug, comma? I don't know why I would do well, that. Well, spelling words you have to also cook. Cooking competition what and spelling combined. A small <sighs> village of straw houses run by a mysterious adventurer known only as D. The area is colloquially known as D's huts. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that's, that's all right. That's pretty good. Um, okay. Thank you for portraying an accurate representation of Got them. We have been misunderstood for long. Yeah. I mean, we could just do- we could do like a pirate ship here. As a Canadian, I have several recommendations. Armour could be Parker's and Tokes. A Tim Hortons could be their starting cup oh, seven. slash item oh, shop. Lord. And the final boss could be an angry Toronto man. If you know, you know. I don't want to lean in too Play heavily. Slash school with fifth or seventh graders who want to get back at the sixth graders for taking the spotlight from them. To real life Canada. I still want it to be, um... Sweet booty! Okay, and we could just say, okay, so who are, who are the pirates? Giant spirit moose that demands maple syrup. When we get to the maple syrup river, we can, uh... No, 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 no more geese. We already have Romantic geese in the volcano. Pirates. Um, hey, Doug, I am a D&D &D DM in real life. 
I recommend maybe a cult setting with the sixth graders like praising Ex-cousin. some weird sixth grader obsession and it has a mini boss. Otter pirates. I mean, the sixth you graders will be make the here. Schoolhouse red. Okay, fine. Um. Otter pirates, sure. Wait, oh, oh holes. Is Mr. Caveman Mayor back? Did he reconsider my offer to use my OO hole? Call me. Add Fantasy Quebec. Okay, we I guess we don't really have any Marvel's OO hole! It looks terrible. Um I guess we can have Fantasy Quebec here. <laughs> Can what we does get Quebec a maple look like? Mansa who is making moose made from the Maple River? Quebec map. A single house in the woods that is ominous sounds coming from its basement. Almost like a group of people was kept there. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's uh it's not realistic enough. Can we have Potato Island? Oh my god, this is... Quebec is weird to draw. Less than test test grower. I wonder why less than breaks it. That's weird. Can we have the Royal Tennis Court guarded by a leprechaun and a blonde elf? So in every scene, we'll add the details of the scene when we get there. That's the whole idea. Uh, this is like this? I've never looked Dick, at Quebec like this before. Your dad. Remember that thing I told you all those years ago? Yeah, of course. Always. I lied. You bought blonde ginger. <laughs> we got a blonde elf. Okay, hey, chat. Just wanted to say I've always been deathly afraid of middle men with bleached hair. Also, how's Doug doing? Test, test, no bottomless, oh, oh, sedge. The tavern should be a DQ, and the X Queen the original Dairy Queen. <laughs> what does Fantasy Quebec mean? So does it break it! Weird! Divorce Island, where you go after Sharon left you and took the kids. Oh yeah, there should be a river here. I'm not sure why, but if you combine Idris Elba and Giancarlo Esposito, you get black Elon Musk. Do what you will with this information. But when you meet the pirates, it turns out they're the other kind of pirate. They just violate copyright laws. <laughs> yeah, we'll decide what the pirates are when we get there. Um, okay. In Quebec, can there be a KFC but be named PFK? <laughs> we will decide what is in Fantasy Quebec, if and when you get there. All right, we need one more. Ideally, this is something that's a little more, like, grounded. God, it's been two and a half hours. We haven't even started. Can we please make oh, it toll so bridge when is good. we get to the schoolhouse, we check the sixth graders' snap maps to find out where they were on January 6th. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of January 6th, Doc. Uh, an Obsidian Pillar! If we have if we have a, a like a lake kind of river thing here, then um then we could have a bridge. A bridge feels like pretty like pretty good, right? We can do a lot with a bridge. Bridge over river cartoon. Bridge of Savage Elephants! How about I'll just say it's a rickety bridge. And then we'll figure out, like, what that means when we get there. Can the bridge be made of keys? <laughs> we'll figure it out when we get there. A small hill with a single tree on it. Get past the bridge before an elephant breaks it!
<laughs> this looks terrible. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I put these on the same layer. Oops. <laughs> I wish I could draw. It'd be so <laughs> pog perfect. It doesn't look like a bridge. It's beautiful. Um, I think Karen Yeager deserves to be on this map. Best artist, Pog. Okay, that kind of looks like a bridge now. If you want it really bad, you can have AI figure out what the random locations actually do. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. Okay. This is just Doug. Rickety where's the bridge. bridge. Where's the fun in that? I feel like the meth mine should. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the adventure of Canada. A missive has just arrived for our noble heroes. Who I need to put on here? Pro champ. While enjoying a meal around the campfire, three best friends, Pringle, Egg, and Doug, <laughs> receive an urgent missive. The king is in danger, they hear. There's six graders with nukes at the Blurry Castle. If nothing else, we need your help. at least make the temperature of the environment accurate. Where I am in Ontario right now, it's been about negative one degree <laughs> Celsius lately, which is like light jacket when I'm so nervous, Dean. Oh, shit. Okay, it'll be cold, probably. Especially in Fantasy Quebec. Ad Giorno. Thank you for the one year. Eager to help the king. Is this a disembodied voice speaking to me? Yeah, it's just booming over into the world. Eager to save the king. The three heroes set out on an adventure across the lands of Fantasy Canada to save the beloved Blurry King. There's a fire deed. We will start by selecting our three characters right after I use the bathroom. The nukes. I have to use the bathroom. We'll draw the nukes when we get there. So with every time we get to a place, I'll draw a new scene. It's been fun, chat. Remember me. Don't give in to the YouTube propaganda. Um, I will play a dramatic song while I grab a snack. It's been a great time. The bathroom is on the rickety bridge. I guess we can go to the rickety bridge and I can pee off the side of it. Oh! Uh, then we'll select new players and we'll get going. Chad, how's it going? Stay hydrated. How's the weather? It's been okay. 
been flip-flopping between sunny and rainy. I love you chat less than three. A mighty rule for chat. <sighs> Let's rumble, big dogs. All right, now type player one, player two, or player three. Exclamation mark, player one, exclamation mark, player two. Um, as a reminder, here, actually, before you do that, let me, I'm actually going to reset it. Okay. Your entries are, are nullified. Just a reminder about who you would be playing. Player one, if you want to play player one, is... Uh, everybody's uh, favorite chef, Pringle. Pringle is a chef, but he's also a frying pan. Um, he has move number one, let him cook. Move number two, pansexual seduction. And move number three, scrambled, exclamation mark, swap places with somebody. He is a chef, but he's also hot, spicy, French, very food critical, and salty. Typing player one, player two, and player three will not do anything right now. Okay, that's player one if you want to play him. Player number two is Egg, the bear. His moves are one, to do cocaine, two, to shapeshift into a chair, which can't do anything. Like it's just a chair. And move three is polio. He is a druid because he can turn into a chair. He's confused, he likes honey, he hates eggs, he's scared of forest fires. Uh, uses small words, big words are scary, he's wise, and he's stupid. So if you feel like you can really play this bear character well, uh, exclamation mark player two will be yours. And the third character is Doug, a guy from Missouri. His moves are having a Bic lighter, uh, growing weed, and beating up sixth graders. His class is, he's a guy from Missouri. He's also an arsonist, so he likes setting fire to things. He has a midlife crisis. Di he's divorced, he hates taxes, he's addicted to stuff. He's a registered criminal. He has no idea why he's here and wants to go back to Missouri, and he's a little bit radioactive. Okay, with that in mind, please only uh, go for characters that you would be able to roleplay or add something to. Be sure to go for a character that you would embody. With that being said, Let's rumble big dogs. Uh, now if you type it, you will be entered. Do you get kicked out of the pool? No, I don't have that. I'll add that in if I need to. I realize it wouldn't be that hard. Um, I am going to trust people to not spam, uh, which is probably misplaced trust. But hopefully, people do not spam. All right. Um, our first frying pan is, welcome to the team, Cloud Brian 9 welcome. Our first egg bear is Lady Neoaves, Neoaves? And our first Doug is Nate Wolf Commander. Are y'all here? Roar. Sweet. Okay. Ha ha, chef's kiss. Lady Neoaves. Got a VIP, y'all. Cloud Brian 9. All right, we have our players. I will um, swap them out occasionally. Wolf Commander. Until then, please do not type or spam exclamation mark player one, two, or three. Uh, it will not do anything. You'll just get booted out anyways. But I'll just let you know 
when we're selecting new characters so you can do it again. There is no need and uh, please do not just spam it uh, nonsensically. All right, cool. <coughs> I, I saw a few people doing it more than 20 times. Yeah, if you do it more than 20 times, you can just time them out. Like, if people are just clearly spamming and not paying any attention, then we can, we can time them out. Um, that is probably not a person who's going to be very fun as a D&D player because they are clearly don't give a shit about the rules of the chat whatsoever. So, uh, cool. Uh, let me. Hey, okay. Doug, can we start in Halgen for old time's sake? <laughs> you could play the Inter to begin the campaign. Um, I'm trying to think of a good, like, what's a good, like, build-up song for a fantasy game? Oh, this song's good. Dear adventurers, you adventured too hard lately. Why not just skip this one and enjoy some new time? <laughs> All right, we have our first three players. This is total improv D and D. We'll just make everything up. Oh wait, hold on. I need to do one Pringles more thing. Move scrambled says that he swaps position with someone, but it doesn't specify players. So, could we swap positions with the king? No, it's got to be in that scene. I I will enable some rules. Unfortunately. One second. Here, I just need to be able to roll dice on my little thingy. Quick check. All right, not bad, not bad. It's a, an okay start. Uh -oh. Adventures, where would you like to head out first? Your options are the X-Queen's Tavern or the Rickety Bridge. And then once we're there, we'll figure out, like, what is happening at it, or whatever. If we go to the tavern, I can grow and sell weed. Wait, hold on. You have the wrong voice. You're supposed to be guy... Oh, I need to reset it. That's why. You're supposed to be Davis shouting, and you're supposed to be... Uh, Jane Random. Okay. Wait, why would they let you sell weed in the tavern? <laughs> okay. Egg and Pringle. Where do you want to go? The tavern might be a good place to judge their food. After all, my quest is to prove I am the best chef ever. True. Okay. That's two votes for the Queen's Tavern. That means we're heading over there. I just realized that... Tavern! <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Egg. <laughs> <laughs> I just need money to go back to Missouri. Um, hey, Lady Neoaves, could you just try a few? Maybe if Twitch chat has some ideas for what text would best translate to a roar sound. I feel like we should we should do some tests here. Like, how how do we best make eggs sound like a bear? Okay, the party is officially traveling to the. Oh, no, hold on. Is officially traveling to the X Queen's Tavern. Let's dive in. <clears throat> Raga! <laughs> and that works. Oh, I gotta do this. If we can sell ideas for food, we can get that money for you. All right, so here's the deal. I'm not paying taxes on what I make. Chat, this is the Queen's Tavern. Now we need to decide what is happening in this scene, what is in this scene, and what is the goal or win condition of this scene, or at least, like, what is happening in the scene. So first off, we're in a tavern. Um, let me just... What 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 is going to be the activity happening in the tavern? Presumably the Queen is here. Okay, there could be a bar fight. Right, I'll throw these into a, a, a poll. Well, then I can make them and embezzle the profits to you. Bar fight. Um, trivia tavern night. Don't we already have a spelling bee? I feel like that one's already kind of a trivia if we get there. Um, if there's a bar fight, I can join and beat up a sixth crater. <laughs> okay. I guess it depends who's fighting in the bar fight. 
Um, okay, so we have a lot of people want Draver Tavern Brawl. There's a cook-off happening. Um, because we can also have cooking, so we, we'll throw a kitchen in there just in case. Uh, drinking competition. A wedding. Why would the... Okay. Queen is getting <laughs> remarried <laughs> in the tavern, I guess. <laughs> and then they, that's why people are drinking a lot. Um... A poker game. But it's fantasy poker. <laughs> Queen is getting divorced. <laughs> Illegal bear fighting ring. <laughs> D! Okay, no. Karaoke night. Okay, what's going on Don't in the I tavern? I just got here and you're almost three hours into the stream. Are you just getting started? Look, on? maybe D&D &D will be fast. Okay, it looks like there's going to be a bear fighting ring happening in the tavern. That, that's, that's my queen. Okay. I mean, other things, depending on what you do, other things can happen. All right, let me, uh, let me draw up the tavern real quick. So I need like a... Um, Uh, uh, Egg, how confident are you in your combat prowess? Okay, I'll just make really shitty tables. Bro. I need to, I need to not overthink this at all. Now that we're in it, I need to go real. If I if it ever seems like I'm trying too hard to make this not look like total dog shit, you got to tell me, okay? I do need the like the tavern bar though, right? We got to have the tavern bar, so it's got to be like this. Um... Very. Doug, I can try and stuff my opponents in one dive? minute flat. It's basically where you can build a 3D D and D world online. It looks cool and I put in for the kickstart and have yet to try it. I have heard about it. It seems like a lot of effort to make it all happen is the only downside. Okay. Uh, that looks really good. Perfect. Uh, we need a, like a campfire over here though. Uh, like I need like a fireplace because that way it's there's places to cook. Quick question, how fast can I grow weed? Uh, that's a good question. I think you'll have to roll for it to see how quickly it grows. This is magical Canada, so I guess it could grow a lot faster than normal, maybe? I have a plan. Okay, we have, uh, we have plans, apparently. Okay, and then we have a bear. I need to have a bear fighting ring here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying too hard. I'm trying too hard. I gotta. I gotta slow down. All right, we need like a giant pit where bears are fighting. Um, I guess like I'll just make a, a hole, like a big hole. You guys, that was, uh, cartoon. Hey, Doug, I heard you have weed. I'd like to buy some. Is 300 bits enough? Okay. Really quick bear. Hey, bro, we don't do that here. Perhaps. Okay, I need to make a, a bear pit. Okay, I'm not going to look at a trace. Guys, this bear really sucks. <laughs> Shit. Whatever. I, like, the bear, it's going to be fine. Uh, and then he needs, like, a nose. Uh, this will be his bear ear. And then he's got his body. Got the four legs here. Oop. Okay. Uh, this is, like, his cute little nose. It goes out like that. Um, 
Okay, sorry. I was trying too hard. We're just going to keep it going. Um, okay, we'll put him here. <laughs> it doesn't look very good. I'm going to be honest. Um, the, the bear is sick. Okay, we've got uh, bear locked in, and then we just need a pit for them. Okay, guys, this looks fucking awful. <laughs> this looks so bad. Um, okay, to total impro- Okay, we need to make a beautiful queen, and then a few tavern patrons, and we're good to go. And then I'll just add in other people as we need them. Uh, here is gonna be your beautiful queen. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please. Uh, these are trampolines. Does this work? These look like trampolines. This looks like a fight cage with bears. This is a balance beam with stools under it. This is a fire place. This, I guess, is a goblin cartoon. Okay. This is a goblin. An orc, but... Then why did you search for goblin? That's that's separate. That's you just, are you literally trolling. This is a separate thing. You just, you're looking at the wrong monitor. That's not how you spell orc. Orc is. Yeah, that's wait. Th how do that's you spell, the goblin. How do you no. spell orc? O R C. Why isn't it O R K? So it isn't some. Oh. Or it's made up. It can be whatever you want. <laughs> this is a dog. This is a frying pan cooking bacon with a chef's hat. Orc wow. is Warhammer. Hold on, you're blocking the thing. Oh. Okay. 
I can't believe you recognize that as a frying pan. It looks like a frying pan cooking two strips of bacon. Is this eggs or is this eyes? Wow. I think those are eyes. Holy shit. Okay. And yeah. a chef's hat. Yep. You got everything. Yep. And then how about the guy to the right? Is that Danny DeVito? No. Close. Oh, this is you. <laughs> no. Okay. You saw chat. That's You were literally trolling. Oh, did, did chat say that's you? Yeah. I didn't, but I agree with chat. Okay. All right. Um, okay, I need to draw better things, I guess. What, what was the correct answer? This is a tavern where they're doing an illegal bear fight. Oh, so I got the bears. Yeah, that part was correct. These are not trampolines. These are tables. Is that is that also a bear or is that a dog? That's a bear, obviously. Okay, I, thought that was, uh, I thought that was a pet dog of a patron. That's a bear. That does not look like a bear. That looks like D. a D? D. D. Egg bear. It's Egg the Bear. Egg Bear. Okay. So why did you do this? We're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Or whatever. Interesting. Um, I'm going to go get my the drink that I was going to get. Okay. And then go back to my own stream. Bye, Park, sir. Farewell. Douglas. Douglas. All right. I think this looks so bad that what I should do is make tables that we can reuse. Because... If I take slightly more time on the tables and this background art, then I can reuse it, right? We I should do a little more time. Slightly more time. Uh, table cartoon. Hear me out. This could be great. Okay, so now I go like this. No, it's fine. Okay, but yeah, this is true. It's gonna it's gonna take too long. Alright, give me give me one chance. Give me one chance. Oops. Why is this not drawing? Hello? What? Why can't I draw? What? What is happening? Hello? Oh, why? oh I was just on the wrong tool. Alright. Check this out. That's pretty good. Now it doesn't look like a trampoline. Okay, now it looks kind of like a grill. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, I'll delete. And I'll and I'll put them over here. Where is this? Okay, and now I just need uh, and now I need like a goblin. Cause if I make a goblin, I can just reuse it. Um, goblin oh, sorry, let me unpause the alerts. Hello, Doug, it's the geese again. Tell Poxa he is next. Oh, he's already gone. Okay. This song is too dramatic. We got to save it for something else. Um, okay, hold on. Goblin. We give him pants. Those are not pants. <laughs> so Do I fill in his face?
Okay, cool. Now we've got a goblin. Um, the goblin boy, he Go. goes behind. It's too good, right? I mean, that's pretty amazing. whole idea <laughs> is, is should the queen be behind the bar i feel like now the queen looks out of place and doesn't look very good but that's fine um all right um what is the like end goal not necessarily goal for you guys but what is the like the, i guess i guess it's like if you just leave you leave i guess you can just leave you don't have to do anything. Cade wants to live. Okay. Um, but you guys theoretically are motivated to do other things. Um, okay. They the look like they are very hungry. Um, let me let me do my best uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, voice. Uh, what is a good song? Okay, adventurers, you enter into the Queen's Tavern, a famous establishment. Inside, you notice a bunch of patrons sitting around at tables. You see Queen Rosaline standing behind the bar. But in the center of the bar are two bears fighting in what is clearly an illegal fighting bear ring. What do you do? You hear the patrons screaming and chanting. Bear fight! Bear fight! Phase one, my plan is to grow weed. Okay, we're like, where... <laughs> Oh, I gotta get the bear separated. All right. Meanwhile, as you're debating to grow weed, you see the bears fighting each other. Are <laughs> there any plant pots around? Um, yeah, we'll say f for sure. Yeah, you notice that next to the fireplace, uh, there are a couple pots with uh, with like dirt Froggy. in them. Okay, meanwhile, Egg the Bear starts roaring in I don't know what emotion. If you move towards the bear or interact with them, let me know. I take one and huddle over it, starting to grow weed. Okay, Doug <laughs> crosses past the bear fight and moves to the planted, the uh, pots of dirt in the corner. And, uh, where's the pots? Okay, and he... Must he, save the bears. He starts planting so weed in the pots. The fire and make popcorn. The noise and smells will cause a distraction. Okay, Pringle, the frying pan, runs over to the uh, fireplace stove and starts throwing popcorn kernels inside of it. Egg brick cage. You throw popcorn in. Um, Egg, meanwhile, tries to break into the, the bear pit. As you do this, Queen Rosalind screams out, No, what are you doing? I have so much money riding on this bear fight. Let's see if you can break into it. Um, you are a strong bear, so let's oh, say you oh, need no, no. 12 or above, and you break in. Uh. 17. All right. Egg the bear bursts in to the fighting ring, and right as the bears were starting fighting, Rah! you burst in. What do you say? Runyon. Run? You yell, Runyon. But the bears don't appear to be very smart, so they're just staring at you like bears. In the meantime, let's see if your weed is growing. Um, 15 or above, and the weed starts... <laughs> Sorry, okay, the weed? The weed doesn't look like it's getting enough sunlight. Okay, let's see if the popcorn's succeeding. 20! Okay, the popcorn starts bursting so intensely and so violently. Where's the, the popcorn? Your popcorn is actually magical! Can I the popcorn outside the door and have the bears follow? Yes! Your popcorn bursts out of the... 
out of the fireplace. It's absolutely massive. And you start hurling popcorn towards the door. The confused bears who are just staring at Egg see the food. They look malnourished. Damn. Using the gap in the bear cage, they both Egg run out the door, heading outside towards the delicious popcorn, following Pringle as he goes. In the meantime, Queen Rosalind screams out, No! I take my some bears! Of the popcorn in hopes of selling it later. <laughs> okay, Doug, Doug goes and gra- <laughs> Doug grabs popcorn. Just remember you have that in your inventory now. Uh, Queen Rosalind tries to run after you guys out the door to get her bears back. Do you do anything in the meantime? D, less than R O R O bad. Do cocaine! <laughs> okay. <laughs> As Queen Rosalind runs by attempting to get her bear back. I'm going to beat up a sixth grader by throwing them at Queen Rosalind. Okay. okay. Um, I guess Coke is not very hard to do, so three or above and you do Coke. <laughs> okay. You drop the <laughs> Um, Egg drops his cocaine on the floor. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Root row! Meanwhile, uh, Doug goes and grabs one of these goblins who seems to be pretty young. Looks like he's in uh, sixth grade, probably. Grabs him, carries him over his head. Carries the goblin. The popcorn butter to make the queen slip. Yes, but first let's we'll resolve this. Doug runs down here and then attempts to throw the goblin at the queen. Does it work? Sixteen or above. Oh, only an eleven. Instead, you just throw the goblin onto the floor. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> this is the worst class I've ever been to. But meanwhile, Pringle pops their head back in and starts trying to spread butter on the floor. You used most of your butter up here. Does the here. sixth grader land in the cocaine? <laughs> yeah. So you accidentally, th- you accidentally throw the sixth grader uh, directly onto the cocaine pile. And you see him sniffing into it accidentally. You don't have much butter left because you used it in the thing. But if you get a 16 or above. Oh, shit. Not only do you not manage to throw butter on the floor, you accidentally spill some into this bear's eyes. And now he's running around, confused. The other bear manages to, manages to escape, though. Queen Rosalind runs up. D. She says, that's my bear! Roar, Give me my slap, bear back! Uh, slap goob at row. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to need to... You're going to need to... You're going to need to clarify that just a bit. I just need a bit more information there. That's my bear. Egg not smart D. Oh, okay. Uh, Egg is yelling. Uh, I think he's they are a bit slapping confused. the goblin at Rosalind. Uh, okay. The goblin gets up, and he is... Really, really fucking high. He's so hyped up and so angry at Rosalind for dragging him here out of his classroom and dragging him to this bear fight that he tries to attack Queen Rosalind. 17 or above and he hits. 17! The goblin lunges on top of Rosalind and starts pulling at her hair and she screams, No! My beautiful hair! My beautiful drawn hair! Meanwhile, one bear has escaped and the other is confused. Uh, Queen Rosalind is distracted by the goblin. One bear is still inside. He is confused because he has, hold on, butter in his eyeballs. (laughs) That's my goob. (laughs) What do you want to do? Launch it, Queen R.O. Okay. Egg the bear. I'm going to use my big lighter to set the queen on fire. (laughs) Okay. Egg the bear lunges on top of the queen. 
helps pin her down while Doug rolls up with his Missouri Bic lighter. <laughs> Hold on. The one thing that won't be drawn. Hold on. I need to do a big... Cli this is going to be awesome. This is going to be a big climactic moment. Potentially, if you pull it off. Just get your pogs ready. Have faith. <clears throat> Oops. Ignore that. That's gonna be loud, sorry. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh sorry, just uh, ignore that. <clears throat> what should be the role for lighting? I think it's because okay, because it's pinned down. Alright. Doug moves down to Queen Rosalind, who's currently pinned that down 20. because of the super high goblin. An egg pinning her to the ground. Doug pushes the big lighter over Queen Rosalind. And with a, because they're helping you, nine or above, you'll manage to succeed. Fifteen! And suddenly, boom! A giant fire erupts! Queen Rosalind, her hair sets ablaze! You hear crackling and booming! Look at the CGI! Look at the effects! And you watch as the evil Queen Rosalind slowly melts into a puddle because she was evil. And the fire slowly fades away, leaving behind just uh, like a really competition is gone. flat um, queen. Uh, the goblin's still really high. You guys have managed to shut down. Uh, I don't know if she was evil. I guess she's just like a... You guys have managed to defeat the small business owner. <laughs> and you got some uh, some sixth grader really high. Okay, I anything... forgot to make money. Oh, yeah, shit. I mean, I guess you could loot, uh, you know? Okay, anything else you guys want to do in the... Does she have any money on her? Let him cook to bring back um, the fire, fire and burn down the tavern. Yeah, okay. Uh, let him cook to bring back the fire and burn. <laughs> I guess you guys could burn the tavern down if you want. Okay, Doug is going to check Queen Rosalind's evil entrepreneurial body for uh, treasure. Here's what we're going to do. Um, I want four... Uh, how do we do this? Because I could flip a coin or I roll for it. I want four suggestions for treasure this could be an item that gives them like a special power or a weapon what would be something that they might like do a, that do they might good. find um give, give me ideas a gun i mean that feels a bit <laughs> okay feels a bit <laughs> on the nose but uh i guess more like more cocaine now we're gonna say you have more a cocaine you spill water. Striking. D. um Hey, Doug, oh, that is pretty good. Out. What if the treasure wax a bottle of Fiji water? What? Uh, wait, what? No, I feel like the fork should be something more. 
Fifty dollars. <laughs> Okay, fork of lifting. <laughs> you can lift people up with the fork. Um, hairspray? Why would you want? Oh, oh, because it's her. Okay, hairspray, and then maybe like. Oh yeah. Okay, and then the fourth option Treat. is the friends we made along the way, hairspray which is for Can I find nothing. the building ownership paperwork? Yeah, okay, to we'll say... To add the tavern to my new food empire. Yeah, that's good. Okay, deed Chef's to the tavern. kiss. <clears throat> okay, there are five potential treasures that you could win. Chubbs McGee, thank you for the 12 months. Based off this die roll, we will determine what you find inside Queen Rosalind's pockets. It is... It is the friends we made along the way. That's the real treasure here. Goop. <laughs> Goop. Goop up. Um, bears. Yeah, the bears return and they live happily ever after. All right, anything else you guys want to do before you leave? So does that mean the goblins work for us now? Popcorn. I mean, you can interact with the goblins if you want. Okay, uh, egg the bears eating the popcorn. Otherwise, yay, we have a bear and a butter bear friends. This is true. Any final uh, actions before you head out of the tavern? Take Goob with. I'm taking the cocaine goblin. He will be my go to <laughs> attack. Okay, but the cocaine goblin says, hey, can you drop Did me I off? Did I find that deed? Uh, no, you didn't find the deed. The treasure is going to be randomly picked based off a pool of options, and you guys won the friends we made along the way, which actually kind of makes sense because Bring you just bears. got you got Goob as a friend. Uh, Goob, I'm the also grabbing the weed I grew. Cocaine Goblin is on your team now. Um, he is still pretty high, and he does say, "Hey, can you guys take me back to school? It's near the castle." Um, the bears. I am trying to think Good of a reason party. not to give you the bears. So that this isn't more, uh, more complicated. How do I justify not giving you the bears? Okay, let's say... Here, here's what I'll do. Um, egg the bear. Why don't you give one convincing roar to see if the two normal bears want to join you guys or if they're just bears and are going to go wander off into the woods. Give me your best roar. Okay, that was pretty good. 18 or above, and the bears are somehow swayed by that. <laughs> okay. Okay, the bears just kind of wander off into the woods. <laughs> D! Um, but congratulations, you have Goob the Goblin, who is now on your team. <laughs> Rigged. Congra and the adventurers head off, having made the world just a little bit better. Back to the overworld. I need to set Goob over there now. Goob, I'm going to duplicate you into the Off overworld. Off to Missouri. <laughs> Goob, where are you? Oh, there you are. Thank you very much to our wonderful players. You guys are excellent. Oh, wait, you wanted to grab your weed. Sorry. Well, the, you didn't grow the weed successfully, so I'd say you pull it out, but it kills the weed plants. The music's really loud. The bear with the yellow eyes couldn't join regardless. It is jaundiced and needs to stay local where their renal care clinic is located. That's true. Can that... I grab the pots for future use? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you grab the pots on the way out. It's a good call. Okay, um, thank you very much to our wonderful players. I am going to find some new players. As a reminder, player one remember is... Remember me when you remember good. <laughs> player one is Pringle the frying pan. Um, please, if you are doing player one... Uh, Thank you. I look forward to reading more food. Chef's kiss. Remember that you have a move. Let him cook. You have a move. Pansexual seduction. You have a move. Scrambled, where you swap places with somebody. You are also hot, hey, spicy, fuck. French, hey, very food critical, and salty. That is, if remember, you, if taxation you are, can occur if a monarchy is dead. Don't do preferably via fire. <laughs> don't do. I will let you guys know to do player one, two, three. Not yet. I forget if I said to do it already. Um, 
I'm going to reset the code, so don't do it yet. Uh, if you want to be player two, this is Egg the Bear. He's a druid. He's confused. He likes honey. He hates eggs. He's scared of forest fires. He uses small world words, big words, scary. And he's wise and he's stupid. And he can do cocaine, shapeshift into a chair, or polio. Character three is Doug, the normal guy from Missouri. He do has a brain. he has a big lighter. He grows weed. He can beat up sixth graders. And he's uh, like an arsonist. And he's divorced. And he hates taxes. And he wants to go back to Missouri. Those are the three characters. Let me reset code. Once you hear them talking, then... Let's rumble big dogs. Now, player one, player two, or player three. I guess Doug should probably be facing this way. So should you, Goob. Come here, buddy. All right, cool. Good start to our adventure. It looks like we can't go into the meth mines now, but you could still, everything else, is, or the rickety bridge, everything else is still in play. All right, our new players are, where is it? Uh, player one, dumb guy 64. Player two, some person, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two. And final person, Doug, is Biostruck. Are y'all here? Whoa. You. Okay, we got people. Uh, dumb guy. 64. Yes, sir. VIP bio struck. I'm going to VIP you if you get uh, added as a player, and then I will unVIP you at the end of the stream. That way it doesn't lose your messages or whatnot. Um, some person. Was that too big of a word? Uh, maybe, yeah, gauge it off chat. Just remember you're scared of it. You, I like that you seem to be scared of hey, the Doug, idea that it might I have been too to big. Go. But as a Quebecer, thank you for mentioning us in this absolutely nutty fever dream of a D&D &D campaign. Let's go, Collis. We've got to make this worse. <laughs> We're not winning worst stream of the year so far. Make Goob Player 4. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think if that's easy to do with my code. Not really, because then I have to change a bunch of CSS stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, it's, the visuals are... Good, good. Would take, uh, like... 15 minutes to set up, which I don't really want to do. I will I will play as Goob, or if you guys have suggestions for Goob, I will attempt to read uh, your chat. Okay. <clears throat> After their successful uh, adventure at the tavern... Goob can be mute and just look confused at things. That's true. He is high also. Goob is chat. Okay, Goob is TTS. From now on, if you guys do TTS messages, you are representing Goob, the cocaine goblin. Next up, the party chose to adventure into either the Maple Syrup River or the Cheese Woods. What did they decide? Cheese Woods, I'm hungry. Cheese. Okay, technically, we have four people now. Cheese Woods. Okay, well, now it's decided. Um, and thus, the party advanced forwards, past the tavern, and into the Cheese Woods. Let's find out what that means. Uh, Goopsy Cheese 2. Duplicate you guys into Untitled. Okay. Um, <clears throat> qu question. What are the cheese woods? <laughs> okay. What is going on in the cheese woods? Impersonating goop cheese. Hi, goop here. I enjoy cheese. However, will the party not just consume poutine? all the cheese? Uh, that is true. Yeah. I, so I'm more thinking about like it's what. It's a forest, but everything is cheese. Yeah. It's so like, what is happening in it? Um, okay, rat infestation. But are they like, what is happening to the rats? Like, hey, what are Doug, they doing? Thanks for saving me from that lady. I feel better than I have in years. Can you ask the bear to give me more of whatever that was? <laughs> Goob, you are, your eyes are still very red. You don't need more unless Egg wants to give you more. Um, is Sniff School through the Sniff Cheese? 
I can't sniff remember anymore. <laughs> hey, my face is itchy. Okay, hold on. What's that, Goob? <laughs> Pausing the alerts. Um, rat infestation. They're deforesting the trees. Does anybody care necessarily? Um, that's something though. There's witches. We can okay. help them. Witches are turning people into cheese trees. That's the se that's the dark secret of the cheese forest. Uh, rat mafia who demands. Cheese is payment to pass. Yeah, I like the idea that it's melting. What what would what would the what would it, why would it be melting? What would be melting it? We already have a lot of fire. Is there something else we can do? Um. Oh, the cheese. Okay, the trees are melting, and there's. Uh, a rat mafia king stuck in the melted cheese who, like, needs help. The, maybe the bears will wander in randomly. I'll keep that in my head. There's a giant magnifying glass Do we have flying nachos? above. Um, you don't have them on you. We can incorporate that into what's happening. Um, yeah, we can come up with why the trees are melting, I guess. Um... I don't think you have nachos on you. There's staff that controls time at the heart of the forest. Yeah, okay. There's like, there's a witch who's melting the trees and the rat mafia are drowning in it. Lots of other ideas, but a factory in the background is causing greenhouse gases. <laughs> uh. Okay. Is there a drawing of a cheese tree that I can reference? All right. All right, looks like there's going to be a witch who's melting the trees. That's good. Then we have two factions. Okay, time to do the best drawing of my life. Um, Teresa, bunch of Do we get a favor from the rat mafia the if we save trees. them? The cheese towers. I want mob ties. Uh, you don't know if you get favors. You have to figure it out. All right, I'm gonna you draw. You better draw Sorry, good guys. cheese, Doug. I am not I'm very food stupid. critical. I'm remember, I'm just incredibly high as fuck on cocaine. <laughs> Fun fact. Sniff rats a sniff actually lactose intolerant, but sniff they do love cheese. I have a sniff pet rat at sniff school. A coop. That's my goob. Hey, hey. Sniff do ya, do ya, you know how to do fractions? Sniff I ain't done my homework because of that bitch and her stupid bear fight. <laughs> sniff, so, you got more of that stuff? Um. One sec. Once this scene starts, uh, we can decide if uh, Egg is giving you more cocaine. Okay, now I need to draw a witch and a big pool of cheese. Um, I guess the melted cheese would be like a little more orangey. Okay, so the the trees are like melting cheese out like this. If we don't fight a mechanized or zombified Billy Mays, I quit. <laughs> okay, now I need a witch. Whoa, dude, Terry, so much cheese here sniffed as anyone of chips. Maybe I can eat all the cheese sniff and save those people. 
All right, all right, all right. Which? Hmm, this cheese looks acceptable, I suppose. Rats, that's crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once they locked me in a room with rats. Don't do it. Egg only gives cocaine to goblins who will make the mob think I'm cool. Okay, now you need a hat. You're way too big. Um, you need a hat. Let's try to befriend the mob after saving them. The witch related to Goof. They look alike. You could ask him. Baba Goo sha a a a. True. Oops. We should let those 6th graders nuke the king and instead just watch a movie and do metric shit tons of cocaine. <laughs> what do you say, team? <laughs> Goop said big word. I mean, technically, Scary. it's up to you guys. I mean, you can just leave the scenario if you want. That's not ethical, Goop. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, hold on. We have our witch. Um, she is... And then I need to have rats that are in rats drowning, rats swimming cartoon. Hey, fuck you, Pringle. You look like a limbless stick figure. Anyway, hi, Egg. You look real cool if you give goob meth. Okay, I need to draw a rat that um, will... Coke, not meth. Ouch! Screw you, Goob. They'll cook you next. Throw you into the cheese river. Remember to give the rat a mafia hat. Guys, this rat looks terrible. This is one of the worst things I've drawn yet. This looks so bad. Sorry, I'm more of a Pepsi goop. I guess he'll take Coke. Um. It does. Rats also eat sniff their own shit sniff for new tritonal purposes. Also, Pringle, watch your back. Sniff. Okay, this that is a rat. That looks cute. Can I put him under my hat? <laughs> um. Goob says we should all eat the cheese trees and scream at the Rat King like the proper goblins. We all are deep down inside our little gremlin selves. True. Okay. What what does it look like if you're the leader of the Rat Mafia? What do I add to this guy to make it Doug, clear I he's the Rat Mafia? I think the Goob Mafia. Collective wants to throw Pringles in the river sniff. <laughs> add a shit crown! A top Tommy gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a tiny gun. That's good idea. Okay, so now for you, I add a little top hat. What? Oh, right, you have a... 
and a gun. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Give him a mustache. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Good call. <laughs> you can tell that this so is a mafia rat for sure. Oops. Uh, J. Boom. Boom. <laughs> this is really stupid. <sighs> ah, French mustache. Just like my people back in France. Uh, let me uh, pick the appropriate song um yeah sure that works <clears throat> guys we need to find nachos suddenly the party enters the cheese forest hi mafia rat daddy sniff if i save you can i have that cool sniff mustache <laughs> <laughs> okay all right goob is immediately asking for more cocaine from egg the bear but as you look out you see rats drowning in a giant pool of melted cheese. It seems the cheese trees themselves are being melted, and you realize that the witch on the other side is cackling mysteriously with, um... Hold on. High graphical fidelity sparks coming out of her hand. Team, what do you do? Keep good coke. Flirt with Mob Rat. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Egg the Bear uh, comes over to Goob and gives him more cocaine. Um, here you go, Goob. Doug, have you seen an actual Rat King? It's fast gross. too perfect for this. No, it's too gross. Probably not, but it's worth the Google search. No, it's not. I hate those. Okay. Doug and Pringle, what are you doing? challenges the witch to a cocaine snorting contest. Whoever does the most lines gets to decide what to do with the rat. Can I swap places with the witch and let Doug handle her? <laughs> um, yes. Mafia rat implies they leak information to the fence. True. Okay, Pringle steps up and uses their move. Scrambled! And instantly scrambles places with the witch. In a big poof. Pringle appears on the other side of the cheese pool. And the witch appears right here next to you. Right then, Goob walks up with his Good cocaine luck, and says, Goob, I hope she kills you. Yo, you want to do a coke contest? <laughs> Let's see how convincing he is. This is not a great argument because she's terrified. 17 or above and she's down. Okay. She actually does look pretty tempted for a second and says, you know what? You guys are total strangers, um, but maybe I'll consider it. What are you guys doing here? I've been trying to kill some rats. In the background, you see that the rats... I will use the Bic lighter to try and set the witch on fire. Oh, shit. Okay. You see in the background that the rats are sinking farther into the cheese. And you hear a faint little squeaky noise. Hey, get me out of this parmigiano! What is it? Hey, get me out of this parmigiano reggiano! And you hear that with even like a, a muffled gunshot in the background. New my uh, rat frees. Doug pops up to the witch. Uh, Doug, do you say anything as you use the Bic lighter? I need to grab, where the hell's the Bic lighter? For the mafia. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not clear why you guys are so pro mafia, really. But <laughs> hey, you got a nice rat hole sniff. I'm a stuff it with my green prick. Okay, all right. <laughs> you talking to the rats? 
You bitch lady, if I snort more coke than you, will you kill Goob, my friend what the heck? <laughs> Goob! Goob, chill out! All right, Doug runs up to the witch and tries to use a big lighter on her. At this point, though, she is on edge. Tries to step back. It's going to be a little challenging. 12 or above. Or sorry. Uh, no, opposite direction. 16 or above. You light her on fire. Oh. A net 20! Okay. You pour the big lighter over her hat. It turns out the hat is very, very flammable. Immediately goes up in a... Hold on. Hold on. Say, Goob, we must eat all this cheese, but not the rats. One second. I, I need to prepare more CGI. Just get get your pogs ready, okay? This is what you get for messing with our possible friends. Th this may or may not look exactly like the previous thing that um, you were pogging about. <clears throat> okay, I had to redraw the CGI. So sorry, it's taking a little while. <clears throat> Oops, no, that's not. Hold on. No, that is. <laughs> hold on. No, that already happened. Um. Doug runs up to the witch and turns out her hat is very flammable. And as he leans the Bic lighter towards her hat, you see a gigantic whoosh as she blows up in flames and stuff. Oh my God. Talk. Wow. And the graphics are insane. The witch is like super flammable for some reason. And as she starts burning to the ground alive, she says, I was just trying to help the rats. Guess didn't even ask me what was going on! I thought I was the chef. But, but you is the one who's really kicking. The, the horrible witch, or whatever. So, I mean, she was a witch. At any rate, uh, she's dead. <laughs> Good thing we have Doug in the big lighter. <laughs> anyway, uh, Goob's uh, still on cocaine. Um, Egg has been yelling. And now Pringle's over here next to the rats. Um, what do you want to do? In the meantime, you see the rats are slipping just a little bit farther into the cheese. Not sure why they're pro mafia. Sounds like you want a horse head in your bed. Eat cheese. Pringle, you are the food rats. guy. How do we fix this? Okay. Egg is suggesting uh, trying to eat the fucking um, cheese. Goop Egg starts eating cheese. The cheese. I reach my <laughs> handle out to the rat boss <laughs> to save him. Okay. The egg and goob both run up to the cheese. Goob starts um, just kind of snorting it. Grab um, on. Egg is Pringle, roaring and if eating. If you were such a good critic, Sniff, you would know that Parmesan Regino is not great at melting as it's an aged cheese. These droning rats are just pretending to drown on half soft cheese. Um. <clears throat> okay. Pringle. I will join eating the cheese. All right. Doug also goes and starts e eating cheese. Shut up, Goob. You know nothing more food. Pringle reaches his handle. You can see by the way that I happen to draw this that he just barely, barely has the distance to reach out to the rat. And the rat, because one hand is holding a gun, he's disadvantaged and he refuses to give up the gun. He says, I'm not giving up my gun. Not for an instant. The mafia needs the guns. But he tries to reach out with his left paw. And he's disadvantaged, 16 or above, and he'll actually grab it. Throw the gun into the pan. Seven. Save it too. 
The Rat Mafia King. He's slipping further in. Even the gun is starting to fall into the cheese. He says, no, I can't lose the gun. Eat harder. Um, these guys over here are eating extremely hard. Uh, egg. Let's say you're eating towards this rat. There is a lot of cheese, though. 16 or above, and you'll make a path to him. Uh, Nat 20. Egg just absolutely blitzes through the cheese. He barges a path through it all the way to the rat and manages to grab the rat and actually pull him out of the cheese. And you see his body Jeez, coming Carl. back as you pull him out. The rat is safely outside the cheese. Ugh. Same thing for Goob and Doug. They both are eating cheese. 16 and above, and you manage to make a way to the rat. 10. Unfortunately, um, Goob snorting a bunch of cheese isn't really doing much. And Doug is, oh, bro, that's kind you know, of fucked up, trying to set it up. You know, he's trying to... Uh, oh, I need to move this. Uh, alert box, you need to be above. Be my mob pal. Okay. Egg asks... You think Duke will drown in the cheese? I I'm mean, just he's a normal high. guy. I can't eat good that enough. much. You know, that's a good point. Um, we need to do a quick check to see if Goob uh, drowns in the cheese because he's snorting it into his esophagus. Uh, th if he rolls a three, he needs to roll a four above to not kill himself with cheese. Yeah, drown Goob. <laughs> okay, Goob lifts his head up out of the cheese and goes, oh, guys, I can't really breathe well, but he is still alive. Um, For few fuck. thank God. <laughs> um, oh, the voices are wrong. You're right. Um, shouting, what are you? You're Jane Random. You're Guy Random. I Go try again. Go these. deeper this time. <laughs> I can't tell if you guys like Goob or not. Um, Egg down here talks to the rat and says, join me, mafia friend. The rat says, hey, I need to get my mafia leader's approval on it. Can you help him? And he points upwards at the rat over Goob here. He keeps insulting me, so no. At the rat over here who is drowning and appears to be on the verge of death. This one is also drowning more and more. Uh, what do y'all do? Uh, you hear the main mafia rat yell out, if you don't save me soon, I'm going to shoot you in the head as my last action, Pringle. Eat all the cheese. Okay. Sorry, I wanted to kill you, Pringle. You said I looked like that ugly witch. Egg tries to eat a path to the Mafia leader. I am beer. Uh, he's proven to be a uh, hearty eat eater so path. far. 16 or above, and you eat a path to the uh, to the rat. Four. Unfortunately, you are very full from the last one. Goob Can does I use Pringle. Sexual seduction on the saved rat to make him leave his comrades behind and stay in my hat. <laughs> okay. So Pringle leaves behind the <laughs> the mafia rat. Why can't I um? Why can't I move? Where's Pringle? Hello. Is Pringle alive? Oh, because oh, the I'm fire's stuck too in the big. That's why. River too. Uh, no, 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 no. That, that's the thing. You put yourself in as far as possible. You're able to get out. Okay. So, um, while the mafia rat is screaming, "Help me! I'm almost to dead!" Uh, Pringle walks over to the rat and yells across the remaining cheese, "Hey, Goob's why don't you join me?" Cocaine, gaining a massive advantage, and leaps over the cheese river, grabbing both of the rats as I go. Okay. Well, that's okay. Real quick, while you're doing this, uh, Goob is doing more cocaine. <laughs> Which may or may not help him. Pringle, you run over to the rescued rat and you shout, leave behind your mafia brethren. Join me in my hat. And let's see if it works. Um, at this point, he's watching his mafia boss die. It's not a particularly compelling environment. Let's say 14 or above and you convince him. Ooh. Now the rat, he looks at you. Your pansexual seduction almost worked. He says, I, I want to join you, but let me at least, at least make sure my boss is okay. Um, and he leaps into the cheese and starts trying to swim towards the boss. Uh, this but, is somehow Goob's fault. Uh, yeah, Goob is still doing cocaine. 
He's running towards the, the Mafia boss. 14 or above, and he makes it. 17! So he manages to swim to the Mafia boss and start pulling him out of the cheese. He is delaying the inevitable, but the Mafia boss is still stuck. What do the rest of you do? Uh, it seems that Goob is still can smorting cocaine. Can I try to grow wheat so I can use it to make a rope to throw to the Mafia boss? Yeah, I don't know if you'll have time. I help. Okay. I don't know if you'll have time for that, but yeah, okay, so... Um... Uh, Doug starts trying to grow marijuana again. Let's if let him cook. It's just really it's not like an ideal environment for it, and you don't have a lot of time. But if you get a 19 or above, the weed grows right now. What were moves? Oh, well, unfortunately, the weed is not growing yet. What were the moves? Uh, your moves are uh, do cocaine, turn into a chair, or polio. <laughs> um. Good. Did Goob want to do something? I think what Goob was Goob doing. in the cocaine, like he was face down in the ground, slash the coke, and it cut off his breathing. I think he won't wouldn't drown on cocaine. That seems hard to do. Um, the the rat lieutenant has reached it's his sniff boss. My sniff flot. I'm sniff flack to turn sniff into a chair, and so I can chair. try to pull up the mafia rats. boss with it. No, uh, Doug, you don't get to turn into a chair. Your moves are um. Doug, what are your moves? I scoop up the cheese hey, river and turn it into a How cheese ball with my move with the mafia boss and stay there yourself. It would be easier to save you as you have a giant handle. Okay, uh, uh, Goob yes, is just egg as a chair. really just fucking high and screaming over at Pringle being upset at him. Uh, the dude is, is fucked up on cocaine. Meanwhile, <clears throat> seeing that the situation is dire, Egg the Bear, who so far has only... Uh, who so far has managed to save one rat but couldn't quite get to the second, sees what he has to do. And he turns into a chair. Uh, me meanwhile, the rat mafia boss says, Why the fuck are you turning into a chair? But the chair, the word chair, is cut off because Funniest his mouth... Funniest shit they ever seen. His mouth is starting to actually be cut off. Um, nope. Why is it not working? Hello? Rat? Oh, wrong rat. Um, which rat are you? You're two. The word chair is actually cut off because his mouth is starting to go into the cheese. Um... You can't do anything because you're a chair? Okay, uh, what did, wait, Doug, you wanted to use the chair? What exactly are you doing with the chair, Doug? Why don't, why don't you go ahead and, um, explain this to me? I am chair from Doug Doug, not ugly brown thing, need for seat. To hand one edge to the Mafia boss. Okay. Doug moves forward onto the path that was eaten by the bear and then picks up the chair bear and holds out the chair towards the Mafia boss, who at this point is, his arms are out, his arms are fully submerged in the cheese. So really the only chance he has of being pulled up by this chair is if he can bite it with his mouth. This is his last hope. If he can bite onto the leg of the chair, he could hold onto it and you could pull Fight it out of the cheese. Stupid rat. <clears throat> Let me on the end of the chair, he'll reach in for him. Uh, Goob also runs onto the chair oh, and tries to reach go. out. Hey Goob, the third rat has some cocaine. Go help him. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> while Goob's on the None way of this over, would have happened if we just shared the cocaine with the witch instead of burning her alive. <laughs> you bozos. While Goob is on his way over to help, Pringles yells out, Hey, that other rat has cocaine! And Goob, go, Goob goes, Oh, really? And starts trying to swim to this rat. Let's see if the rat mafia boss grabs onto the chair successfully. Um, what would be the roll? His mouth is submerged. This is his last chance, 15 or above. 
and he grabs on, otherwise he drowns. Five! And you watch as the Mafia Rat Leader's head slowly is submerged underneath the cheese. And you hear him yelling, Fuck are you! And muffled gunshots with him? as he fires Deserve. his pistol pointlessly into the cheese. Um, the last rat, though, Save Chapel Rat! Still sinking. Goob is attempting to run over, but Goob is trying to swim through the cheese. 15 or above, and he does it successfully. Seven! Goob is not... Goob is now drowning in the cheese! <laughs> and he yells out, anybody leave have more cocaine? Uh, Pringles is telling everybody to leave him behind. Meanwhile, the last rat is like, oh shit, my boss! What the fuck do I do now? Hey guys, you owed me like three thousand dollars. Instead, okay. Doug starts pitching that you guys just leave with the rat. Uh, Egg is a chair. He does not say anything. Rat one, come join me in my hat. Okay, all of you are offering the rat uh, to join your party. At this point, the offer is a lot more convincing I because his boss is dead. <laughs> 12 or above, and you convince him. Six. Unfortunately, he says, Well, I, I don't know. I, one. I, I, don't, words. I don't know. I still have uh, one more rat, friend. Maybe, you know, maybe we could save him together. The other rat is drowning alongside Goob. It looks like you got maybe one or two more turns. The chair continues Plenty to be a chair. Call you ugly, then plan your demise. If I save him with my final move, Use then you force. join me. Okay. Egg uses the chair powers, which is to be a chair. Pringle, meanwhile, says, If I save you Guys, with my final help? move... Stop trying to replace me and get me out of here. Can't you make a Has the weed grown yet? <laughs> the, um... If you get a if you get a 19 or above, the weed is grown. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Goob is screaming angrily. I turn the entire river into a giant cheese Shit. ball with my move. Let him cook. Okay, um, Pringle says, "I'll help you out, Rat, if you'll join us." And uses the let him cook move, which apparently, because we didn't establish this, turns the entire river into a cheese ball. Um. You see it suddenly solidify into a huge. Pringle, why didn't you do this earlier? Puffy mass. But a frying grant. Unfortunately, because you did this while they were to drown first. inside the cheese river, they are now permanently encased inside this giant cheese puff. And you see that Goob is now absolutely helpless and unable to move. He starts screaming. Why is this river? It's so Just hard. Planned. <laughs> and now, do you pitch the rat anything? Can I hit Goob with the chair? You put <laughs> more coke. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Doug walks with the chair and proceeds to beat the shit out of Goob. Ten or above and you beat him to death. Doug eat them out of the cheese ball, Goob. <laughs> okay. You're just... You're just, be you're just beating him. Egg, if you want to turn back out of a chair to a bear, let me know. Um, sorry, you couldn't beat Goob. Um, g uh, give Goob more coke. Uh, Pringle suggested you eat out. You g eat Goob out. It's more be your call. Bear, give Goob coke. Okay. Um, the chair uh, poofs out of existence, and suddenly... Egg the bear reappears. We dug not like that. What the heck? Who proceeds to uh, run down and grab this cocaine and bring it up to Goob. It says, here, Goob. Um, and jams it into Goob's don't nostrils. Don't Goob out. Um, well, don't say it like that. <laughs> uh, Goob does more cocaine. 
LOL. Um, Goob does a lot of cocaine uh, really well. He's really high. Did I say that? Oh. Well, somebody should tell that guy to stop. Please don't let me die, Provilla. That gets him out! Uh, how does that get him out? He, he just did a bunch of coke. His nose is like out of the... He's encased into a cheese puff. Goo beats the chair. Oh, um, just leave him. Yeah, okay. He's done so much cocaine. Uh, 19 or above and he dies of an overdose. Okay, uh, he didn't know D, which is good. Of this shit and decides to try and reach the lighter that Doug left on the ground and light the cheese oils that have risen to the top of the cheese to burn everyone to death. Okay, that's kind of fucked up and dark. Eat cheese! But Doug is right next to him with the Bic lighter. And Goob... With his free arm, grabs the Bic lighter and attempts to set the cheese puff on fire. This is a terrible idea, but he's high on cocaine, so he's and gonna do it anyways. Metal, so this won't kill me anyway. Checkmate, Goop, you uh, little Twelve shit. or above, and it succeeds. Okay, Goob, who is hopped up on coke, says, "I'll take y'all down with me." And this rat who's still here is like, "Wait, why?" Um, hold on. We need more... We need more CGI. Okay, get your pogs ready. And suddenly, a giant fireball erupts! The whole cheese puff! The cheese oil spreads rapidly and soon the entire thing's on fire! Before this shit kills us all. Okay, Pringle makes one last plead at the rat. Jump into my hat! I'll save you! I'm metal! The rat is now very convinced. Six or above and he joins. Eleven! The rat says, yeah, okay, and jumps into your hat. Ugh. Pringle runs away and gets the fuck out of there. Egg the bear also tries to I run away from I the fire. Good harder. Um Egg starts trying to run as the fire is spreading. Eleven or above, and you make it out. Yes, you are my new uh. sous chef Radagooby. Egg runs out! Kill one, two. Doug tries to run as well. Uh, Eleven or above. Sixteen! Doug manages to escape! And you hear in the background, very, very faintly, as the three party members run off with a, a new party member, I guess, because the rat, uh, behind them. Fuck you, Goob. Faintly they hear, Does anybody have more cocaine? And that is the end of Goob. Yes, fuck you, Goob. And the party has successfully Grandma survived. Bob. The horrors of the cheese forest. <laughs> this was an entirely positive outcome. Yeah, I guess, um... I oh, no! My half-grown weed! Oh, yeah. That's gonna... I guess it'll burn. I miss Goob. <laughs> How do you miss him? You guys have been trying to kill him the whole time! Okay, hold on. I need the rat. Where's the rat? Okay, rat. We did coke a lot. Just pet Radagooby if you miss that other shit goob. Okay, um, unfortunately, uh, huge F in the chat, goob is gone. But you've got a new friend, the lovable rat, mafia lieutenant guy, yeah. who's in your hat. Where's the lighter? I'll say you grab the lighter. That's fine. That's one of your powers. Way better. Okay. Uh, thank you to our lovely players. His name is Radagooby Doug. Okay. Radagooby, sure. Um, now you can go ahead and do exclamation mark player one, exclamation mark player two, or exclamation mark player three as a reminder. Player one is if you want to be Pringle. We love Radagooby. You are a hot, spicy French food critic. Salty boy who has moves such as let him cook, pansexual seduction, and scrambled 
Player two is Egg the Bear, who can do cocaine or shapeshift into a chair or polio, who is uh, uses small words because big words good are scary. Good chat, except e those who are talking shit to me is good. True. And player three is Doug the Arsonist from Missouri, who has a Bic lighter and grows weeds and beats up sixth graders. Um, all right. Let us uh, play a song. Let's pick our new characters. Keyboard small. Our new Pringle. Thealtron. Our new Egg the Bear. 1MW4W50M3 and... You. One, is that supposed to be a, a word I don't recognize? And Twitch plays tabletop RPGs. How appropriate. You are Doug. Hell yes. Uh, cool. Uh, Hello, good world, and is I the chef? VIP. Wait, uh, not VIP? Rigged. Bear! Wait, why didn't I VIP you? The old Freon. There we go. Okay. Twitch plays tabletop RPGs. Blue Heart. Unable to add VIP. What is your name? Oh, wait, I can just copy it. Oh, you're already added. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you guys should be VIPs so that you can actually talk. Um, sweet. We've got a couple more. Wait, guys, rounds. can we go back for the big lighter? Okay, unless you I roll... I am the master of the foodiverse. Unless you roll a one right now, we're going to say that you grabbed the Bic lighter before you ran away from the fire. Okay, you got have, you have the Bic lighter. Am I still VIP? Uh, yeah, you're still VIP. I'll un-VIP people at the end of the stream, but for, uh, for now, I'll just leave you VIP. All right, <clears throat> next, our heroic noble adventurers move on. Um, they are looking for a new place. On their way towards the king who we're saving. Oh, right, from sixth graders and nukes. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <clears throat> Next, the party decided whether they wanted to head east towards the otter pirates or up to the volcano geese nest. Please buy me dinner first. Hey, gang, I hear volcanic geese taste delicious. We should try and cook them. Interesting. Goob is sick and tired There's of his daughters probably skills being unappreciated. Rolls for a nat 20 to go watch movies somewhere else with a pile of cocaine. That volcano would be sweet to blaze some weed in. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, looks like we're heading to the volcano geese nest due to the potential for marijuana and cooking. I will say, um, let's roll a nat 20 to see if Goob um, somehow escaped. If it's 20, then somehow he lived. Okay. Sorry, Goob. Goob is um, fully goobed. <clears throat> and the party headed north to the volcano geese nest. Well, our Twitch chat has managed to burn a woman to death, her to bear, introduce coke to a child, had said child tried to screw with a rat, burned an innocent, and now burned a child and rat to death. What Actually, a good party. <laughs> burned two women to death. Don't worry, I am here with you in spirit. Tell Pringle to go to hell. Uh, because uh, you immediately set fire to Queen I'll make Rosalind. It a third. Don't worry, chat. And then immediately set so fire. So basically, a normal D and D hey, session. I just walked Wait, over to my name? local tavern and saw there were two bears covered in butter and in a food coma. Do you know anything about that? That's probably Queen Rosalind's fault. I bet there was a witch or something. Sorry, but I have to tell you to go to hell, Pringle. Okay. Remember that Goob took Doug's lighter in the explosion so he doesn't have it anymore. Nah, we did the roll D. for it. I, th I think that's something he would realistically grab on the way out. Um, all right, let us make a new scene. Okay. We have a 
volcano scene. What should happen in it? Acting like I only have a single pick. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Your move is to have a Bic lighter, not to have what at all, at all times. Fantasy Canadian women are very hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, I mean, they, they could be inside the volcano, I guess. That doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Um, the geese are committing a human sacrifice. That's so aggressive. Okay. Uh, what is happening? I want to go inside the volcano. Yeah, it could be something like in the sacrifice. Uh, volcano is filled with Can incredibly I drink lava? hot salsa. Well, that would allow you to drink it. And it would give food opportunities. I don't know how the geese would be involved with that. The geese are trying to eat a family of coke gremlins. <laughs> with, with so, is everybody on coke in Canada? In fantasy Canada? Um, the volcano... Canadian geese sacrificing Canadians. Fantasy Canadians. Um, it's a great... There's a cook-off. I'm worried you, if we do a cook-off between the geese, you guys are just going to set everybody on fire and geese leave. Geese are trying to sacrifice humans for a salsa dinner. <laughs> okay. Geese are sacrificing... Goblins... Into the salsa to add flavor. We won't, we promise, smile. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's like, most of the party is just setting things on fire. Um, coke gremlins are bust. I, I mean, these goblins can be doing coke, I Hi, guess. geese feeding their munches on the hot salsa. <laughs> Not everybody needs to be high. You can get them high. I don't want to have every single scene have people on drugs. Uh, unless it's the goblins who we've already established in Fantasy Canada are doing drugs. Um, geese are lava surfing and challenge the party. D. He's in the middle of a drug deal. I just feel like we should tell. It's just been drugs and mafia. Um. Okay. What what are these jumps out? I have to say, hi chat, big fan of your content. <laughs> Doug is here too, I guess. Damn right I am. Four. Four. Okay. Geese are having fifth grade graduation ceremony at the volcano. <laughs> Four. Are all the goblins in fifth and sixth grade? All right. Looks like the geese are going to be sacrificing goblins into the volcano salsa to add flavor. Uh, okay, that's good because I already have the goblins drawn. All right. So what would a what would the um. Hurricane Volcano. Oh, man, I'm kind of tired. Um, this one, maybe we try to do faster. Rater will be here. I'm so much better than Goob ever was, and I'm so happy Pringle rescued me. <laughs> Thanks, Rata Um, I'm trying to... Volcano... Crater. Okay, I don't know how to draw this. Unlike everything else, I don't know how to draw this. Uh, I duplicate you here. Yeah, it should just be like a giant volcano area, right? So, Pringle is such a badass chef child. Love this character. Great fucking content. This like a children's storybook. The spirit of Goob whispers to Egg, I know these geese. 
That one right there is named George Chats. My cousin, we can probably get them to help us. Hey, chat, did you know that Missouri is known for its random oversized objects? Hashtag you can draw duck a facts. Goose by drawing a duck with a long neck, but you make it a jerk. My favorite part of any children's book is the massive amount of cocaine and burning of women. <laughs> um. I can hear Goop Ghost. He's mad. Wait, what? Oh, I should be here. Yeah, Goob might still haunt us. Uh, I'm trying to layer this thing. This looks like a big pot of soup, not a volcano. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to, I don't know to get. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'll do like little cracks down the mountain. All right, that works. Oh yeah, I forgot it's salsa. What does salsa look like? Um, I guess I just need like red chunks in it. Hey Pringle, this looks like some great soup. Thoughts? I gotta say, I've, I've had a great time with this. This is very, very stupid. This is a fun stream. Um, okay. I'm excited to cook some of the spare meat I found in the soup. We need a goblin. Okay, fortunately I can copy goobs. We just need the ending to be really, really stupid. So that we still are in contention for worst stream of the year. It's like a Super Bowl dip. Okay, what we should do, I guess what I should do is have like a, like a, like a board that's going over the volcano, right? Like the geese have set up like a diving board. Hey bear, Oops, I dropped my watch in the soup. Do you want to hop in for me, level. please? Right, and then... Offer the rat as a trade for one of the goblins. We need a new supplier. <laughs> it's a good deal. Besides, the rat will add a better flavor to the salsa and start good relations with the goose cult. Ghost of Goob here, but Volcano looks like a cursed pizza with only tomatoes on it. Also, I wish to compel the geese to attack. <laughs> this can't be fucked up. Why does, does everybody your chairmancy being... give you some heat resistance? Oh, that's a good point. I don't know. I made you like a wooden chair. Uh, okay, now I just need to draw a geese, a geese and we're good. Uh, goose cartoon. I need to I need to pick one that looks like an asshole though. Okay, that looks kind of. Wh which of these looks the most like an asshole? For me to shittily copy. Try. Probably this one. Yeah, that looks like he's trying to fight. Oh no, there's goblins jumping off a diving board. A <laughs> I hope <laughs> they're swimming in a normal safely. normal DND stream now, so when I talk with her Discord, they can tell me how their session went and I can tell them about how I was busy watching a goblin kid do cocaine and drown in trees <laughs> in this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it should be a Canadian goose dog. This could be a goose. A Canadian goose, probably. Make Goob a ghost and he tries to kill Pringle. Those guys are the real assholes. Guys, I'm back after like three hours and I hear the name Goob. Why are we Canadians? talking about the kid from Meet the Robinsons? Panic. I've never well, heard the name Goob Goobiet, before this. Lord of the Goblins. Canadian geese are friends, if you stay 100 feet away from them. Jesus Christ, the goose is the size of the volcano! <laughs> I've gotta make him smaller. I 
I like giant geese trying to eat goblins. Wait, I did the eyeballs wrong. Oh, his eyes are from a horror game. It's getting worse, chat. Cheese, king of the geese, is the size of a dragon. <laughs> I mean, we can make him that big, I guess. Um, all right, I need to get this, color this, get that, color that. So many gibs, so little time. This is too scary. We might not make it gang. All right, this is closed up so I can color him in. Is it too late to go to the otters? <laughs> nope, you're at the volcano now. The geese see you. Hashtag justice for goop. Okay, guys. <laughs> this bird fucking sucks. I hate this guy. Canadian geese aren't white. I just searched goose. It's okay if the coloring is different. I'm glad you guys saved me, the rat, from the cheese, but please don't try to give me it's any It's terrifying. I'm a recovering Tim Hortons addict, and I've got to improve if I want to get my divorced wife back. Oh. Egg it scoop here. Tell that goose Baba Ziwa, and he'll know what it means. He will be your friend. I miss you. All right. Canadian geese look nothing like that. Wait, what are you talking about? I've been to Canada. Uh, Can a bird be goop stand? Geese. Oh. <laughs> I mean, look. This is what you get for killing I have another D&D character that's a Gooseman barbarian, so I feel right at home. <laughs> Perfect. Completely wrong kind of goose. Well, you know what? The goose looks at the party with a scornful look and says, They just all have good. the albino trait. Right. They're albino geese. <clears throat> the party, after traveling for days, approaches the gigantic volcano. And as they emerge at the top of the rim and look down into the crater... They're horrified or delighted to see a bunch of goblins. Although if they're albino, they need red eyes. Fair enough. They look into a giant cauldron, which is full of goblins, drowning in what appears to be a gigantic pool of salsa. No ah! Meanwhile, three more goblins are being pushed off the edge of like a diving board thing by three gigantic Canadian geese. And, um... And this geese... Goose. Um. Hey, 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 hey. Is maybe high also. Um. Immediately, the rat, Ratagooey, hey. jumps into your hat and says, oh, I'm scared. On Protect me, Pringle. I ask Gag to give him coke. <laughs> While the rat jumps in, he says, Hey, I can I have coke? Buddy. Uh, team, what do you want to do? I tell the goose Baba Ziwa. Um, okay. You go up to the edge of the crater and you scream out. Hold on. Is there like, um... Pringle, can you taste the salsa test, and test, see test, if test. they've been properly marinated? Uh... You go up to the edge of the crater, and then you bell out, bellow out with your loudest bear voice. Baba Ziwa! Ziwa, Ziwa, Ziwa. And your words echo and float across the crater to the geese. 
And unless you get a nat 20. Bear, you are so loud and scary. Surprise face. Nothing happens because that doesn't mean anything. But the geese go like honk, honk, honk at you in return. You hear fluttering over the crater. Do I have any items Thanks on me? I try. Um, unless you pick stuff up from the previous one. Um, no. Okay. Ignoring you, the geese continue to move forward, pushing another goblin geese off into the salsa. Are the goblins dying or just marinating? Um, I guess you could go. I guess you could ask them. I, we didn't really think about that. Chat, what, what's happening to them? I bet the geese want to honk the party. I mean, there are three of them and three of the party. Oh, that is true. Okay. Um. Ma oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, they, so according to Twitch chat, they're marinating to death. D. And you hear one of the goblins go like, ah, oh, this is, this is pretty good. Ah, but still screaming. D. Um, and then you hear one of the geese honk out, honk, honk. You guys want to stay for dinner? We're making goblin salsa. Fuck these guys! D. Goblin salsa sounds delicious, actually. Okay, Pringle's interested. Goose here. Goblins are so much better than chips. They don't get soggy. Yeah, and the geese yell. The flavor's immaculate! Flavor's incredible! You gotta try it! Do the it! geese appear to be in the sixth grade? Pour cocaine into the salsa. Let the goblins take it from there. <laughs> um, Doug yells out across the crater. And you hear your voice floating across. Hey, are these goblins in sixth grade? And it floats over to the geese. And the geese kind of like huddle together for a second. Oh, I drew it on the wrong goose. Oops. Uh, the geese like huddle together for a second, then they they shout back. Yeah, we grabbed them at the fifth grade graduation. Like just a just barely sixth grade. Wait, you said I do that. What are you doing, Doug? I left the stream for three hours and just came back. I can, can still I reach really into the mini cubes go game. Punch the this is not one. random enough. Okay. Well, it's up to chat. We just made it a little more random. Um, Egg the bear runs to the side and throws some cocaine out towards one of the goblins. Um, I will draw the cocaine. I should have, you know, added. Wait, why aren't you... Okay. He throws a bunch of cocaine out on the He's goblin, here. who starts sniffing why it. Why are you so obsessed sharing over the age bearing. of these goblins? Are you a goblin file? That would just mean they are very... They're Honestly, big fans of goblins. throw the goblins all in. I'll add some <laughs> random vegetation I found into the mix. Give back the coke. Okay. So, um... Doug begins rearing up an attack. Meanwhile... Pringle moves up to the side and tosses some fresh herbs and spices into the salsa. Uh, let me get a little cooking music in here. Where is this? I have a cooking song. It's from De Blob. It's very important. Okay, yeah. So Pringle goes up and tosses fresh herbs and spices. You know, let's get some green in here. I just want to get the goblin crisp, like they're cooking in a wok. Wait, are you trying to fire... Wait, hold on. Doug, are you fire punching one of the... The geese or the goblins? And you hear from across the crater. Uh, hey, is that rosemary? That looks delicious! Fire punching a goblin. Oh, you're punching the goblin. Okay, meanwhile, Doug runs over... 
Why? Why? <laughs> Meanwhile, Doc runs over. Says, mmm, delicious. We're Reaches in. Sixth in. grade after all. Grabs one of grabs a handful of the fiery hot salsa and then uses his signature technique. Beat up sixth graders to start punching this goblin who's near the side. He mistakenly had started swimming downwards, trying to get to the crater. So Doug just kind of uh just kind of um just punches him farther and farther and farther and farther and farther down in there until you can only see his little ears poking out of the top. This is looking delicious. This goblin's coming out nice and crispy. This one is doing cocaine, and there's some herbs and spices coming in over here. Goose again. The better be the good I stuff. Shout I forget back, I yeah. Punching yeah. sixth Rosary. graders. This is oh my God, workout. okay. Hashtag so Doug facts. Uh, okay, the geese are uh, asking if the cocaine is pure. Um, Pringle yells back, yeah, and it's rosemary. No oh, oops. They were my yeah, best it's, it's rosemary. Up, especially the high one. And a little bit of cheese, Dale. And you hear the geese kind of shout back across. Oh, wow, that sounds delicious. Oh, thank you. So glad we ran into you. And as they say that, uh, they start shoving the goblins forward again. Another one gets pushed out into the salsa. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Uh, what did you want to do? I forget I ever liked I goob. I in the crumbs of the cheese forest that were still stuck to the Bic lighter. <laughs> okay, uh, Doug goes and shakes his Bic lighter and just drops a little extra cheese. And the, the geese, the geese are like... Yummy. Oh, oh wow, is that from the, uh, the cheese forest? That looks delicious! You guys are fantastic cooks! I mean, you're kind of close. I don't know why I would be echoing at this point. Um, everybody is just having... Okay, uh, the... Uh, Egg, meanwhile... <laughs> does his classic move. Um... I have spent 500 years cooking. I'm glad to find other culinary experts. Does polio have a particular taste? Uh, and Egg the Bear turns into a motionless chair. Uh, Doug, meanwhile, asking about the flavor of polio. Good question. All right. Uh, and the geese, you hear them shout out, Just a few more minutes and the goblins will be ready. Then dinner's served! Uh, they seem very friendly and nice. Um, this one moves over here and is just, oh, is just starting to, like, lick its beak lips in anticipation for this goblin salsa. Use the chair to stir. <laughs> I have been informed of a time staff by chat. Can I grab that if it's I a thing? I asked the geese if they have chips or something to serve the salsa with. All right, Doug shouts out, you guys have chips, you guys have chips. Um... I've been informed of a time staff by Twitch. Now, this is supposed to be improv, so... Um, yeah, you do see back here, there is a, uh, I guess, like a staff? It's like a gnarled staff. Uh, so that's kind of uh, poking out back there, but you don't, um, you don't know exactly what it is. Um... I want to be a bear again and use polio. Okay, okay. all right. Um... Egg bear turns back into a bear and uses polio. In any D I will grab the staff and use it to help mix the goblins party. in the salsa. <laughs> oh, hey, that looks like a great thing to stir with. Okay, um, so, so Pringle sees the time staff. Pringle sees the time staff, shouts out, Oh, I'll get the stirring going! Um, uh, and the cooking music starts back up again. <laughs> And as you move over to the time staff, you realize- I tell the goops to play Marcio Polio, winner lives. <laughs> you realize that this is actually, as you stir it in, a pepper grinder. And as you stir the uh, delicious salsa with the pepper grinder, it adds just a little bit of that mm, spicy flavor. You know, let's actually get that on the board. Surprised face, free pepper. Oh, this is perfect. Pam. And the geese shout out. Oh, thanks for 
adding in a little bit of that pepper. This is really coming together. Um, real quick, down here, uh, we have used one of our special moves. This is a first. Um, Egg, could you describe what happens when you use... Oh, Marco Polio. Got it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Chad, help me out here. <laughs> what, um, what, what, what does that mean? <laughs> what, is it, what does this mean? Help me out. They have to play Mar- but what is Marco Polio? This is total improv D&D, we gotta make shit up. Is he- are you using the polio- are you using polio on the goblins or in the salsa? It locates people with polio. It means yes. that- Yes! <laughs> um, okay, let me turn the music back on. If the goblins have polio, they can't really swim anymore, so I think Marco Polio is just drawing. All right. Egg uses his power polio and says to the goblins, we're playing Marco Polio. Uh, first one to reply gets polio, I guess. Maker, thank you for the 12 months. Uh, this one's busy doing cocaine, but this one just fell in. He's like, oh my god, what's happening? Wait, what do you mean, Marco Polio? And Egg says, congratulations, you win! Uh, and cast polio onto the goblin, who is immediately paralyzed and falls over into the salsa. Uh, meanwhile, the geese um, say, dinner's almost ready, and push the final goblin into the salsa. Marcio polio was my favorite game as a child. Nice one egg. <laughs> and you watch as the remaining goblins uh, a slip deliciously into the salsa. Thanks, D. Uh, any other actions before you and the geese help yourself to a delicious goblin dinner? <laughs> these were the one guys in the whole campaign Just that like I- mom used to make back in Missouri. These, these were supposed to be evil. I made them look aggressive and you just teamed up with them to cook a bunch of goblins. Who at no point have been described as evil. <laughs> um, all right, and you watch. Oh man, as the um. Listen, geese are friends, not food. As the remaining goblins uh, slide deliciously and crisply into the salsa. The, the geese fly over and say, It's been so long since we've had friends over. Yum. For our famous mm. goblin salsa. Let's Yum. dig in. Goblins, however, are food. Um, chat, what happens now? Do they do, they do anything? I guess I'll make a plate for you. After dinner, I ask if the geese can give Thank us a ride to our next location. My legs are pretty tired. Wait, hold on. That's nom, a good nom, point. Nom, eat, eat, eat. Hold on. This is like Lord of the Rings when, you know, everybody was like, why didn't the eagles just fly them to the end? So you want to just ask the eagles to, like, fly we you? We have a very good point. Okay, everybody's been nomming into the plate. And then Doug turns to the geese and says, Want to go ahead? Geese can't fly. That I mean, I wouldn't want to go the whole way. They're going to be full of salsa. <laughs> <laughs> but this has been going on for a while. We can skip we can skip the spelling bee. Or do you just want to you just want to be dropped off at the spelling bee? They've already done so much for us. Okay, so you don't want to be a burden. They're still horrifying. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, wait. What specifically are you asking them? Uh, are asking them to do? Let me. Uh, what else? What other cooking music do I have? Uh, There's no cooking. getting out of this early dog. <laughs> 
I literally am ba I'm like trying to railroad you guys to speed up the campaign, and you're explicitly not using the hook just I just gave you. Spelling B. You're oh stuck God. in this with us, Doug. <laughs> I literally. That was probably not that subtle that I was trying to be like, hey, let's kind of let's just skip the <laughs> whatever. All right, you guys ask the geese to fly you to the next location. Have them and take like, us to the otters. I want to spell. <laughs> And they say, oh, yeah, of course. We can fly you to the location you could have walked deal with to. I all the time as a DM. Now it's my turn. <laughs> okay, all right. You guys enjoy a delicious plate of salsa together. Uh, it's even got that little bit of that cocaine flavor in it. And then you head out together. Let me group all you up. Uh, flying over to the spelling bee. Uh, congratulations, party. You have defeated the- Can I bring the... the pepper with us for the spelling bee? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Congratulations, you have defeated the volcano geese nest. And you, uh- How you... is the salsa Pringle? And you are flown directly into the schoolhouse spelling bee contest. I just realized we've already established that all the kids in- All the school children in this, uh, Canada are goblins, so there's gonna be more goblins. <laughs> I'm sure you won't set them on fire, though. The salsa was spectacular. Some uh -huh. of the best I've had because I helped make it, of course. Yeah, it was pretty good. Ass salsa. Uh, players, thank you so much for joining. Fantastic. Oh shit! We're going Fantasy to win Quebec. This instantly, all the kids are dead already. I assume. <laughs> I don't know. Um, thank you, the Altrian One M Four W Fifty M Three, and Twitch plays tabletop RPGs. Um, I will we reset can it. cook these other kids to win. I will... <laughs> uh, I will, uh, I will set up in just a sec. Don't Good do player one, player game. two, oh, and player seven. three quite yet. Um, as a reminder, player one is if you want to play as Pringle, the frying pan chef who's hot, spicy French, very critical of food and salty, and has moves such as let him cook, pansexual seduction, and scrambled, where you swap places with somebody. Player two, if you do that... You are entered into be picking into being picked as Egg, the bear who can do cocaine, shape shift into a chair, and polio. And he's confused. He's a druid. He likes honey. He hates eggs. He's scared of forest fires. He uses small words because big words are scary. He's wise and stupid. And player three is Doug, who Love has a big lighter. Chat and Doug, you stinky. Oh. Less than three. Oh, less than three. Grows weed. Beats up sixth graders. Um, is a guy from Missouri. He's an arsonist. He has a midlife crisis. With that being said, now go ahead, do player one, player two, player three, and then I will rotate the players. Yeah. Missouri borders eight states, hashtag Doug Facts. Huh, I didn't know that. Unfortunately, we're going to lose the Doug Facts because I'm resetting you right now. All right, our new Pringle is Power.Plant. Our new Egg Bear is Kermes, and our new Doug is Vermilion 2000. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, are y'all here? You. I won. Sweet. Oh, we got him. Yippee. Power dot plant. VIP uh, Kermes. VIP million two thousand. All right, cool. It, by the way, the code. The, what my code does is just checks to see if you're a drug addict. So, um, if you weren't qualified, that's why. You Mama get Mia. Coop is rolling in his cheesy grave. You still have the rat in your hat, right? He was just inside your hat the whole time. What's going on, lol? We're about to figure Definitely it out. Definitely love weed. There we go. Perfect. Vermillion. Classic D and D. The party of good guys who constantly make very morally questionable decisions in the quest of being good. <laughs> Didn't VIP the first one. It's... Number one weed fan. Doug, since they used go. polio on one of the goblins, should it have affected the salsa or should they be sick from it? Uh, if you roll a nat one, you're going to realize you're sick from polio. Okay, hey, Doug. Those geese definitely have polio now since the bear decided to fill one of the goblins with polio. I think it depends how much they ate. But that's that's the role. Maybe um maybe as the geese are flying you across, they suddenly collapse into the ground because they have polio. 
Um, well, that's what we're about to find out. Let me use the uh, bathroom real quick. Be right back. I'm gonna guess Twitch chat will want it full of sixth graders, but can we make that the final <laughs> plot of the castle invasion be that the goblin Holy students pill. are protesting the gross mistreatment of goblins under the current regime, and the party gets to be the people to destroy the civil rights movement? <laughs> Why are we so evil this time? Hey, Doug, it's me, Cynthia oh. Williams, CEO of Wizards of the Coast. What great We've are they in so I can beat them up for looking at my weed. internet viewers, and we want to hire you to personally compose the sequel to Curse of Strahd. Please reach out via our fax line. I'm so bad at spelling, I can't wait to lose to sixth graders. Chair Huzzah. Hey Chair, want some weed? We can all do weed with the chair. Drunk weed chair. It's a bonding exercise. Can I get some weed? Weed flavored chair. Sure thing, bear. <laughs> um, something so, so um, I might have some in my hat. When I thought of the idea of total improv D&D, &D, which of me just drawing really shitty things and then we just make everything up, uh, which again, concept inspired by Noah, uh, Magic the Noah, which is a really fun YouTube channel hey, I Doug, recently. if I roll a nat 20, can I be a part if of the finale? If that rat didn't eat it all. Sure, Arishel, you get one chance. Go. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, now you're banned. Rip chair! Um, if we do this again, where we just do... Uh, we just do a stream where we're just randomly making up shit for Dungeons and Dragons. I think I want to add a third, either one of the th one of the characters or the add a fourth character who is played by ChatGBT, but is like a really noble knight who wants to like save the you know save the kingdom from the forces of evil or whatever, and that is just like pissed off at you guys all the time if you do anything bad. I think it'd be really fun to have like Sir Gallant, and he's just like really really haughty. And very full of himself and very like that just would be so silly. Wants to be extremely noble. <laughs> I think that'd, that'd be good. Um, anyway, I'm having a good time. As much as I was literally giving you the biggest out to skip the spelling bee. <laughs> okay. I will now attempt to make the spelling bee fast somehow. Make the rest of chat the final boss. That's a good idea. How do we do that? I don't know what that means, but I like the concept of that. Okay, I have a rough idea of how to do that. Do sixth graders catch polio easily? <laughs> <laughs> don't ask that question in any context ever. All right, come here, goob. What grade is move three for again? They're too busy getting smallpox or something. Uh, no, I don't want to be a sixth grader again. Too many bad memories. Wait, is it okay if I reuse the interior of scene one? <laughs> Never mind, this doesn't look very good. <laughs> I'll reuse the t I thought I remembered this looking better. <laughs> No. Fucking, fucking awful. 
<laughs> this looks yes, so... Yes, it is, but are the cute butterfly. This looks so bad. Okay, whatever. Um... I'll get one of these non-cocaine goblins. Hey, Doug, heard that you're a fellow Sacktown criminal. Also, yes, chat, we refer to it as Sacktown. I mean, I guess we do sometimes. I've seen the documentaries. Kids yeah, are pretty Sacramento. weak against polio, but they do get their own individual Iron Man suit, which is bog. Okay, so it's a classroom full of goblin kids. Um, Can I smuggle in some alphabet soup to help me spell? <laughs> sure, we'll say you have some alphabet soup. All right, what is going on in the, this is a spelling bee. I guess I just, I jumped the gun here and just started putting things in. My assumption is that there are uh, school children. What is going on in the spelling bee? Iron Golem, thank you, man. We behind the teacher's desk. Okay, we can do that. They are spelling. It's just a spelling bee. Okay. I mean, we can do that. Um, it's a cult that has a spelling bee for new members. Okay. I like the vibe of that. I'm just making it unnecessarily intense. Okay. What's going on? Literally just a spelling bee. Spelling bee as a test to join the cult. A giant bee is <laughs> making the teacher this. is a bee. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Um, evil spelling bee. D. Better burn it to death just to be safe. <laughs> I didn't write giant evil bee. I just wrote B. Um. Hey Doug, Parkser said on his stream that Rose is quote just a not a unquote, and that he doesn't actually care that much about her. When can he expect the eviction notice? He's probably just farming drama. Every night, I see him praying to a shrine of Rosa. Um, alright, sorry, I wasn't reading. Um, goblins are spelling the word B for no reason. Yeah, it's, it's got to be medieval in some way. Um, Spelling is the only way to assert dominance, so we have to spell better than them. The goblins are on fire. <laughs> sure, also the goblins are on fire. If you vote for that, we can add it to whatever else. Okay, this feels like we have the main core of this here. People are very excited about the bee thing. Uh, bees are casting spells on the goblin. Three. 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 Okay. Five. So... I don't think that the goblins being on fire got enough votes to justify them being on fire. So, the result is that a giant bee is making them spell. Is the bee, like, good? Is it just the teacher? Or is it, like, a... Is this, like, a nefarious thing? Yippee. Do we have any sense? I guess we'll find out as we get into it. Evil bee! Um... Evil! So scary. Okay, I'm gonna make it really fucking terrifying then. I'm gonna do my best. 
to make a super scary bee. B has devil horns. Spelling wasp. New too scary sensor at all. <laughs> oh, I added the table in there accidentally. Oh no, it's cute. Chat, I present to you. Oh, never mind, it's not scary. The evil spelling bee. Burn it. Can I grow weed for the bees so it's high? <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Um... Okay. Spooky. Is there like a, how do I draw like a desk? Yeah, there, there needs to be, oh yeah, okay. Here's what, well, well, I'll make it really, really, really scary. I think I speak for everyone when I say, ah. Wow, so dapper. Ah! Be here. I will have Spell nightmares about this wasp if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, wait. We'll, we'll have Twitch chat a ask the spelling questions, okay? Just hold off on, Remember, on TTS. kids, if you win the spelling contest, you get to take a field trip to Salsa Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I gotta draw like a desk. Or maybe it's just like this. Um... Okay. I'm shaking in my panhandle boot. And then I'll just like draw some very light walls. This is like beautiful floor. No, no, no. Okay. And then we'll have the goblins. You guys need to be a bit bigger. You need to be at least goblin size. You've got to be bigger than goob. Okay. <clears throat> and we have our scene.
Um. I'm way bigger and cooler than those dumb goblins. How does this start? Chad, give me some ideas. I will beat them up if they win. Break down the door. Is the, is the, okay, sure, you guys, okay, so you guys are gonna come in from, uh, it was a pleasant day at the Fantasy Canada Spelling Bee. Just as the bee and the children are about to start, boom! The party burst into the front door! Rah! Screaming! I do cocaine! I do cocaine! Rah! Can the professor be have a buzzing voice that squeaky? Uh, let me see what I can do. I smell weed in here. Test, test, test. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Um. <clears throat> and the evil bee turns to you and says, oh, Just in time for the spelling bee! Come on, have a seat! Join us! What do you do? I smell weed in here. <laughs> players? I think they're players are too terrified. Challenge accepted. Okay. Doug I walks up. Chair. <laughs> also, we're weed. Okay. <laughs> Doug walks up and says, Yeah, all right, I accept. And conveniently, Egg turns into a chair for him. Cool. And Doug sits Goose on top of Egg. Comes back to the spelling being probably for revenge. And the bee says, Okay, great! Happy to hey, have you here! Oh, no. D D D don't touch me in my goob hole. Oh fuck, I'm gonna goob. Oh oh dish. Say things like this. Oh oh ow 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 the first word of the spelling bee is... Go, chat, take it from here. And then players be ready to do the spelling bee. Genocide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class, go ahead. Uh, this goblin yells out. Don't make the words too big egg will get H. scared. Uh, this goblin yells out. Uh, G. And the bee says, oh, very good. This Genie goblin says. Slide. And it's an E. And the, oh, wait, oh, the wrong voice. It's an E. And the queen bee says, oh, very good. Um, and then, uh, egg the chair shouts out. H <clears throat> N As you shout out H and N You see the bee's eyes Turn a different color B And you, pseudo hypoparathyroidism. And you see the bee. Oh no, she's high. Turn its eyes towards you. Oh no, he's high. And say, That's not how you spell genocide. And the bee swings in for a sting, flying at Doug at full force. 
12 or above and she hits. Aw, shucks. Five. Dog manages to dodge out of the way by sitting stationary on the chair and the bee shoots past, but starts buzzing around in the sky, coming back for seconds. What do you do? Yeah, the roll's actually so bad that she misses and stabs this <laughs> and uh, impales this goblin with her I stinger. I jump off the chair. Doug jumps off the chair. Egg is still just a chair. This goblin is impaled by the bee accidentally. And falls in a pool of blood. The bee is flying around for another attack. Change back into a bear. Okay, Egg changes back to a bear. Poof! He's back! Why are the irises not red? Why is it the other part of the ID? I don't... I don't know, says the bee. I'm not very good at her. Bear shield. Okay, Doug, bravely. Uh -huh. Jumps behind the bear as a shield. So scary. Pringles is scared too. Jumps behind Egg the bear. I offer cocaine to the bee. <laughs> and the bear says, <coughs> Would you like cocaine? And the bee looks down at you menacingly. Bear, please don't fart. <laughs> and the bear and the bee says, "Only if you can spell cocaine, right?" Stinky. Now. And she looks at you expectantly. See. Yes, that's correct. Um, see. Yes, that's the first letter. Oh. Yes, that's correct. Uh. Yes. C. Y yes. Yes. C O C. Yes. C. Correct. What's next? I look at my pan full of alphabetical soup. A. Yes, A. That is correct. C O C A. Where? I. That's correct. C O C A I. She moves in. In. And yes, C that's is correct. in there somewhere. One e. more letter. E. That was correct. E. I'm so happy to say that you e. guys win the spelling bee. And all the goblins start clapping and cheering. Yeah. You're the smartest students I've ever had! Um... The bear whispers. The goblins start coming over and patting you guys on the back and congratulating you. Wow, we've never had to spell that before! Do we get a medal? You get one of these random prizes. Chat, what are the four random prizes? Don't touch my weedy little peas. The goblins. <laughs> okay. Egg cast polio on the goblins. Um, 11 or above and it works. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, from their perspective, um, you just kind of like growled at them. But this guy was like, does anybody feel a little sniffly? Um, <clears throat> okay. What, what, uh, I want to get a wall mounted pencil sharpener from the wall. Okay. That's, that feels different to me than the prize. So, okay. What is the prize? What are potential prizes for I the spelling? I beat up the goblins. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Let me, let me, the bee's going to give you your prize first. Honey. Okay, honey, that's good for a spelling bee. Um, a gum. Okay, okay. her hat. Um. A lot, some people are saying the dead goblins. I don't know why that would be the prize. How about just all of the children? Hey, yo. I do need to fix her eyes. <laughs> She's fucked up. I I don't like this bee. Um, ten tons of cocaine. I have honey, her hat, all of the Better goblin buy a children. Better for my weeds. Um, I just need one more. Her stinger. Venom from her stinger. Um, the nuclear launch codes. Okay. A um, car from uh, the parking lot. Okay, I have the four. We'll roll for it. Depending on what you roll, you get a random treasure. Okay. A horse. Um, the bee says, okay, this is a thank you and congratulations for winning the spelling bee. You win. Um. Do these goblins have parents? Lighter. Uh, no, it should be orange, right? What color is honey? And she says, You win, honey. And passes over a gigantic bowl of honey. They will talk about us during the parent-teacher conference. And the goblins honey all say, time. Oh, that was going to be our dinner. Yay. This one says, We were finally going to eat this month. <laughs> I hear honey goes great with cocaine. Okay. Um... The, the goblins kind of look at you, Egg, and they're like, Hey, can, can we have some of that, Mr. Bear? No! <laughs> and they all look sad and go, Oh, and go back to their desk. <laughs> no. Okay, um, you guys have uh, Starve. Uh, completed my spelling bee riddle. Any final actions? In the classroom before you head out. I can cook some honey creme brulee, but cocaine instead of sugar. Do you want to do that now? Great idea. Oh, sorry. The alerts have been paused. For a prize, can we resurrect? Throw cheers at them. Does it make sense? I'd love to. That's unrealistic. Okay, uh, Pringle starts making a little bit of uh, honey creme brulee while mixing in cocaine, which is very delicious. Not sure if anyone has said this yet, but this has been a great stream. Good job, Chat and Doug. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun. Uh, meanwhile, Doug goes Yummy. and picks up a table, uh, holds it above his head, and then throws it at the goblins who run away screaming, Ah! And the spelling bee says, Well, you know, that's your right. You did win the spelling bee. All right, your creme brulee is all finished up. Anything else you want to do?
Greetings Mr. Douglas. I'm a lawyer for the Nintendo company. Your B character looks too similar to our intellectual property, B drill. <laughs> Cease now, nope, I'm or we good. will point crow you. <laughs> oh, it does it. No! The only thing Eat the cocaine in my gambling addiction is my newfound cocaine addiction. Dude! We can go now. Not at all! <laughs> I won't get point crowed over this. Looks exactly like him. Okay. And Doug takes a little little snackaroo out of the cocaine creme brulee, and the party heads off to their next destination. I will... Uh, this is scene four... Yo. Uh, the party moves on. I guess I will put the honey in the overworld. Huzzah! Imagine you're in class and a group of strangers break the door down, right. does oh, copious go. amounts of cocaine while screaming, fights the teacher, <laughs> steals your lunch, throws a table at you, then runs out shouting something about nukes and the king. <laughs> and that is a perfect segue into the final leg of the journey. <clears throat> As the party emerges, victorious in the spelling bee, they travel the final way down the path towards the castle so they can help the king who's doing his nukes or something. <clears throat> it was an honor being Doug. Let us recruit some new players for the final battle. Thank you so much, Powered Up, Plant, Kermes, and Vermilion. Reverend Goob, five score stream. years ago, a great Canadian, in whose symbolic shadow we stand today, signed Reverend the Emancipation Goob. Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of goblins who had been seared in the flames south of Volcano. Pog stream. Hey Doug, I'm New new cocaine. professor. Sorry I was late to class, I was getting a quick divorce on the way in today. She couldn't handle my crippling fear of DND. So what did I miss today? Um... Podgies. I will sort of rig it. If there's any mods who would like to join, I do want to give mods the, the chance. But otherwise, it will be player one, player two, player three. Okay, let me copy in the... Players? Three. Other, otherwise, it is just totally random. Wait, where's the... Oh, there's the honey. Okay, duplicate this to Untitled 1. Where are you guys over here? Get over here. We didn't decide... Uh, we... Alright, Fubari, and I'll throw you in. Um, do you have a preference on who you want to be, Fubari? We'll do one mod, two random players. We didn't actually decide what is going to happen in, like, what is going on in the castle at all. Oh, wait, nukes. Yeah, yeah, there's... Okay. So we need a few more goblins. Um... Oh, wrong one. Four. You want to be a cocaine bear. All right. Cool. All right. Exclamation mark player one. We'll get you to player one. Three, two, one. Boom. Mr. Azik MJ. And player three, Doug, is bam. Diamond one emperor. Are y'all here? I am Pringle. Cool. Mr. Azik MJ. Let's go. Let's go. All right, cool. We got our, our squad. All right, you guys should be VIPs. I need a goblin. Come here, goblin. By the way, it's pronounced Morazic. Morazic. Okay, I will probably forget, but I will do my best to not forget. I cocaine addict. Wait. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 
We know just a little bit. We know that there's a castle and there's a king and that there's sixth graders trying to set off nukes. <laughs> Is there anything else that we want to add into this picture or do I just start drawing? Okay. I'm happy to just go off of that. Before we start, can I cast pansexual romance on my rat friend? Very normal. If you don't want it to be part of the core story, then yes, you can do that right now. Um, I mean, you, you still have the time staff. I don't have it like visual visualized, nice. but if you want to use it, let me know. Same with the big lighter, right? Um, and a knife. Well, you don't have a knife. Oh, yeah, it could be part of the mob. Okay, yeah, do we want any more complexity? The king is tied to the nuke. That's good. That's good. Okay, king is tied to the nuke. The sixth graders want equal rights for goblins. <laughs> um... Are the goblins part of the mafia or related to the mafia in any way? Because the rat mafia Do leader's nukes need dead. Drugs? We must free the nuke. Understood. You know, I'm not a scientist. Um. Oh yeah, we need to have chat somehow. Um. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta write this down. We have King strapped to the nuke. Uh, goblin sixth graders who are doing blank. They're like setting off the nuke. But we don't know why. Um, there's one. There's another one. Oh, how is Twitch chat a char a character? I guess you guys could just we just have text to speech be what the king says. That's probably the easiest. I was gonna fizz, I was gonna put Twitch chat into the scene somewhere, but not only would that probably not look very good. I mean, I guess that's in character or in theme, but I don't know how that makes sense. Oh, well, you can't even see it on the white, really. They could be doing it to get better grades. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You are the king to get good grades. Okay. <laughs> um. Are the rats involved? They want extra credit. Um. Twitch chat is the mob. No, it's got to be the goblins, though. Pog, I've always wanted to maul some sixth graders. I think that's good. Is the and mafia the king involved at all? Is the prince pal. I would have said yes, but you guys killed the rat king. We need Goob. Goob is dead. I don't think we should have resurrection. There needs to be consequence to our actions. The only you know what I mean? goblins alive in Fantasy Canada are children because their parents are imprisoned under the <laughs> castle. Why are we so fucked the goblins? <laughs> um, uh, and they want revenge against Goob. A ghost Goob. Okay, sure. We'll have a ghost Goob. Alright, that works. Make Goob 1.5. Um, okay, I need to draw a cartoon nuke. Okay, less dramatic music while we build up uh, orchestra. Boom. Okay, yeah, that's good. I see it. I see the line. Doug, what do you mean the king is strapped with the nuke? Or is he just strapping and handsome? Both.
Okay. That's our nuke. No, the nuke is strapped to him. I'm gonna do a little shading. Tell me if this is too fancy. <laughs> too fancy. I like it. It looks good. Can I leave it? I don't want it to. It's too good. <laughs> Fine. We won't have shading. <laughs> I was really proud of that. I'm bad at art. Hi, guys. It's me, the king. I'm so hot, but also, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, I will AAA get him off this rocket. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Nuke. Then I need a cartoon king to strap to him. Can we steal the nuke after saving the king? You can do whatever you want. Um. I want to bring some uranium home to cook with. The king should be Gerald Ford. We can call him King Gerald. You guys can decide what the name is. This guy's so big. Oh, oops. I put it on the rocket. Just wanted to say that I genuinely really like your art style. It's not technically very good, but it's got personality. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that compliment. Turn the nuke into cocaine. I've always, I'm so incredibly bad at art, at drawing. I don't have any interest in being good. It's just never, it's just never appealed to me in any way. Uh, Is nuke fire maker? Big fire scary. Oh, yeah, it kind of is. I'm going kind of hard on this king. I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe it's too fancy. But he is the king. Did we elect this guy? That's a good question. All right, now I gotta color him. Um, sure, you're yellow. What else is yellow? Uh, make this red. Uh, make this white. Fill that in. No, why would it like him off all people? Look at those dots. A little too fancy, but come on. Those That's dots look what good. I'm saying. Uh, boom, boom. And then we have like... Is that Santa? <laughs> it's not Santa. He, I mean, he looks a little. He's not Santa. Just because I'm working hard on the art for this one guy. To go with the cute drawing, we should name him King War Crimes Murder Killer Genocide. King Just against something fire? completely unfitting. We must save Christmas. Uh, it's really black. Sorry, that was a lot. I didn't catch that. No, that's Danta. Okay. That's a good looking king. That dude is strapped and strapping. Let's be real. Wait, what? Oh, I need to like draw his I need to highlight his beard. Um okay, something like that. And then white, boom. Boom. Okay. What?
Give him shoes. The king, does the king really need shoes? Okay, and then I'll draw, like, rope around him, which will just be brown shit. Yes. Can I, if I just color it differently, then it's shoes. Oh. It's so awkwardly silent. No, it sucks. I mean, what color is his feet then? Um, or to the shoes like this? That works. Now he looks more like Santa. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the rope. Doug, help the king is a floating head with arms and legs. Help, hey, 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 this ISNT strapping. This is a nightmare. He looks great. Okay, we've got our king on a nuke. I knew it was Santa. <laughs> All right. I think he's very handsome, Dub. Good job. Thank you. I think he's strapping. Um, I feel like I need like a castle background. We got it. This is the finale of our shitty improv D and D session. We gotta kind of go hard. Okay, so it would just be like. Can the king have a jester and that can be chat? Wait, who leading the goblins? That's true. They do need like a leader of some kind. Goob. But Goob is dead. A seventh grader. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, all right, wait, so now we, we have our leader. Goob as a ghost took over leading the goblins as revenge for being killed. Okay, this was Goob. What? Make him slightly taller than the sixth graders. What's a classic difference between being a 7th grader and a 6th grader? How do we distinguish him? Chest hair. Long hair. Chest. Height. But like only a little bit, right? Okay, I'll stretch him a tiny bit. And um... And he has some chest hair. Yeah, and some acne, yeah. <laughs> A slight mustache. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a truly threatening final boss. <laughs> Hold on, where's Ghost Goob? Body odor! Yeah, and he kind of smells a little bit. It's a good call. He's like barely bigger than anybody else. Like you wouldn't notice that he's different <laughs> at all. <laughs> he has braces. He doesn't even have teeth. Apparently, the goblins don't have teeth. Okay. His weapon will be axe. Anything else he we want to drinks energy drinks. 
yeah, no, we'll we'll throw all that in as we get going. I mean, we don't. Who knows if there'll even be combat? Um, is there anything else we should add into this scene before we get going? Uh, Ghost Goob. Wait, what did I do with him? What would Ghost Goob be doing? Treasure. Yeah, we could do treasure. Wouldn't Santa have knights? I'm going to say they've already been defeated. Wow. Ghost Goob whispering into the seventh grader's ear to Ekimon. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like that. I'm guessing that the body odor is at fault. It's a mimic. Don't be fooled. Treasure chest back here. <laughs> popcorn chest. Now it, it's full of. Well, it could be popcorn. <laughs> Make one of the goblins caffeinated. Popcorn pog. <clears throat> Let's, uh. What's the. That's the right song. <clears throat> As the adventures. Barge in through the open castle walls. They're met with a horrifying scene. Popcorn. Like a dozen sixth grade goblins standing around. The very king of fantasy Canada strapped to a nuke. A, a hawk. And the king screams out. Oh, adventures, please! You're here to save me! Rescue me from this nuke! Don't let them destroy Fantasy Canada! Meanwhile, one goblin looks about 5% taller than the rest, and his voice crackles just a little bit, and he says, No! Us goblins want good grades! We're tired of being, you know, My favorite plot twist of all time. In spelling bees! Do you know how many of us have been killed when we didn't spell methamphetamine correct? Um, and the king, he looks desperate. He says, why, why, why do this to Fantasy Canada? You've always loved us and being put into salsa. And that's when you notice that there's a shadowy figure next to the seventh grader. You can just barely make out the outline of a ghostly figure. The iconic goob whispering into the seventh grader's ears. Convincing him to do acts of horrific evil. Oh, fuck, not this guy again. <sighs> Adventurers, what do you do? Uh, Twitch chat, if you donate messages, that will be the king's messages from now on. While you're deciding what to do, you hear out. You hear the seventh like graders scream out. Run. I entice Goob with a pinch of cocaine to switch sides. <laughs> you hear the seventh grader yell out. Um, we'll do it. We'll launch the nuke. But before he can finish the sentence, uh, oh, the king, the king says, "Oh, I poo myself." Before he can finish the sentence, Doug starts running forward, holding his bic lighter, which I need to make again. The milkman, thank you. Join the goblins for better crates. Doug, no.
He starts sprinting at the nuke with his big lighter out. And the seventh grader says, holy fuck, no, 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 hold on. Dude, this, is, fire. this is a bluff. We weren't actually going to set it off. And he tries to stop you, but you're running at full speed. Uh, he needs to roll a 14 or above to stop you. Uh, I prepare my time if stop. Save me, I'll immortalize all you as emotes on the channel. Also, infinite cocaine. The king shouts out, infinite cocaine, if you save me! And then realizes in horror that the seventh grade goblin was not able to stop Let's him. Let's go. And watch as Doug runs past the goblins and sets the big lighter right at the base of the nuke. Doug, your big lighter is low on fuel at this point. I aim my time staff at Doug and fire. Okay, as Doug is leaning forward, Pringles runs forward with the time staff. Which I need to get from the other scene. You know what, I'll just redraw it. Pringles, in an attempt to stop this madness, reaches out with the time staff. And some delicious pepper comes out onto the bottom. Very nice. It just kind of seasons the floor a little bit. Meanwhile, Doug leans forward with the big lighter. It's well seasoned, yeah. 14 or above, we'll launch the nuke. Sneezes. <laughs> One sec, let me get the CGI ready. <laughs> Get your bogs ready. <laughs> Egg do something. Let's go. And as Doug run forward, he leans down with the Bic lighter. You hear the... <laughs> the flame ignites. And suddenly, boom! A massive explosion erupts from underneath the rocket. And you hear the king yell out. Wait a second. Is that guy from Missouri? <laughs> I'm fucked. As the rocket engines begin, and you see the king... <laughs> Shoot off into the atmosphere! <laughs> Any words as this is happening? I hereby decree that all Bic lighters are now illegal. The king shouts out, No more Bic lighters! Hold on, we need to get the CGI I ready. Attempt to rewind time on the nuke. Okay. Everyone dog pile the duck. Pringles attempts to grab the time staff and rewind the time. And that just sprays more delicious pepper under the ground. Hashtag not my dog. If only my wife hadn't left me. Goblin children always loved her. Wait, hold on. New, I need, I need, I need a big lighter. I need the CG. I need to get the CGI ready. With my dying breath, I her scoop. <laughs> okay, shut up. Goop. Okay, I'll I'll add that in. I just need to get the CGI ready. Um. Uh. Right, you need to get duplicated in. And the goblins all need to get duplicated in. And goob. You need to get duplicated to the overworld. I have Hold two on. words to say to the king.
Bye bye. Just get your pog. All right, just get your pogs ready. The graphics are almost ready. Okay. <clears throat> Pause, champ. Pause. Double pod. Back in the overworld, everybody runs screaming. Pog. Out of the castle courtyard, all the goblins are running for their lives. The seventh grader yells, We just wanted good grades! And you look up into the sky. Certainly the nuke won't land. Certainly the nuke malfunctioned. You wait for just a moment until you see. The king on his rocket slowly shooting down towards Earth. Goob looks at you, Egg. I want to run back to the sports. castle. <laughs> I cast scramble on the king. <laughs> wait, why? <laughs> Doug runs back into the castle hoping it'll help him. Goob looks at you, Egg, and he says, Can I have a little cocaine before we I die? Will save him. Meanwhile, Pringle casts Scramble, and for some reason. Hey, Reese, a bump, bro. Uh, swaps himself with the king, who finds himself Jumping on the, the ground next to his subjects. Pringle now strapped to the nuke is watching it careen towards the earth. Does anybody do anything else? Uh, Go give the king some cocaine to run faster as well. Okay, okay. All right, Egg, <laughs> Egg goes and gives, um, I you know. I use my pansexuality on the nuke. A bunch of uh, cocaine to Goob and the king. Um, the nuke is careening towards earth. In fact, throw it in the volcano. The nuke is creening towards Earth. Pringle the frying pan looks at the nuke and attempts to seduce it. Pringle, what do you say? What message could possibly convince the nuke not to go into the ground? The goblins are all screaming in the background. Ah! The king and goob and egg are just doing cocaine. Doug's hiding in the castle. He's probably going for the popcorn. I love you nuclear energy weaponized into an explosive device. I've always loved you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now this is a nuke and not a living creature. But just maybe you can pull it off. I'll give you some advantage. 13 or above. And it just gets through to him. got this <clears throat> unfortunately the cold calculating eyes of the nuke do not look back at you because it is an inanimate object and as goob and the king and egg nuke, please do one last line <laughs> we are we'll so probably poor. not but oh never mind uh the nuke crashes into the cheese woods. <laughs> Where, by the way, Goob is uh, still laying. And explodes in a massive fire! Boom! Oh, okay. Wait, hold <laughs> on before that happens. Right before connecting. <laughs> Pringle uses Scramble one more time. Swaps out. And the seventh grader... Uh, swaps places onto the nuke and screams, wait, what the fuck? As the rocket goes down and boom, explodes over everything. Fantasy Canada is Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're incredible. Good job, Doug. You're amazing. Like, wow. That was so What an amazing game. He's the best. Person. He's the best gamer. Wow. Oh, my God. We did it. Whoa. And as the fire and the flames slowly fade away, um, you realize that, <clears throat> sadly, the 
frying pan and the goblins and the king and the bear Jesus have all the wheel. perished in the nuclear explosion. But <laughs> can we agree? I was the hero unlimited here. ghost cocaine. <laughs> but <clears throat> turns out Doug made it out alive. Doug was safe in the castle. It's new proof. Let's go, Doug! Doug's the hero of fake Canada. And that means that with everybody else dead, Doug is the new king of fantasy Canada and gets to enjoy all the popcorn to himself. Let's go, Doug! I will aid you, Doug. With all Let's my go, victory! Y'all are dead like go. The end of this bag. <laughs> Looks like the bear and the spatula might haunt Doug as he enjoys being king of Fantasy Canada. Don't want any but he doesn't give a shit. But a welcome turn of events nonetheless. Can we Good all job, agree Doug. that Doug deserved to win Improv D&D? Start a growing operation. I get yeah. all the cocaine for myself. <laughs> but it was not the time stuff. But the I'll time cookie stuff. Go ah, that's pretty good. Um, and literally nobody except Doug lived happily ever after. Oh, seven Pringle, you will be missed. Pringle honorably sacrificing themselves so that the seventh grader would um die. <laughs> I curse you. No, I'm gonna set all of Canada cocaine. on fire. Oh, okay. Um, Tech now goes hold on. From As anyone would. To very much radioactive. Let me get the CGI ready. <laughs> Um, and thus, um, the only surviving person, uh, Doug, uh, made his way to the center of Fantasy Canada. I get a warm climate like Florida. And set the entire thing on fire. Oh, seven. <clears throat> Boom! The end. Well, <laughs> this, is the, this isn't the worst stream of the year, but this is one of the stupidest things I've ever Fantasy streamed. Canada. I love how Goob was just a background character that Doug used as a I'm the only person that gets to win. To main villain. I've played worse D&D. <laughs> I had a great time, actually. Uh... Do you get to the Doug. district very often? Hello, oh, what Parker. Am I of course you don't. Oh, it's seven. Jeez. Greatest finale. It's I probably should have. This plot twist no ever. More goblin salsa. No, actually, good news. <clears throat> Before Doug sets all of Fantasy Canada on fire, he does make one last trip up to the volcano. And it turns out... I was going to comment about the goblin genocide throughout the stream, but I guess a nuclear genocide genocides all, <laughs> including the goblins. Uh, so true. Uh, he goes up and it Welcome, turns out... Parker. Just in time for the cocaine. That the nuclear blast cooked the goblin salsa to just a perfect crispy temperature. Hell yeah, that shit is perfectly cooked. So the real Wait, winners... to be dead. The real winners are the uh, geese. Um, I don't know. I don't, if it's like a 15 or above, the bee is alive. It's, no, bee's dead. Poggy's the geese win. Yeah. Wait, what if Pancast scramble on it before it hit? Oh, are these delayed? We can. Okay, everybody can rest easy knowing that the seventh grader died the most. Are the meth mines okay? I'm worried. Uh, With fantasy Canada 20... being a hellish nuclear war zone where nothing is alive, it's more like Doug's home. Maybe he won't want to leave. Yeah, Doug might love it here. Um, you know what, guys? I was pushing back about making one of the characters just a an average guy from Missouri, but it really worked out. I was wrong. I fully admit it. 
You guys were right. Let's see if the meth mines are alive. If you roll a nat 20, they're alive. Okay. Okay, and Doug lived happily ever after uh, doing meth in the Let's mines. Let's fucking go. <laughs> That was one of, like, the only nat 20s in the entire game. Perhaps the real nuclear apocalypse was the friends we made along the way. Yeah, it was the Dugs we made along the way. <clears throat> Happiest moment of my life, the bee is dead. I hate spelling. I googled all the answers. <laughs> Us Canadians are going to send the Air Force after you guys. Send in the Canadian geese. Dude. The geese are brutal. I do like that you pretty much just became friends with every villainous character. So, uh, fun session, guys. That got weird. I'll try and get my friend to make a cleric for next <laughs> session. See you next week, I guess. I'll do- I want to do this again at some point, but I we add a chat GPT character. Mines, Doug. Worried citizen here. I found meth I rule the country, so tea. not anymore. Is this a recipe change, or should I be concerned? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna add, we're gonna start adding a little bit of meth into that recipe. Um, <coughs> this was actually very fun. Very stupid. At some point, I'll do another, like... I think this worked out great. Fake Canada was always doomed. Yeah, yeah. This is the appropriate ending, is that we nuked it. Um, I want to do another improv... All what, what did I call this? Total improv D&D. &D. But I, at some point, we'll do another, like, actual plan D&D &D session as well. Uh, but I want to do another one of these with a ChatGPT character. That sounds really funny. You suck at intentionally making terrible streams. Yeah, this didn't turn out that terrible. This is very fun. Um, okay, I am going to go eat dinner. But thanks for watching, everybody. This is super fun. I genuinely had a really, really good time. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow with Big Parkster because uh, we're going to be doing a Neopets race. And the Neopets race... Will be us trying to collect as many Neopets as possible. It'll I be did nostalgic not as to be fuck. allowed to actually set off the nuke. Yeah, of course. Why do you think I put in all that um, CGI budget? <laughs> I literally am doing this just because I want to. Uh, I just want to be nostalgic and play some Neopets. I don't know if it'll actually be funny or interesting as a stream at all. Um. Anyway, cool. Yo, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Very fun. Had a great time. Appreciate you. Uh, thanks to the to the players who participated. GGS. Uh, uh, Best picture of 2023. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna stream or not gonna raid. We'll just bail. I can't raid Parkser for some reason. I wonder if I can raid him right now. Good night, Chad and Doug. Have a good evening. Wait, it allowed all. me to raid him. It hasn't let me raid Parkster in forever. It's been blocked for months. So we don't know why. Sweet. All I right. deserve an Oscar. Thanks, y'all. I'll be back tomorrow. Probably normal time at like 12 ish. Uh, maybe a little bit later because I'm always late. Uh, have a good rest of your Wednesday. I deserve an Oscar. Doug deserves all the Oscars. All the Dougs. All right. Uh, go have fun at Parkster's channel, which is currently offline. Bye. Goodbye, chat, and Doug, happy Thanksgiving from a pan.